New Jersey. Manual. Driver. Welcome to driving in New Jersey. The New Jersey Driver Manual will L help you learn and understand safe driving practices. This manual provides valuable information that you will L need to pass the knowledge portion of New Jersey's driver test. The manual will L offer you important safety information that can help you become a safe, courteous, and aware driver. If you already have a New Jersey driver license, this manual can help you refresh your knowledge and provide an update for new laws and rules of the road. Please remember, driving is a privilege, not a right. The information contained in this manual should be used as a general guide to the rules of driving a motor vehicle but not as a substitute for the actua. L. Laws If there is a discrepancy between what is cited in this manual and what is in statute or regulation, the statute or regulation governs. This manual is not a legal reference for New Jersey motor vehicle and traffic laws. You can access the driver manual on the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission. NVC website www.njmvc.gov. This NVC driver manual is available at no cost. Table of Contents Page Number Chapter 1 The New Jersey Driver License System 2 Chapter 2 New Jersey Driver Testing 28 Chapter 3 Driver Responsibility 38 Chapter 4 Safe Driving Rules and Regulations 60 Chapter 5 Defensive Driving 88 Chapter 6 Drinking, Drugs, and Health 112 Chapter 7 Driver Privileges and Penalties 120 Chapter 8 Sharing the Road with Others 142 Chapter 9 Vehicle Information 156 Chapter 10 Motorcycle Manual 162 Appendices Page Number Chapter 11 Driver Safety 210 Chapter 12 NVC Locations 224. 1. The New Jersey Driver License System. The New Jersey Driver License System. Section Contents 4 Laws Governing Driver Licenses 6 Digital Driver License 6 Types of New Jersey Licenses 9 Identity Verification 14 Graduated Driver License 19 Special Learner Permits for New Jersey Residents 20 Examination Permits for New Jersey Residents 21 examination permits for out-of-state drivers, 21 examination permits. Out-of-country drivers, 22 international driving permit. IP 22 non-driver ID 22 organ donation, 23 next of kin registry. Sarah's law, 24 motor voter, 24 hearing impaired designation. 24 commercial driver license, CDL. For the New Jersey driver license system. Laws Governing Driver Licenses A motorist who operates a motor vehicle in the state of New Jersey must carry a valid driver license, a valid probationary license, or a validated New Jersey permit. The motorist must also carry valid insurance and vehicle registration cards. NJSA 39 3-29 A motorist with a validated New Jersey driver permit must be ACOM. Pannied by an appropriately licensed driver. NJ says 39 3M and S13, 39 3M is 13 to 2A. A motorist who changes addresses must report this change to the MVC within one week after moving. This includes individuals who are moving out of New Jersey. NJSA 39 3M is 36. A motorist who legally changes his her name, marriage, divorce, order of court must report the change to the MVC within two weeks. NJSA 393-9A. A motorist with a valid out-of-state license who moves to New Jersey must apply for a New Jersey license within 60 days, commercial driver license, CDL within 30 days, or before the current license expires, whichever is sooner. The out-of-state license must be surrendered upon receipt of a New Jersey license. NJSA 393 17.1, 39 3-1017, 10 A motorist with a valid license from another country may drive with that license for up to a year. NJAC 13-20, 1-8.2F.
Operators of commercial vehicles, such as large trucks, buses, and vehicles that transport hazardous materials, must satisfy more stringent testing standards than the drivers of automobiles or motorcycles. These operators must still L possess a valid, basic New Jersey driver license prior to applying for a CDL. NJSA 39-3-10.8 Individuals who have never had a driver license must complete the MVCs. Graduated Driver License GDL program, which introduces driving privileges in phases with a period of supervised driving before getting a basic driver license. NJSA 39, 3-10, 10, 13, 9, 13. The New Jersey Driver License System. 5. LL applicants applying for a New Jersey driver license who are under 18 years of age must present a completed consent form signed by a parent or guardian. NJSA 39 3-13 and 39 3-13-3. LL applicants applying for a standard New Jersey driver license must provide proof of social security number, taxpayer identification number, or an affidavit stating that they are not eligible for a social security number and do not have a taxpayer. Identification number, 1-1 proof of a New Jersey residential address, and 6-6 six, six points of identification. Documents must be in English or be accompanied by an approved translation. NJSA 39 10 and NJAC 13 1-B and 3 and 3-8-2. LL applicants applying for a real ID New Jersey driver license must provide two, two proofs of a New Jersey residential address, one, one proof of full L social security number, and six, six points of identification, including documentation that verifies that their presence in the United States is authorized under federal law. Documents must be in English or be accompanied by an approved translation, NJSA. 39 3-3.10 and NJAC 13-21-8-2A. Drivers under age 21 who possess an examination permit, special learners, permit, or probationary license shall L not operate a motor vehicle without displaying two visible reflective GDL decals, which are provided by the Motor Vehicle Commission, on the license plates of the vehicle. NJSA 39 3M and S 13 G, 39 S 32 R, and 33 mean 4. Disclaimer. If there is a discrepancy between what is cited throughout this manual and what is in statute or regulation, the statute or regulation governs. 6. The New Jersey Driver License System. Digital Driver License. In 2021, New Jersey Roll let out a long-planned security upgrade with a new license design and modern security features. A digital driver license, DDL, will L be issued central live from a secure production facility. Customers can apply at licensing centers statewide and will L be provided an interim license valid for 30 days. The DDL, along with facial recognition technology, helps to prevent identity theft and ensures that only those individuals who are legally entitled to have a driver license may get one. The DDL has more than 20 covert and overt features. Motorists under 21 years of age will L receive a distinctive vertical format driver license. Driver licenses are valid for four years. Altering a driver license or presenting an altered driver license may result in the loss of a motorist's driving privilege, a fine up to $1,000 and or imprisonment. Additional lie, obtaining a driver license illegally may result in a fine up to $500 and or imprisonment. Types of New Jersey licenses. The full lowing chart shows age requirements, license fees, and required tests for each type of license the MVC offers. Testing for commercial and moped licenses requires the use of topic-specific manuals. In addition to this driver and motorcycle manual, copies of the commercial and moped manuals may be obtained at any MVC agency, viewed online, or requested at www.mvc.gov.
Manuals may also be obtained by Cal Link 6092926500. An endorsement added to a license will L expire with the license, except for hazmat, which must be tested every two, two years. When an endorsement is added to an existing license, the charge in the endorsement is prorated to cover the period remaining until expiration. The New Jersey Driver License System. Page 7. Basic Automobile License, Standard Real ID. For all L types of Class D motor vehicles registered by the MVC, except motorcycles. Probationary Automobile License, Standard Real ID. For all L types of Class D motor vehicles registered by the MVC, except motorcycles. Commercial Driver License, Standard Real ID. For large trucks, buses, and vehicles, classes A, B, and C. Motorcycle license, standard real ID. For most vehicles with fewer than four wheels, class E. Issued as a separate license or as an endorsement, if the individual already holds a basic New Jersey driver license. Probationary motorcycle license, standard real ID. For most vehicles with fewer than four wheels, class E. Issued as a separate license or as an endorsement, if the individual already holds a basic New Jersey driver license. Expiration. Minimum age. Permit fee. License fees. Tests required. Expiration. Minimum age. Permit fee. License fee. Test required. Expiration. Minimum age. Permit fee. License fees. Tests required. Expiration. Minimum age, permit fee, license fees, tests required. Expiration. Minimum age, permit fee, license fee. Test required. Four years 18, permit. Sixteen ten dollars to four dollars five dollars for one. Four years 17, permit. Ten door dollars, red reflectile sixty three dollars for years eight twenty one one hundred and twenty five dollars forty two dollars to an endorsement fifty three twenters two C twenty four years seventeen ten dollars four decals twenty four dollars thirty five dollars TVR one four years seventeen ten dollars four decals sixty three dollars pay the cage eight the New Jersey driver license system moped license standard real ID for unlicensed motorists, 15 years of age and older. Not needed if operator has a Class A, B, C, D, or E license. Agricultural license, standard real ID. For farming purposes only. May be granted to persons between 16 and 17 years old. Boat license, standard real ID endorsements only. For individuals 16 years of age and older who operate a motorboat on fresh, non-tidal waters, such as lakes, creeks, or rivers, that are not affected by tidal conditions. All L persons who wish to operate a power vessel must possess a boating safety certificate and present it when applying for a boat license. For more information about New Jersey boating requirements, visit the State Police Marine Services website at www.state.nj.us. NJSP Maritime Index, TML, NJS of 12, 7-61.1. Expiration. Minimum age. Permit fee. License fees. Test required. Expiration. Minimum age. Permit fee. License fees. Tests required. Expiration. Minimum age. Permit fee. License fee. Test required. Years KVR. Years KVR. Years A N A non tidal waters only. One K knowledge V Vision R Road C Commercial. Two or until a basic license is obtained at 18 years of age. Three motorists must return to an MVC licensing center in one year to have license upgraded. Fee is prorated. And usual lie is $19.50 for standard or $29 for real ID.
four CDL applicants must be at least 18 years old. Applicants under 21 may travel only in New Jersey, intrastate, not interstate, and may not receive hazmat or passenger endorsements. Five out-of-state CDL transfer fees are $10, six Class E licenses are $24, Class M endorsements are $18. The New Jersey Driver License System. 9. Identity Verification. LL Standard New Jersey Driver License applicants must provide six points of ID verification by presenting documents that prove their age and identity. LL applicants must prove identity through a prescribed combination of documents that includes at least one primary document, at least one secondary document, at least six points of ID proof of New Jersey residential address. Use the charts on the full, lowing pages to select your documents or use the online standard document selector at HTTPs. www.nj.gov slash mvc slash license slash pointed dot htm. LL Real ID New Jersey driver license applicants must provide verification by presenting documents that prove their age, identity, social security number, and legal presence in the U.S. LL applicants must prove identity through a prescribed combination of documents that includes two plus zone plus six. Two proofs of New Jersey residential address, one proof of full L social security number, at least six points of ID, at least one primary document, at least one secondary document. Use the charts on the full lowing pages to select your documents or use the online real ID document selector at www. U.S. MVC Realid Selector, HTML. For assistance with ID verification, visit www.njmvc.gov or Cal L6092926500. Note, fees in this manual are subject to change. Current fees are available online at www njmvc.gov or by Cal link 6092926500. If discrepancies exist within or between documents presented to the MVC, the applicant may be required to provide additional documentation. Any permit or license application may be refused if a document appears altered, false, or otherwise invalid. Important Information if your current legal name is different from the name on your civil birth certificate, you must show legal proof of the name change. Legal proof certified marriage or civil union certificate, divorce decree, or court order linking the new name with the previous name. Note: A divorce decree may be used as authority to resume using a previous name only if it contains the married name and the previous name and permits a return to use of the previous name. LLID documents must be unlaminated, original, or certified copies, in English, and have the required state or municipal seal. Certified copies of New Jersey records are available from the municipality that originally issued them and from the State Bureau of Vital. Statistics at www.nj dot gov slash health slash vital or six zero nine two nine two four zero eight seven if your birth certificate is from jersey city hudson county you must check www.state.nj.us slash health slash vital slash order vital slash jersey city hudson county records additional requirements may apply for non-us citizens cal l six zero nine two nine two six five zero zero 10. The New Jersey Driver License System New Jersey Standard License and Non-Driver ID Requirements POINTS 6 Proof of Identity Proof of Date of Birth Primary applicant must submit at least one document from the full lowing. US or U.S. Territory Birth Certificate or Certified Copy filed with the State Office of Vital Statistics or equivalent agency in the individual's state of birth. U.S. Department of State Birth Certificate, Form FS-545 or DS-1350. U.S. Department of State Consular Report of Birth Abroad, Form FS-240. U.S. Adoption Papers. U.S. Passport or Passport Card. 
Foreign government issued passport from applicant's country of citizenship. NJ digitized driver license, including probationary license. New Jersey digitized non-driver ID card. U.S. military photo identification card. Common access card. Original birth certificate from any country. Photo driver license from any state. Us. Territory or the District of Columbia. Photo driver license issued by country other than the U.S. must be presented with another government-issued document. Certificate of Naturalization. Form N-550, N-570, or N-578. Certificate of Citizenship. Form N-560, N-561, or N-645. Permanent Resident Card. Form I-551. ID card issued by a consulate or national government. Refugee travel document. Form I-571. US re-entry permit. Form I-327. I-94 stamped refugee. Parolee, asylee, or notice of action. Form I-797 approved petition by USCIS. I-94 with attached photo stamped processed for I-551 by USCIS. Photo Employment Authorization Card for I-766 must be presented with a valid SS card or proof of ITIN. Proof of New Jersey Residency New Jersey Driver License Non-Driver Identification Card or a Motor Vehicle Commission Issued Driver License Renewal Form Property Tax Bill L statement, or receipt, or any letter or correspondence received from the IRS or state tax office within the past year. Original unexpired lease or rental agreement, with name of applicant as lessee or renter. Checking or savings account statement from, a bank or credit union issued within the last 60 days. Applicant must submit one document from the full lowing. Note, LL documents must display residential address and have applicant's name. If under 18, statement from parent or guardian certifying address of applicant. Utility or credit card bill L issued in the past 90 days. A deed or title to real property. First class mail from any government agency in the past six months. High school or college report card or TRAN script within the past two years. The New Jersey Driver License System. Documents not written in English must be accompanied by a certified translation in English. No primary or secondary documents can be expired more than three years. Secondary applicant must submit at least one document from the full lowing. NJ Digitized Driver License, including probationary license. New Jersey Digitized Non-Driver ID Card. Photo Driver License from any state, U.S. Territory or the District of Columbia, legal name change court order, signed by a judge or court clerk, civil marriage or civil union license, or certificate or divorce decree, document issued by US DHS, U.S. Uniformed Services Photo ID Card, U.S. Civilian Retiree Photo ID Card, Veterans Administration Universal, Access Photo ID Card, Official school or college photo. ID card with transcript or school records. With applicant's DOB from any country. NJ firearm purchaser card. U.S. government employee driver license. U.S. government employee photo ID card. U.S. military discharge papers. DD-214. Double a pilot license. Certified. Adoption records from any country other than the United States, New Jersey Doc ID, card. Note, commercial driver license, CDL applicants must provide proof of U.S. citizenship or lawful permanent resident status in the U.S. No more than two one-point documents allowed. Driving privilege card with photo issued by any state, municipality, U.S. territory or the District of Columbia. State professional license. NJ Public Assistance Card with Photo SS Card with SA Verification 
high school diploma or GED, college diploma, or trade school degree from any country. Bank statement record on bank letterhead can't be used in conjunction with at the moment card. At the moment card with pre printed name and aptly, can't signature can't be used in conjunction with bank statement. Health insurance card or prescription card. Employee identification card accompanied by a printed pay stub from applicant's employment in the U.S. Property tax statement. Bill L or receipt issued by a New Jersey municipality. For New Jersey high school students, a waiver certify. Kate for the written portion of the driver test. Proof of SSN or ITIN applicant must submit social security number on application for verification with SSA. If verification fails, you must submit one of the following two. SSN include full name and full SSN. Social security card, no copies. SS a 1099 form issued within the W-2 form issued within the past year past year pay stub must include full L name and non seminus 1099 form issued within the full L SSN issued within the past year past year. Applicant must submit one document from the full lowing official document from the IRS or the New Jersey Income Tax Refund displaying item. ITIN New Jersey Division of Taxation Display, ing applicant's name and ITIN. Individuals ineligible for an SSN and who do not have an ITIN may submit a signed affidavit form. Available on the initial license page of the MVC website, www.nvc.gov. The affidavit must be notarized or signed in front of an MVC agency employee. False statements are punishable by law. Legal proof of name change is a certified marriage or civil union certificate, divorce decree, or court order linking the new name with the previous name. A divorce decree may be used as authority to resume using a previous name only if it contains the married name and previous name and states a return to use of the previous name. Marriage or civil union certificate may only be used as proof of change to a last name. Revised June 25, 2022. Page 12, the New Jersey Driver License System. Start here 216. Certified copies of New Jersey records are available from the municipality that originally issued them and from the Office of Vital Statistics and Registry. For a replacement SSN card visit, www.nj.gov slash health slash vital or 609. 290 Tuamanus 4087 www.socialsecurity.gov slash my account. Step I 2 proofs of residential address valid New Jersey Drive R license N O N D R I V O R I G I N A L U N X C P I read L E A S E O R R E N T A L Vehicle Commission Issue D Identification Card or A M. Oto R. License Renewal Form, D. I. S. P. L. I. N. E. G. or any letter or correspondence. Agreement. D. R. Iver Tax Bill L. Statement or Receipt. A. N. D. Recidian Taila Diduri S. S. Received from the I. R. S. or Tax Ofif C. E. Utility or Credit a Card Blee Il Sud I. S. I. N. within the past year. T. H E P S N nine zero D I S first C L A S S M A I L fro M N Y G over N C H E C K I N G O R S A V I N G S A C C O U N T STOA T M E N T A G E N S I I N T P A C S I X M O T N S H I meant from a bank or credit T U N I N if under eighteen. Statement T fro M P a retin O R G U R D I N C E R T I F I I N G a D D re S S of Next is S U E D W H Ninch I T E P as zero D six as Apple can T P E T I I one P R U F O F flu L S S N seventy eight or N five hundred and seventy Continue The New Jersey Driver License System all identity documents must be original or certified copies in English, 
and have the required state and or municipal seals. If the applicant's birth certificate is from Jersey City, Hudson County, you must check www.nj.us slash health slash vital slash order vital slash Jersey City, Hudson County records slash dot step third points combined from primary dot and secondary required. Secondary cannot use more than two one point documents. Unexpired standard photo driver license, unexpired federal government employee from New Jersey or any state or U.S. territory, and driver license, the District of Columbia, unexpired federal government employee, unexpired standard non-driver identification, property tax statement, bill L or receipt issued by a New Jersey municipality, unexpired real ID driver license, non-driver identification card. Note: Financial information can be blacked out. Legal proof of name change is a certified marriage or civil union certificate, divorce decree, or court order linking the new name with the previous name. A divorce decree may be used as authority to resume using a previous name only if it contains the married name and previous name and states a return to use of the previous name. Graduated Driver License, GDL. In 2001, New Jersey sought to enhance driver preparation and safety by implementing a multi-stage driver licensing system. Known as the Graduated Driver License, GDL program, the system gradually introduces driving privileges to first-time driv. ERS extends their practice driving time and requires a minimum age of 18 in order to receive an unrestricted, basic driver lick. GDL restrictions placed upon first-time drivers must be strictly adhered to. Failure to do so may result in a fine of $100 or suspension of a motorist's driving privilege. NJSA 39, 10 and 39, 13 through 39, 13 point eight. The New Jersey Driver License System. Step 1. The Early Bird Road, GDL, Option A, must be at least 16 years old. Must have signed parent or guardian consent must be enrolled led and approved behind the wheel driver training course through the New Jersey. Get a special Department of Education or Commercial Driving Learner Permit School. An approved instructor must purchase the permit, must pass the MVC's knowledge and vision tests, must pay required fee. The MVC will L validate special learner permits only after training course completion. Step 2. Step 3. Step 4. Step 5. Practice with an adult supervising driver. Get a probationary license. With the probationary driver license. Get the basic driver license. Must observe special learner permit driving. Restrictions. Must practice at least 6 months. Must have red GDLD cals attached to vehicle. When driving. Must have completed 6 months of super. Vise driving without any suspensions or postponements. Must pass the MVC's road test. Must be at least 17 years old. Must practice unsupervised driving for at least one year. Must observe probationary driver license. Restrictions. Must have red GDL decals attached to vehicle. And driving. Must be at least 18 years old. Must have completed one year of unsupervised. Driving with probationary driver license restrictions. Must pay required fee. Note. Permit may not be used for practice driving until validated at an MVC driver testing center. 16. The New Jersey Driver License System. The Young Adult Road. GDL. Option B. Step 1. Get an examination permit. Must pass the MVC's knowledge and vision tests must be at least 17 years old must pay required fee must obtain parent or guardian consent if you are under 18 years of age. Step 2. Practice supervised driving. Must practice with an adult supervising driver must practice at least 6 months must observe examination permit driving. Restrictions. Must have red GDL decals attached to vehicle. And driving. 
Step 3. Get a probationary license. Must have completed six months of super vice driving without any suspensions or postponements. Must pass the MVC's road test. Step 4. Step 5. Practice unsupervised driving. Get the basic driver license. Must practice unsupervised driving for at least one year. Must full low probationary driver license. Restrictions. Must have red GDL decals attached to vehicle. And driving. Must be at least 18 years old. Must have completed one year of unsupervised. Driving. Must pay required fee. The New Jersey Driver License System. The Adult Road GDL. Option C. Step 1. Get an examination permit. Must be at least 21 years old. Must pass MVC's knowledge and vision tests. Must pay required fee. Must obtain parent or guardian consent if you are under 18 years of age. Step 2. Practice supervised driving. Must practice with an adult supervising driver. Must practice at least three months. Step 3. Get a probationary license. Must have completed three months of supervised driving without any suspensions or postponements. Must pass the MVC's road test. Step 4. Practice unsupervised driving. Must practice unsupervised driving for at least one year. Step 5. Get the basic driver license. Must have completed one year of unsupervised driving. Must pay required fee. Page 18. The New Jersey Driver License System. Special learner permit restrictions. No driving between 11.01 p.m. and 5.000 a.m. No using handheld or hands-free cell phones or any other electronic devices. Permit holder must be accompanied in the front seat by an adult supervising driver who is at least 21 years of age and who possesses a valid New Jersey driver license and has a minimum of three. Years driving experience passengers are limited to any parent, guardian or dependent of the special permit holder and one additional passenger. Permit holder and allele passengers must wear seatbelts, must display decals on license plates, Examination permit restrictions no driving between 11.01 p.m. and 5.00 a.m. No using handheld or hands-free cell phones or any other electronic devices. Permit holder must be accompanied in the front seat by an adult supervising driver who is at least 21 years of age and who possesses a valid New Jersey driver license and has a minimum of three years driving experience. Passengers are limited to dependents of the permit holder and one additional passenger, unless accompanied by a parent, guardian. Permit holder and allele passengers must wear seat belts, must display decals on license plates. Probationary driver license restrictions, no driving between 11.01 p.m. and 5. 000 moan, no using handheld or hands free cell phones or any other electronic devices. One, if the examination permit or probationary license holder is 21 years of age or older, our passenger and decal restrictions do not apply. Passengers are limited to dependents of the probationary license holder and one additional person, unless accompanied by a parent guardian. Probationary license holder and allo passengers must wear seat belts. Must display decals on license plates. The New Jersey Driver License System. 19. GDL decal. Al LGDL drivers under age 21 who possess a permit or probationary license are required to display two visible red reflective decals distributed through the MVC on any vehicle that they operate. One decal is to be displayed on the top left corner of the rear license plate and the other on the top left corner of the front license plate. The two removable decals are provided at the time a permit is issued for a fee of $4. Additional decals are available for $4 per pair at any MVC licensing center. NJSA 39, 3M-13 and 39, 3M-13. 13. GDL driver exemptions exemptions to the hours of rule for permit and probationary drivers under age 21. Proof of a need to drive during the prohibited hours for employment and or religion. For an exemption, 
the motorist must carry a legible certification to indicate this need from his, her employer or religious official on the official letterhead of the business. Organization or religious institution, with the signature of the certifying official and his, her name, title, address, and phone number. NJAC 1321-8.8. Note, if the student driver commits a traffic offense, responsibility will L be with both the student and instructor or adult supervising driver. Allel motorists who possess a probationary driver license, whose probationary licensing period is not extended by the MVC beyond the standard 12 months, must visit an MVC licensing center to upgrade to a basic driver license after the end of those 12 months. Motorists who fail to do so will L remain subject to the probationary driver license restrictions and could be cited by law enforcement for violating the restrictions. Special Learner Permits for New Jersey Residents Any New Jersey resident who is at least 16 years old and is not in suspension status may enroll L in a behind-the-wheel driver training course to obtain a Special Learner Permit at any MVC licensing center. The applicant must have the signed consent of his her parent guardian, must be enrolled led in a behind-the-wheel driver training course approved by the NJ Department of Education or conducted by a commercial driving school and must pass the MVC's knowledge test and vision screening. An approved course is six full L hours of behind-the-wheel instruction in a dual-control-led vehicle. These hours are exclusive of time spent at the MVC for permit purchasing or testing. The instructor must purchase the permit, which is valid for two years. NJSA 39, 3M minus 13.1. 20. The New Jersey Driver License System. After an applicant fill LS out the form with his, her personal information and provides six points of ID verification, proof of residential address, and proof of social security number, the instructor can purchase a permit at any MVC licensing center. Upon completion of the approved driver training course and before practice driving, the permit holder must have the permit validated at any MVC licensing center with a driver testing center. Examination Permits for New Jersey Residents Any New Jersey resident who is at least 17 years old and is not in suspension status can obtain a driver examination permit at any MVC licensing center. The examination permit is different from a student learner permit because the applicant does not have to be a student and an instructor is not necessary. The MVC will L validate the permit for practice driving after the applicant passes the required knowledge test and vision screening. Results are valid for two years. See Chapter 2. Note. Most agencies conduct knowledge testing and vision screening. To find out which MVC licensing centers offer driver testing services, Check online at www.ngmvc.gov or Cal L6092926500. Note, a driver examination permit is required even if the motorist possesses a valid license from another state. See examination permits for out-of-state drivers. The New Jersey Driver License System. Examination permits for out-of-state drivers. Allel out-of-state drivers are required to purchase an examination permit within 60 days of becoming a permanent New Jersey resident or when his, her out-of-state license expires, whichever comes first. Out-of-state drivers who are under 18 years of age and move to New Jersey are subject to this state's GDL program. If they wish to apply for a New Jersey license, they should full low the steps outlined for special and examination permit holders. Permits may be purchased at any MVC licensing center. Applicants are required to pass a vision screening test. Knowledge and road tests are waived if you have a valid, non-probationary driver license or a certified driver abstract issued by any of the 50 states, the District of Columbia, or U.S. territories. Out-of-state driver licenses must be surrendered when the MVC issues a New Jersey driver license. Examination Permits for Out-of-Country Drivers A motorist with a valid license from another country may drive with that license for up to a year. 
the motorist may also be eligible for a New Jersey driver license. NJAC 1321-8.2 and 13-2A. See International Driving Permit section. Next page. 22. The New Jersey Driver License System. International Driving Permit. IP. See Examination Permits for Out-of-Country Drivers section. Above. Visitors with a foreign driver license who travel to the United States should carry an IDP or attach an acceptable English translation to their national driver license. The IDP is translated into the official languages of the United Nations, including English, and is useful in traffic emergencies. Non-citizens must obtain the IDP in their native country before traveling to the United States. New Jersey motorists who travel to foreign countries may obtain an IDP application through their local AAA club or the American Automobile Touring Alliance, a, a TA. Visit www.apoa.com slash vacation slash IBPC.html for more information. Note. A motorist must carry a valid driver license. Although it is an official document, the IDP cannot replace a driver license but it can be used in conjunction with the license to provide an additional source of motorist identification and span foreign language barriers. Non-driver ID. An individual, 14 years of age or older, who does not possess a valid driver license, may apply for a non-driver identification card. To obtain a standard or real ID identification card, the individual must show proof of age, residential address, and provide six points of ID verification as provided in the standard or real ID document guides. The non-driver ID must be surrendered if the individual applies for and receives a New Jersey driver license. NJSA 39 29.2 to 39 29.10 Organ Donation You have the power to give others the most precious gift, life. At age 14, you may apply for a non-driver identification card and you will L be asked if you want to be included in New Jersey's Donate. Life Registry When you turn 18 and apply for an unrestricted driver license or renew your license, you will L be asked if you want to be included in New Jersey's Donate. Life Registry By answering yes, you will L be agreeing to donate your organs tissue and eyes upon your death to someone who needs a transplant. When you say yes at an MVC licensing center, the words organ donor will L appear on your license. Registering as an organ and tissue donor has nothing to do with living donation or whole body donation. The New Jersey Driver License System 23. An individual's decision to be an organ donor can make a difference in lives throughout New Jersey and across the nation. Right now, Tens of thousands of people are awaiting organ transplants, while thousands more need tissue and corneal transplants. The shortage of donors is so severe that every day, 21 people die waiting for organs that could save their lives. You can give the gift of life simply by making your wishes known about organ and tissue donation. Saying yes to organ and tissue donation is an important decision for everyone especially the more than 5,000 New Jersey residents whose lives depend on transplants. Anyone 14 years and older can register as a donor. There are no costs to the family for donations, and donations will L not affect funeral arrangements. Organs are shared according to a national list. Age, gender, race, ethnicity or wealth do not affect who receives donated organs. Registering as an organ and tissue donor is a selfless act. You should share your decision with your family, so they will L carry out your wishes at the time of death. Organ and tissue donation saves lives, gives hope to those waiting, and creates a legacy. For more information about organ and tissue donation, or to register online, please visit www.donatifenge.org. Next of Kin Registry Sarah's Law. The Next of Kin Registry is a New Jersey statewide web-based system that allows individuals at least 14 years of age to voluntarily submit and maintain emergency contact information theft. 
Ruff the New Jersey Motor Vehicle. This non-public information will L only be used by law enforcement officers to locate designated emergency contacts if a person is involved in a motor vehicle crash that renders him or her unable to communicate. NJSA 39 4-134.2 to 39 4-134.3 any individual who legally possesses a New Jersey-issued driver license, probationary license, learner's permit, non-driver identification card, or any other MVC-issued permit or license authorizing an individual to operate a motor vehicle or vessel, i.e., boat may utilize the registry. Additional lie. Individuals as young as 14 years old may utilize the next of kin registry to submit emergency contacts if they apply for a non-driver ID card. To register online or download a form to submit by mail, visit the MVC website at www.state.nj.us slash mvc slash driver topic slash nextofkin.htm.motorvoter. The National Voter Registration Act. NVRA requires that motor vehicle offices provide voter registration opportunities to anyone applying for a new or renewed driver license or ID card or changing his or her address. The process of registering to vote can be conveniently started at any MVC licensing center. Applicants who wish to register are provided a signature pad to sign, while their personal information, name, date of birth, address, etc., is sent electronical lie to the State Board of Elections for review. When customers report a change of address, they are offered the option to have the MVC send the change of address information to the applicable Board of Elections for voter registration purposes. After the State Board of Elections approves the information received, it notifies the respective County Board of Elections that the applicant's eligibility requirements have been met and the applicants are registered to vote. For more information on voter registration, visit www.nj.gov slash state slash elections slash voting information dot html dot. Hearing impaired designation. A special driver license for deaf or hearing impaired motorists, 41 dB loss or more, is provided by the MVC. To obtain this license, which is designated with a numerical code, a motorist must complete an application which is available at any MVC licensing center. Verification by a physician or audiologist is required. NJSA 39-11. Commercial Driver License, CDL. There are three commercial driver license, CDL, classifications, A, B, and C. However, no one can apply for these licenses until he, she is in possession of a valid basic Class D New Jersey driver license or he, she possesses a valid out-of-state CDL. Class A license is necessary for the operation of a tractor trailer or any truck or truck and trailer with a gross combination weight rating, GCWR, of 26, 001 pounds or more, provided the gross vehicle weight rating GVWR of the vehicle being towed is more than 10,000 pounds. The Class A license also allows the driver to operate all L vehicles in the Class B, C, and D categories, provided the driver has qualified for all L the proper endorsements. The New Jersey Driver License System 25. Class B license is necessary for the operation of any vehicle with a GVWR of 26,001 pounds or more, a vehicle with a GVWR of 26,001 pounds or more towing a trailer with a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds or less, a bus, including school buses, with a gross vehicle weight rating of 26,001 pounds or more designed to transport 16 or more passengers, including the driver. A Class B license allows the driver to operate all vehicles in the Class C and D categories, provided the driver has qualified for all the proper endorsements. Class C license is necessary for the operation of 
any vehicle with a GVWR of less than 26,001 pounds, used and placard. Ed, to transport hazardous material. Any bus, including school buses, designated to carry 16 passengers or more, including the driver, and with a GVWR of less than 26. 001 pounds, and LL school vehicles designed for 15 passengers or fewer, including the driver. Any bus or other vehicle designed to transport 8 to 15 passengers, including the driver, which is used for hire. Commercial driver exemptions taxi drivers, ride-sharing van drivers, funeral procession drivers, operators of rescue, first aid squad or firefighter apparatus. Farmers hauling their own products and equipment within 150 miles of their farms. Non-civilian operators of military equipment and operators of construction equipment not designed for operation on public roads are exempt and need not apply for a CDL. Operators of recreational vehicles are also exempt, provided the vehicle is being operated only for personal use. NJSA 39-3-10K 26. The New Jersey Driver License System. Commercial driver license endorsements most commercial drivers will L need to obtain at least one special endorsement. An example of an endorsement on a CDL is H, for hazardous materials, which means that the motorist may legally transport hazardous materials. Code vehicle, T double and triple trailers, P passenger, S school bus, N tanker vehicle. Endorsement needed by operators of vehicle pulling two or three trailers. Needed by operators of buses or similar vehicles used to transport passengers. Needed by LL school bus drivers. Needed by operators of vehicles used to transport liquids or gas in bulk. Special requirements requires a knowledge test. Class A licenses require to operate this type of vehicle. Requires a road test. Other special requirements are necessary. CCDL manual. Must be 21 years of age and have three years driving experience. Requires a knowledge and road test. Motorists who hold an S endorsement will L also have to test for a P endorsement. Both are required to operate a school bus. Requires a knowledge test. H hazardous. Materials. Requires a knowledge test. Must be trained. Needed by and retested every two operators of vehicles years. See the federal use to transport motor carrier safety hazardous materials administration for requirements. www.fmcsa.gov Must be 21 years of age. New Jersey driver license system. 27. Commercial driver license restrictions numbered restrictions such as corrective lenses, are noted on LL commercial licenses. An example of a special restriction on a commercial license is L for air brakes. This means the motorist may not operate a vehicle equipped with air brakes, if designated on the license. Commercial driver manual for more information on commercial motor vehicle licensing. Refer to the MVC's commercial driver manual. LLCDL tests are based on information contained in the manual. To get a copy, visit any MVC licensing center or MVC regional service center or view requested online at www.njmvc.gov. Manuals may also be obtained by Cowling 609292650. 2. New Jersey Driver Testing. New Jersey Driver Testing. Section Contents 30 Requirements for a Basic Driver License 32 Safety Pledge to Nikhil 33 Voter Registration 34 Road Test 36 Reasons for Rejection Requirements for a Basic Driver License 6-Point ID Verification LL Applicants for a New Jersey Driver License must have LL required documents to satisfy the 6-Point ID Verification. Vision Test A Vision Screening is required for LL Motorists. The MVC may refer applicants with impaired vision to a physician. Periodically, the MVC may require a vision recheck of a New Jersey motorist. Knowledge test The knowledge test consists of 50 questions. 
plus a survey question about organ donation. The MVC offers the knowledge test in English, American Sign Language, ASL, and these foreign languages, Arabic, Chinese, French, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Turkish, Hindi, Albanian, and Spanish. If the applicant cannot read in any language, headphones are supplied to administer an oral test. If the knowledge test is not available in your native language, you may use a state-approved interpreter. However, you must first attempt to complete the knowledge test in an offered language. If you fail to pass the test and feel you need an interpreter, please inform the MVC personnel at the testing location, and they will L make arrangements to secure an interpreter in your native language and pay the appropriate fees. Once an interpreter is secured, you will L be contacted by an MVC employee with the interpreter appointment date and time. You must inform the MVC of the need for an interpreter at least two weeks in advance of the date you intend to take the written knowledge test. MVC approved interpreters are also provided for deaf or hard of hearing applicants. The MVC will L pay the interpreter's fees directly associated with the knowledge test after submission of a properly completed payment voucher form. New Jersey driver testing. 31. Interpreters an approved foreign language interpreter is an individual listed on the NJ Administrative Office of the Courts, Language Services Section, Registry of Interpreters and Agencies. An approved deaf or hard of hearing interpreter is an interpreter certified by the National Registry of Interpreters for the deaf and listed with the New Jersey Division of the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. An interpreter who has been evaluated by the Division of the Deaf and Hard of Hearing and is on the approved list of professional interpreters. www.nj.gov slash mvc slash license slash knowledgeitis.htm Test requirements, screening minimum requirements, tests, basic license applicants, 2050s vision with or without corrective lenses, for sight in one eye only, that eye must meet the 2050s rule and the applicant must have docuI sight mentation signed by a licensed physician. CDL license applicants, 2040s vision with or without corrective lenses in both eyes must be able to distinguish among red, green, and amber lights. Correct answers. Written 80% or 40% of the 50 questions must have. Inform examiner of health problems. A medical review may be necessary. Federal law and New Jersey regulations require commercial drivers to submit a CDL holder health self-certification form and a valid medical examiner certificate, if applicable, to the MVC. Medical examiner certificates must be completed by a federally certified medical examiner. 32 New Jersey driver testing. Out of state and out of country applicants applicants may transfer a valid out of state license to New Jersey. Knowledge and road tests may be waived for applicants at least 18 years of age who submit a valid non-provisional driver license issued by any of the 50 states. The District of Columbia the U.S., territories of Samoa and Guam, Puerto Rico, or the U.S., Virgin Islands, the six-point ID requirements must also be submitted. These applicants will L be issued a four-year basic New Jersey license and will L be required to surrender the out-of-state license. Out-of-state applicants between 17 and 18 years of age who possess a valid out-of-state license will L be given a probationary license for a period of one year and must comply with New Jersey's GDL. Requirements and Restrictions All L out-of-country applicants must pass the knowledge test and a vision screening and may be required to pass a road test. Test results are valid for two years. Safety Pledge to Nikhil in August of 2015, Nikhil's Law, which amends NJSA 39-41, was signed into law. Enacted March 1, 2016, Nikhil's Law reinforces the dangers of failing to comply with New Jersey's motor vehicle traffic laws. The pledge ensure the safety of others on the road, passengers in my 
car, and myself as a driver, I pledge to obey traffic rules when driving and to be extra cautious and supremely attentive. Specifically, I will L. Stop completely. I will L. Come to a complete halt at any stop sign and will L. Never go through a red light. Stay alert. I will L. Strive to keep my hands on the wheel and my mind on the road. Talk safe. I will L. Use a hands-free cell L phone system while driving and will L. Not text or use a handset unless I pull L over. Plan ahead. I will L. Give myself an extra five minutes to get to any destination. Stop for Nikhil's safety pledge. Go to www.state.nj.us slash mvc slash license slash nikhil.htm to take the pledge. New Jersey driver testing. Voter registration. If you are eligible to vote in New Jersey, the process of registering to vote can be conveniently started at any MVC licensing center. While applying for or renewing a driver license or non-driver identification, ID card, the MVC will L report the information to the New Jersey Division of Elections. Voter registration deadline is 21 days before an election. If you will L not be conducting a driver license or non-driver ID card transaction and wish to register to vote or change your address with the Division of Elections, please visit the New Jersey Division of Elections at www.njelections.org or Cal L. NJ Voter. 1877658 to have an application mailed to you. Update your voting address. You may change your address online through the MVC website. After you change your address with the MVC, you will L be asked whether you would like your address changed to update your voter record. Be sure to click yes when answering this question, and the MVC will L send a notice to the Division of Elections, notifying them of your change. An address change confirmation page will L also be provided to you at the end of the transaction. Please visit www.njelections.org for more voter information. Your county commissioner of registration will L notify you if your application is accepted. If it is not accepted, you will L be notified on how to complete and or correct the application. Address changes reported online or via mail with the MVC are forwarded to the New Jersey Division of Elections. If you do not receive confirmation of the change, please contact your local commissioner of registration. A listing of commissioners can be found at NJ Dose Division of Elections. Register to vote. Note. You are required by law to provide the Motor Vehicle Commission with your current New Jersey residential address. Address changes must be conducted online. If you would like a copy of your driver license or ID with the new residential address, you can order a replacement license after you have processed your address change. Road test. After an applicant passes the knowledge test and vision screening and, if applicable, an approved behind-the-wheel course, the MVC will L validate his her permit so that he she can practice driving. GDL permit holders under 21 years of age must have a minimum of six months supervised practice driving prior to a road test appointment. GDL permit holders, 21 years old and over, must have a minimum of three months supervised practice driving prior to a road test appointment. To make an appointment for an initial road test or a retest, visit any MVC licensing center or schedule online at www.njmbc.gov. Appointments may not be made by phone. Road test checklist, no practice driving is permitted on the test course or in the parallel parking area. Every road test applicant must bring Al L the items on this checklist to the road test site to take the test. Only original documents will L be accepted. Six points of ID. Validated permit. Permit must be legible and cannot be laminated. Valid inspection sticker on vehicle or official no inspection sticker. Required card. Valid registration card and valid insurance ID card or electronic version for vehicle used for the test, unless covered by BPU or federal DOT regulations. Two red GDL decals. Properly mounted, if graduated driver license, GDL. Requirements are applicable. 
A vehicle utilized for the road test must have unobstructed access to the foot brake or to the parking brake mounted to the right of the driver in a position accessible to the examiner. Autocycles cannot be used for the test. New Jersey driver testing. 35. Self-parking vehicles cannot be used for the test. Al else signals, brake lights, and windshield wipers on the vehicle must be in working order for the test. No rental cars are permitted unless the test applicant's name is listed as a driver on the rental agreement. Applicant must be accompanied by a licensed driver. The accompanying driver must hold a valid license to operate the type of vehicle for which the applicant has a permit, except for a moped. Note. Vehicles registered out of state must comply with the laws of the motorist's home state about insurance identification. Accompanying driver requirements an applicant may drive a properly registered vehicle to the road test area. However, a licensed driver must always remain in the vehicle with the applicant. A vehicle may not be moved, even in the road test line, without a licensed driver in the vehicle. If the accompanying motorist is licensed in a state other than New Jersey, or has less than three years of driving experience, he or she must drive the vehicle to the road test area. The MVC does not supply vehicles for road tests. Only MVC examiners are out load in the vehicle when the test is administered. Elements of the road test during the road test. An MVC examiner will L ride with the applicant when he, she drives in an off-road test area or on a public road course. The purpose of the road test is to make sure that the applicant understands the rules of the road and can drive safely. See chart on next page. If the applicant's vehicle has a standard transmission, the examiner will L ask the applicant to demonstrate his her ability to correctly shift gears. Page 36 New Jersey Driver Testing During the basic road test, the examiner will L test the applicant on the full lowing items. Test at page driving in reverse 54, 55 following other vehicles 94, 95, 96 nearing corners, intersections 65, 66, 67, 68. Parking, parallel 57, 58, 59. Sitting properly, seatbelt use, 40, 41. Starting a vehicle 48, 49. 50 steering properly 51, 52 stopping at signs 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79 stopping smoothly 52, 53. Turning 55, 56, 72, 73, 74 turning around 55, 56, 57 using the horn 46 yielding right of way 65, 66. If an applicant passes the road test, the examiner will L issue an authorization for licensing. The permit, authorization, and six points of ID verification must be taken to an MVC licensing center to obtain a New Jersey driver license. The MVC will L license a successful applicant for a Class D basic driver license or Class D license for a probationary driver if the applicant has never been licensed to drive a motor vehicle in this or any other state. The MVC will L monitor his her driving habits for one year. Reasons for rejection Most applicants believe that their driving performance is the only criterion the examiner uses to grade their road. Test. However, the vehicle may be the cause for denial or failure of the road test. Some licensed applicants may not have the opportunity to take an initial road test because an examiner considers the vehicle unsuitable or unsafe for the test. Here are some of the more common reasons the MVC rejects road test vehicles. Improper, expired or no inspection sticker, lack of examiner access to foot brake or parking brake, any defect or condition that affects the safe operation of the test vehicle, such as but not limited to poor brakes, pedal must not fade or go to the floorboard, dashboard brake, warning light on parking brake, brake lights, or signal lights not working unsafe tires, smooth, cut, badly worn, vehicle interior is not in reasonably clean condition vehicle failed inspection, and motorist does not bring the vehicle.
Inspection report issued by the inspection station to the road test area fast engine idle, cannot judge speed control, missing seatbelts. Seatbelts are required on LL vehicles manufactured. After July 1, 1966, tinting on driver and or front door windows missing rear view mirrors. Interior and or driver door broken or cracked window glass passenger and or driver's door or window does not operate from the Inside additional items for motorcycles and moped tests only. Lack of equipment required by state regulations, no helmet, unapproved goggles, or face shield, no bell, L, or horn that can be heard. 100 feet away. See Motorcycle Manual, Chapter 10. For more specific information. 3. Driver Responsibility. Driver Responsibility. Section Contents 40 Buckle Up. New Jersey Seatbelt Law 41 Car Seats 42 Child Passenger Safety Law 43 Airbags 45 Car Condition 47 Carbon Monoxide Poisoning 48 Starting a Parked Car 51 Steering 52 Stopping Distances 53 Proper Braking 54 Driving Signals 54 Driving In Reverse 55 Turning 57 Parking 40 Driver Responsibility Safe driving is the responsibility of allel individuals who operate a vehicle on New Jersey roads. The rules of the road must always be obeyed, and laws must be strictly full load. A motorist must ensure the safety of allel passengers who are riding in his, her vehicle, and be mindful of the other motorists who share the road each day. Buckle up, New Jersey Seatbelt Law. Under state law, the driver, and allel passengers of a passenger vehicle, e.g., car, van, pickup truck, and SUV, must wear a seatbelt. The failure of a driver, front seat passenger, and children under age 18 to wear a seatbelt is a primary offense. The driver is responsible for ALO passengers under age 18. Front seat passengers 18 years of age and over are responsible for themselves. A police officer can stop a motorist solely for a violation of the seatbelt law. Under a secondary law, Al L unbuckled backseat occupants 18 years of age and older may be issued a summons if the vehicle is stopped for another reason. Motorists with GDL permits or probationary licenses must use seatbelts. Additional lie, they must require Al L passengers seated anywhere in the vehicle to use seatbelts. NJSA 39376.2 Fahrenheit 393 13 39, 3 minus 13 TUA, 39, 3 minus 13.4. The exemptions are any passenger vehicle manufactured before July 1, 1966. A passenger vehicle that is not required to be equipped with seatbelt systems under federal law. Or a physical or medical reason, verified in writing by a licensed physician, which makes the motorist or passenger unable to wear a seatbelt. NJSA 39. 3 minus 76.2 G. The driver of a passenger vehicle, including cars, vans, pickup trucks, and utility vehicles, shall else secure any passenger using a wheelchair in a properly adjusted and fastened wheelchair and occupant securement device. NJSA 39 3 minus 76.21. Seatbelts can save a life and improve a motorist's chances of surviving a crash by 60%. A motorist's chances of surviving a crash are three to four times better if he, she is wearing both a seatbelt and a shoulder strap. Fastening a seatbelt takes only three seconds and reduces the chances of death or injury. Seatbelts help in many ways, for example, they keep motorists and passengers from being thrown from the vehicle. In a crash, if a motorist passenger is held in place, any injury may be less severe. Driver responsibility. 41. They slow a body down with the vehicle. If a vehicle hits something, the vehicle stops, but the person keeps going at the same speed that the vehicle was moving. Hitting the dashboard or windshield at 30 miles per hour is like fouling from the top of a three-story building. They keep a motorist passenger from sliding on the seat during sudden. Stops and turns. Belts and straps also keep a motorist in position so he, she can control the vehicle. 
Tips for seatbelt safety buckle up with both lap and shoulder belts on every trip. Airbags are supplemental protection for drivers. Wear the lap belt under the abdomen and low across the hips. The shoulder portion should come over the collar bone, away from the neck, and cross over the breastbone. The shoulder belt in most new vehicles can be adjusted on the side pillar to improve fit. Know how to adjust the seat belts and how to release them if motorists. Passengers have to quickly get out of the vehicle. Buckle up if riding in the back seat. Use center seat belts if those seats are used. Seat belts help prevent riders from fouling forward. Never put more than one person in one belt. Car seats. Traffic crashes are a leading killer of children. When riding in a vehicle, children should be held in place by a restraint system that meets LL Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. Refer to the paragraph on child restraint law. LL child restraint systems built since January 1, 1981, must be designed to pass tough safety tests. These seats carry a label that gives the date of manufacture and reads, this child restraint system conforms to LL applicable federal motor vehicle safety standards. There are many types and styles of car seats. While some seats are designed to be used facing forward, once a child has reached the appropriate weight, an infant's seat must never be face forward. To do so would be extremely dangerous. Always check the label on a car seat to find out the size and weight of the child the seat is designed to protect. 42 Driver Responsibility Using the car seat every time a child rides in the vehicle, and using it correctly each time, is especially important for the safety of the child. Always read the instructions that come with the seat and follow them very carefully. Correct use of the car seat is the best protection a motorist can offer a child. For more information on child car seats, contact the Division of Highway Traffic Safety at 8004223750 or visit www.ngsafroads.com. Child Passenger Safety Law The New Jersey Child Passenger Safety Law, NJSA 39, the under 39 during 76.2a. Stand children under age 8 who are less than 57 inches, 4 feet, 9 inches, tal L, must ride in either a. A federally approved forward facing child passenger restraint system that is equipped with a 5 point harness in a rear seat of the motor vehicle. Once they outgrow the top height or weight recommendations made by the child passenger restraint system manufacturer, children must ride in a federally approved booster seat, in a rear seat of the motor vehicle, or B, a federally approved booster seat, in a rear seat of the motor vehicle. Children under age 4 who weigh less than 40 pounds must ride. A, in a federally approved rear-facing child passenger restraint system that is equipped with a five-point harness in a rear seat of the motor vehicle. Once they outgrow the top height or weight recommendations posted by the manufacturer of the child passenger restraint system, children must ride in a federally approved forward-facing child passenger restraint system that is equipped with a five-point harness in a rear seat of the motor vehicle, or be in a federally approved forward-facing child passenger restraint system that is equipped with a five-point harness in a rear seat of the motor vehicle. Children under age two and those who weigh less than 30 pounds must ride in a federally approved rear-facing child passenger restraint system that is equipped with a five-point harness. Driver Responsibility 43. LL children under age 8 must be seated in a rear seat. If there are no rear seats in the motor vehicle in which the children under age 8 are riding, the children must be secured in a federally approved child passenger restraint system or booster seat in a front seat of the motor vehicle. However, children cannot be secured in a rear-facing child passenger restraint system in a front seat of any motor vehicle that is equipped with a passenger side airbag that is not disabled or turned off. Failure to comply with this law can subject a person to a fine of not less than $50, nor more than $75, plus fees and court costs. NJSA 39 Thraminus 76.2D Note 
A person operating an auto cycle shall L not permit a child to be a passenger in the auto cycle if the child would be required to be secured in a child passenger restraint system. Pursuant to NJSA 393-76.2a. Airbags. Airbags are standard equipment in almost all L new vehicles and are designed to supplement seat belts in frontal crashes. Federal safety standards require that manufacturers equip Al El Nu passenger cars and light trucks with airbags. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, statistics show that from 1987 to 2015, frontal airbags saved 44, 869 lives. Airbags inflate at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour to protect adults in a front-end crash. An average-sized adult who is correctly belted is not likely to encounter the airbag until it is fully inflated. When airbags are combined with lap shoulder seat belts, they have saved many adult lives and prevented many injuries in motor vehicle crashes. However, airbags could seriously injure or kill ill children who are sitting in the front seat. In 1995, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, Al load cutoff switches in pickup trucks, sports cars, and autos with no back seat. In January 1998, it Al load repair shops and dealers to install L the switches in vehicles after the appropriate application was made for people in these or the full lowing categories. Driver and passenger side airbags. For individuals with medical conditions when the risks of a deploying airbag exceed the risks of impacting the steering wheel, dashboard or windshield, 44 driver responsibility, driver side airbags only. For individuals who cannot properly operate the vehicle and keep at least 10 inches between the center of the steering wheel and the center of the breastbone. Passenger side airbags only. For individuals who must place infants in the front seat because the vehicle has no rear seat, e.g. a pickup truck, or the rear seat is too small L to hold the child's rear-facing seat, or the motorist must monitor the child's medical condition for individuals who must place children, 1 to 12 years old, in the front seat because the vehicle has no rear seat, or because the individual must transport more children than can be seated in the rear seat, or because the motorist must monitor the child's medical condition, for more about an airbag on-off switch or for an application to request one, Cal LNHTSA's Toll L Free Auto Safety Hotline at 800 424 9393 Information is also available online at www.nhted.gov. Children of any age are safest when they are belted properly in the back seat of a vehicle. A special lie when the vehicle is equipped with a passenger side airbag. Other safety points. Always put an infant in a rear facing infant child safety seat in the back seat of a vehicle with airbags. Always be sure that children 12 years old and younger ride in the back seat of the vehicle. Always make sure everyone is buckled up. A motorist can tell L if his her vehicle has an airbag by the words airbag or the letters SRS, Supplemental Restraint System, or SIR. Supplemental Inflatable Restraint on the steering wheel and dashboard panel. Manufacturers also may mark the sun visors or the sides of the open door frame with warning labels or enter a warning in the vehicle's owner's manual. Driver Responsibility Car Condition it is the responsibility of LL vehicle owners to ensure that their vehicles are in proper working condition. Always check your vehicle before driving and prevent problems with regular maintenance and care. Backup lights when driving in reverse. Backup lights should be on. These must be checked to make sure they are in working order. Note. It is against New Jersey law, NJSA 39-3-52 to have any backup lights on while a vehicle is moving forward. Brakes a motorist should be able to brake smoothly and quickly. If the vehicle pull LS to one side when it stops or a motorist feels a taut pedal or hears an unusual squealing or grinding, the brakes must be checked. With conventional disc and drum brakes, a motorist should pump them gently after driving through water to test them and dry them out. 
If the brakes are hit hard, they could lock up. A motorist should be able to stop within 25 feet at 20 miles per hour. This can be tried in an empty parking lot. Chalk marks can be made on the surface to see if the vehicle can stop within that distance. If a vehicle has an anti-lock braking system, ABS, the brakes can be tested by applying steady pressure to the brake pedal. A motorist should never pump an ABS or jerk the steering wheel when braking. On very soft surfaces, such as loose gravel or unpacked snow, an ABS system may lengthen stopping distance. In wet or slippery conditions, a motorist should still L drive careful lay, always keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front, and maintain a speed consistent with the road conditions. Brake lights If a vehicle's brake lights are not working, someone may crash into the vehicle from the back. A motorist should have someone help to check the brake lights. Replace broken light covers. They may cause glare that affects the motorist in back. 46 Driver Responsibility Headlights bright and dim lights must work and be properly aligned. A motorist can check them against a garage while L or on parked vehicles. Lights should be kept clean. If other motorists flash their lights while another motorist's lights are on low beam, it could be that the lights are out of line. Horn a horn should not be overused, but a motorist should check it often to make sure it works. Use the horn to signal when passing, when coming out of a blind alley curve, or driveway, or to warn another motorist of a potential lay dangerous situation. Steering on straight level roads, a vehicle should hold a straight course. The front end should not vibrate, shimmy. The steering should respond to a motorist's turns without too much play in the steering wheel. Tail lights always keep tail and side lights in working order. They signal other motorists in the dark and prevent crashes. Tires if a motorist feels or hears any unusual thumping while driving, he she should check the tires. Bumps, cuts or bad tread can cause blowouts. Tire pressure should be checked often, especially lie when tires are cold. A motorist should check the owner's manual or the door jam of the driver's door to determine proper tire pressure or should ask for advice at a service station. Properly inflated tires save money in fuel consumption. A vehicle should not be driven with tires that have less than 1 16th inch of tread, about the edge of a penny. To hold on to the road properly, tires must match, do not mix radials with other tire types, and must have enough tread. Turn signals A motorist should be able to hear the clicking and see the lighted arrows of turn signals flash on the dashboard. If the turn signals do not work, they must be fixed as soon as possible. A motorist should use hand signals until the turn signals are repaired. Driver Responsibility 47. Windshield cracks or chips in a windshield could cause the windshield to break, causing a dangerous condition. Broken windshields should be repaired, or, if appropriate, replaced. A windshield should always be clean, inside and out. Windshield wipers should always work. A motorist can use non-freezing spray to stop windshield icing. New Jersey law prohibits add-on tinting on windshields and front side windows. NJS 39-3-74 Snow and Ice State Law NJSA 39-4-77.1 Requires a motorist to remove snow or ice from a vehicle before driving it. If snow or ice dislodges from a moving vehicle, it could strike another vehicle or pedestrian, causing injury or property damage. A motorist is required to make al l reasonable efforts to remove accumulated ice or snow from the exposed surfaces of his or her motor vehicle prior to driving it, including the hood, trunk, roof, and windshield. Any person who violates this law is subject to fines of $25 to $75 regardless of whether any snow or ice is dislodged from the vehicle. If dislodged snow or ice causes injury or property damage, fines up to $1,500 million say, be assessed. Carbon Monoxide Poisoning The Rosa Bonilla Family Act, NJSA, 39-3-10, NJSA, 39-3-41, NJSA, 39 312 6
requires the Motor Vehicle Commission to educate motorists about the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning from motor vehicles and techniques for the safe operation and proper maintenance of a motor vehicle. Carbon monoxide CO is an odorless, colorless gas that is present in a vehicle's exhaust. Modern vehicles are equipped with pollution controls that greatly reduce the amount of CO that is emitted from the tailpipe. However, certain conditions can cause dangerous levels of CO to accumulate in or around a vehicle, with potential life-fatal results. These conditions can include operating a vehicle with an exhaust leak or poorly tuned engine, operating a vehicle with the trunk or rear tailgate open, 48 driver responsibility, operating a vehicle with holes in the body of the vehicle, idling a vehicle in a garage or confined space, even with the outside, garage door open, operating a vehicle with the tailpipe that is blocked by debris, including snow, leaves, or water. Some of the most common symptoms of CO poisoning are listed below. It is important to understand that CO can kill L even before any of these symptoms are noticed. Headache, dizziness, loss of consciousness, nausea, vomiting, chest pain, confusion. If you suspect that someone is suffering from CO poisoning, it is important to immediately remove that person from the source of the CO and Cal L911-11 for immediate medical attention. If you are in a vehicle, turn off the engine, get out of the vehicle as soon as it is safe to do so and try to get the victim to breathe fresh air while you wait for help. Starting a parked car. Before getting into a vehicle, look both behind it and in front of it. There are blind spots once a motorist is behind the wheel. Children may be there. There also may be bottles, cans, bicycles, or other things that cannot be seen from the driver's seat. Starting checklist LL windows should be clean, and nothing should block a motorist's vision. Driver responsibility. Area of forward vision. Blind area. Left side mirror. Area of rear view mirror vision. Blind area. Right side mirror blind spots. While driving. The seat must be adjusted so a motorist can reach all L pedals and controls. Easily. For most motorists, the seat may be adjusted so he, she is sitting an arm's length from the steering wheel. Inside and outside rearview mirrors should be adjusted. Seat belts and shoulder harnesses should be fastened so that they are firm and comfortable. The vehicle should be in park or neutral gear and the parking brake should be set. Doors should be locked. A motorist should keep good posture while driving. The seat should be adjusted so that the motorist can reach the foot pedals easily. The motorist should be comfortable behind the wheel. He, she should not have to strain to reach the gear shift levels. Turn signals or dashboard controls. A motorist is properly positioned when he, she can see clearly and can glance to the rear. If a motorist wears glasses, he, she should adjust them. More than 95% of the information a motorist needs is visual. To fight glare at night, colored lenses should be avoided as they distort color. Anti-reflective coatings should be used on lenses. 50 driver responsibility. This will L help eliminate internal reflections in eyeglasses and may help night driving. A motorist should have an eye checkup every two years. As a motorist ages, Visual clarity declines and peripheral vision becomes less distinct. For example, a 60-year-old perceives light about a third as well L as a 20-year-old. Inside and outside mirrors should be adjusted to reduce blind spots. These are areas where a motorist cannot see behind his her vehicle, on both sides, through the mirror. A motorist can check this by turning his her head. The outside mirror should be adjusted so that the motorist can see the tip of the driver's side front door handle in the lower right of the mirror. This will allow low the motorist to see part of the lanes of traffic to the left and rear the vehicle. After starting the engine, a motorist should make sure his her path is clear by turning and looking back. A motorist should not depend on rearview mirrors. A motorist must also be sure to check for pedestrians and less conspicuous vehicles, such as bicycles and mopeds. A motorist should give the proper signal and drive with caution. When on the road, 
A motorist can check the vehicle's mirrors by letting a vehicle pass on the left. As the passing vehicle disappears from the inside rearview mirror, a motorist should be able to see its front bumper in the outside rearview mirror. Idling your vehicle New Jersey law requires LL motorists to restrict vehicle idling to three minutes or less. NJAC 727-15.8 Idling more than three minutes is unnecessary and harmful to your vehicle and your health. Vehicle and property owners face fines of $250 to $1,000 for each violation of this law. NJSA 393-70.2 There are some specific situations in which a vehicle may idle for an extended time, such as when stuck in traffic or at drive through establishments. See www.stopasut.org for a complete listing of exemptions. So do not forget. Idling stinks, and it's against the law. Turn the key and be idle free. Driver responsibility. 51. Steering. Hand position a motorist's grip on the steering wheel is important. The steering wheel can be thought of as the face of a clock. For normal driving, a motorist should grip the steering wheel by the outside rim at the 9 and 3 o'clock positions, keeping his her thumbs along the face of the wheel. Gripping the steering wheel, as described, diminishes the risk of hand, wrist, or arm injury if the airbag is deployed. A motorist should never turn the wheel while gripping it from the inside of the rim, hand facing inward. The steering wheel should be held firmly but not too tight as steady as possible as the vehicle's speed increases. Both hands should always be kept on the wheel, except when shifting gears or giving hand signals. 11 12 1, 10 2, 9 3. The motorist should keep the vehicle in the center of the lane that it is traveling. On a two-lane road with traffic coming toward the vehicle, the motorist should keep to the right. Once a motorist feels how the vehicle reacts to steering, he, she will L be ready to practice turning, parking, and other movements. It takes practice to get the feel of steering. If the vehicle has anti-lock brakes, a buzz, the motorist should never violently jerk the steering wheel while braking. See previous section, brakes and full lowing section, proper braking. Hand over hand steering, hand over hand steering permits a motorist to make steering adjustments ranging from very minor up to a half turn of the wheel, while keeping both hands on the wheel. If turning through a slight curve, both hands will L typically retain their original grip on the wheel, making only slight finger or wrist adjustments as necessary to maintain the path of travel. However, when moving through a turn, the hands may move as much as 165 degrees. The motorist initiates the turn by pushing the wheel up from 52 driver responsibility, the 9 or 3 o'clock position toward 12 o'clock, and the opposite hand crosses over and down to the 9 or 3 o'clock position, as appropriate to provide input or to stabilize steering. The original hand then returns to the original start position of 9 or 3 o'clock. The process is reversed to return to a straight path, or the wheel can be out load to slip through the fingers, control lead slipping, to straighten when coming out of a turn, while both hands are always on the wheel to adjust as necessary. Hand over hand steering is particularly well L suited for precision maneuvers, steering through curves, intersection entry and exit, and skid recovery. Stopping distances. There is no simple way to tell L exactly how long it will L take a vehicle to stop at a certain speed. Stopping distance depends on motorist reaction time, weather and visibility conditions, vehicle weight, brake conditions, condition and type of tires, roadway conditions, speed. One point is sure. The faster a vehicle is going, the longer it will L take it to stop. When a motorist must stop quickly, speed can be the difference between life and death. Speed 10 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour. Reaction distance. 11 feet, 22 feet, 33 feet, 44 feet, 55 feet, 66 feet. Braking distance. 
8 feet 31 feet 69 feet 123 feet 192 feet 277 feet. Total 19 feet 53 feet 102 feet 167 feet 247 feet 343 feet. 70 miles per hour 77. FT 376 feet 453 feet of vehicle travels 88 feet per second at 60 miles per hour. Most motorists under most traffic conditions have a typical reaction time of 34 second. Deceleration is approximately 14 feet per second. See Chapter 4 for more information on stopping and Chapter 5 for information about full lowing distances and stopping at night. Proper braking the use of brakes may seem simple, but it is not. A motorist should know the type of braking system that his her vehicle uses. It could be a conventional drum and disc brake system or an anti-lock braking system, ABS. Whether the vehicle is front or rear-wheel drive does not determine proper braking. Many new motorists make the common mistake of slamming on the brake pedal, even if there is no emergency. The vehicle will L jerk to a stop quickly and wear out brakes and tires. Steady, gentle pressure should be applied to the brake to bring the vehicle to a control led stop. With an ABS, a motorist should not pump the brakes or violently jerk the wheel. An ABS equipped vehicle may lose control at only 35 miles per hour if a motorist violently jerks the steering wheel and brakes, even on dry pavement. New motorists should practice hard braking and steering in an empty parking lot or similar open space until they are accustomed to the abs. A motorist should always use his her right foot for both the brake and the gas pedal. If the vehicle is equipped with a manual transmission, the left foot should be used for the clutch. Driving signals. A motorist should always give a proper signal when turning, changing lanes, stopping, or slowing down. A motorist should always use the vehicle's turn signals. A motorist should put on the turn signal at least 100 feet before turning, and be sure to cancel the signal after making a turn. Not doing so could mislead other motorists. NJSA 39, 4-126. New Jersey law requires a motorist to know the correct hand signals for stopping and turning, which are standard in LL states. To give a hand signal, a motorist should put his her arm well L out of the vehicle so that it is visible to other motorists. Stop or slowing down, hand and arm downward, palm facing to the rear, right turn, hand and arm upward, left turn, hand and arm straight out. Another signal is the horn, which is a warning signal. It cal ls attention to what the motorist is doing. Motorists may sound the horn when passing another vehicle when not in a business or residential zone. Under normal conditions, the horn should be able to be heard for at least 200 feet. NJSA 39 Thraminus 69 Only emergency vehicles may use sirens, whistles, or bell LS. Bicyclists, skateboarders, and inline skaters also use the hand signals noted above. In addition, Instead of extending the left hand and arm upward to indicate a right turn, bicyclists, skateboarders, and inline skaters may extend the right hand and arm straight out to indicate a right turn. Driving in reverse. Before driving in reverse, a motorist must be sure that the path is clear. This can be done by using the mirrors and turning to check. He, she must be incredibly careful because the view to the rear is limited. In reverse, turning the wheel to the right will L direct the vehicle to the right. Steering to the left will L direct the vehicle to the left. If a motorist does not turn the wheel while in reverse, the vehicle will L move straight backward. Driver Responsibility 55. To drive in reverse, a motorist's head and body should be turned to the right until he she can see clearly through the back window of the vehicle without the use of mirrors. The motorist's right hand and arm should be placed over the back of the front passenger seat. The left hand should grasp the top of the steering wheel. This is the position a motorist should be in to reverse in a straight line, with corrections made as needed. A vehicle should be driven slowly in reverse. Typical lie, walking speed, 
2 to 4 miles per hour. The motorist should not turn forward until the vehicle is totally stopped. If a motorist must turn the wheel while reversing other than in a straight line, e.g., parallel parking, two hands must be on the wheel to steer, while a motorist's head and body is turned to look out the rear window. Palming the wheel with one hand while turning in reverse is dangerous and can result in failing the road test. A motorist should always remember that the front of the vehicle will L swing in the opposite direction of a turn. A vehicle should be driven slowly in reverse. A motorist must be able to drive in reverse to pass the road portion of the driving test. He, she will L be asked to back the vehicle about 100 feet in a straight line, slowly and smoothly. Note, as of August 31, 2016, backup cameras and parking sensors that have been installed led on a motor vehicle are permitted to be used during the road test. However, driving in reverse principles apply first and foremost, turning. To make safe turns, a motorist should decide well L in advance, where he she wants to turn. Last-minute turns can be unsafe. State law requires a motorist to move to the proper lane and signal at least 100 feet before making any turn. The faster the traffic is moving, the sooner a motorist should plan his, her turn. If a turn is missed, a motorist should never back up. It is better to take the next turn than to risk a crash. Before turning, a motorist should always 56 driver responsibility. Use the mirrors to look behind and to both sides for other vehicles, or people, to see if it is safe to turn. Check for less visible vehicles, such as motorcycles, bicycles, and mopeds. Signal first, use turn signals or hand signals, and then move into the proper lane. Slow down before reaching an intersection. Keep a steady speed and full low pavement markings. Always stay in the same lane until the turn is finished. Make sure the turn signal is turned off after the turn is completed. The three-point turn, K-turn, when turning a vehicle around, a motorist should start from the right edge of the road. Choose a safe spot with good visibility in both directions. If there is no other traffic, the motorist should signal left and move forward slowly while turning the steering wheel to the left. The vehicle should be stopped several inches from the left curb or street edge. The motorist should then back up slowly while turning the steering wheel to the right, stopping several inches from the right curb or street edge. The motorist should next move the vehicle forward while turning the steering wheel to the left. Final lie, the motorist should straighten a vehicle's wheels as it faces in the direction he she wants to go. This is a complete three-point or K turn. A new motorist will L be required to make this turn during the MVC's road test. One, two, three, driver responsibility, parking. When parking, a motorist should always set the brake and put the vehicle in park or with a manual transmission in reverse or low gear. There are several important steps for a motorist to follow when parking his, her vehicle on a street with a curb. When parking a vehicle facing downhill, the hand brake should be set and the vehicle's wheels should be turned toward the curb. The vehicle should be in park or with a manual transmission in reverse. When parking a vehicle facing uphill, the handbrake should be set and the vehicle's wheels should be turned away from the curb. The vehicle should be in park or with a manual transmission in low. Angle parking angle parking is often used in parking lots of shopping centers and sometimes at curbs. A motorist should full low these rules when entering an angle parking space to his her right. Watch for traffic both ahead and behind. Signal and begin to slow down. Make sure the rear of the vehicle will L clear the parked vehicles. Steer sharply into the parking space. And then straighten the wheels. Centering the vehicle in the parking space. Shift to park or reverse if standard transmission. And apply the parking. Brake. A motorist should full low these rules before backing out of an angle parking space. Walk around to make sure nothing is in the vehicle's way. Slowly move the vehicle in reverse, and be sure that the lane is clear of traffic. Tap the horn to warn nearby pedestrians.
when able to see past the tops of the vehicles parked next to the vehicle, stop and look again. 58 Driver Responsibility Look back and to each side for other motorists. Remember that the front of the vehicle will else swing opposite of the direction of the turn. Back up slowly while turning until the vehicle's left front wheel passes the rear bumper of the vehicle parked on the left. Straighten the wheels as the vehicle comes back into the lane of traffic. Parallel parking Parallel parking is the most common type of parking on city streets. A motorist must be able to parallel park a vehicle to pass the MVC's road test. This takes the most practice for a new motorist. A motorist should practice often, in an empty parking lot at first. Flags or markers 25 feet apart may be used to show where the other vehicles would be. If a motorist hits the flags or markers, he she is not ready for parking between real vehicles and should keep practicing. The slower and smoother a motorist backs into a parking space, the easier it is to park. To properly parallel park, a motorist should find a parking space that is large enough to fit the vehicle. Signal for a stop and signal to the right to alert motorists that the vehicle will L back up to the right. Pull L up alongside, parallel, about two to four feet from the vehicle in front. Turn and check to see that the way is clear behind the vehicle before. Backing up. Turn his her body to look out the rear window of the vehicle. Begin. Backing up slowly for about two feet, and turn the steering wheel al l the way to the right. When the front of the vehicle has cleared the rear bumper of the vehicle. In front, stop and check the angle. Make sure the right back wheel has not hit the curb. Turn the steering wheel al l the way to the left while beginning to back up. Slowly. Make sure the vehicle can clear its back bumper. When the vehicle is in line, stop. Be sure not to hit the vehicle in back. Turn the vehicle's wheels straight and drive to the center of the parking. Space. The vehicle's tires should be no more than six inches from the curb. Driver responsibility. Six. Four. Safe driving rules and regulations. Safe driving rules and regulations. Section contents 62 speed control 64 passing 65 keeping to the right 65 yielding the right of way 66 pedestrians in a crosswalk 67 intersections 68 entering highways parkways and turnpikes 69 leaving highways parkways and turnpikes special highway parkway and turnpike conditions 72 curves 72 interchanges 72 Turning regulations 74 stopping regulations 82 using headlights 83 parking regulations 84 cell luller telephones littering 62 safe driving rules and regulations speed control exceeding the speed limit is a common contributing factor of fatal and other types of crashes a motorist must always obey the speed limit speed affects almost everything that can happen when driving a good rule is to keep up with the flow of traffic at any legal speed. To make safe emergency stops when necessary, it is important to keep enough distance from surrounding traffic. New Jersey law sets top speed limits for any given road, street, highway, or freeway. 25 miles per hour school zones, business, or residential districts. 35 miles per hour suburban business and residential districts. 50 miles per hour non-posted rural roadways, 55 miles per hour certain state highways, as posted and interstates, 65 miles per hour certain interstate highways, as posted. Motorists pay double fines for exceeding the 65 miles per hour limit by 10 miles per hour or more. Double fines also apply to most other moving violations committed in a 65 miles per hour zone. NJSA 39, Formis 98, Phase 6. Safe Driving Rules and Regulations. 63. New Jersey Limits, Unless Otherwise Posted. NJSA 39, Formis 98. Never drive faster than weather, road, or other conditions safely al low. Regardless of the posted speed limit, a motorist should judge his her speed control by existing conditions. A motorist should slow down enough to be able to see clearly and stop quickly in traffic. 
Failure to do so can result in a moving violation. Always slow down. On narrow or winding roads. At intersections or railroad crossings. On hill ellis. At sharp or blind curves. Where there are pedestrians or driving hazards. When the road is wet or slippery. If vehicle problems prevent a motorist from keeping up with the normal flow of traffic, he she should pull L off the road and activate hazard lights. Driving too slowly, a motorist should always try to keep up with the normal flow of traffic, while not exceeding the posted speed limit. Some crashes are caused by driving too slowly and backing up traffic. When road surfaces and traffic are normal, New Jersey law prohibits blocking traffic through slow driving. NJSA 39 for minus 56. SA FECORRIDORS. NJSA 39. Minus 2035. To improve highway safety, New Jersey initiated the Safe Corridors Program, which was signed into law in July 2003. The Safe Corridors law doubles fines on various state highways for a variety of driving offenses, including speeding and aggressive driving. Highways are designated as safe corridors based on statistics showing crash rates 50% over the state rate and 1,000 or more crashes reported over a three-year period. The Commissioner of Transportation has the authority to designate safe corridors as necessary, as well as to remove those that show improved safety levels. A current list of safe corridor highways is available on the New Jersey Department of Transportation website at www.nj.gov slash transportation dot. Passing. A motorist must know the proper lane for normal driving and how to change lanes safely. The rules for passing depend on the type of road. Stay to the right of the roadway's center lines. Passing is only safe when there is no oncoming traffic. Watch for the full lowing lane markings. NJSA through 9 for minus 86. Both center lines are solid, no passing owl load. One center line is broken. Passing is owl load only on the side with the broken line. Both center lines are broken. Passing is owl load on both sides. Note, owl passing must be completed before the center lines are solid again. Pass only when safe. Pass. When line is broken, do not pass. When line is solid, no passing. With double solid lines. Safe driving rules and regulations. 65. Most passing should be on the left. Passing on the right is owl load only on roads with more than one lane going in the same direction. If vehicles on the roadway are moving in two or more substantially continuous lines, or when the motorist ahead is making a left turn and there is room to pass, never pass on the right shoulder of the road. This is against the law. NJSA 39, 4-85. A motorist should not pass. On a hill L or curve or at any time he she cannot see far enough ahead. At a street crossing or intersection. At a railroad crossing. On narrow bridges or in underpasses or tunnels. When a sign prohibits passing or center lines restrict passing. When behind a vehicle that has stopped to let a pedestrian cross. Keeping to the right. New Jersey law requires motorists to keep to the right, except when passing. Motorists must drive on the right half of the roadway unless driving on a one-way street. Motorists must drive a vehicle as close as possible to the right-hand edge or curb of the roadway, except when overtaking and passing another vehicle. NJSA 39-4-82 On a multi-lane roadway, Motorists must drive in the lane nearest to the right-hand edge or curb of the roadway when the lane is available for travel, except when overtaking another vehicle or in preparation for a left turn. NJSA 39, 4-88. Yielding the right-of-way. Although laws govern the right-of-way, a motorist should always be prepared to yield. These basic rules always apply. Emergency vehicles when police cars, fire engines, and ambulances are giving warning signs, sirens, flashing lights, trains when a train is approaching a railroad crossing, buses when re-entering the flow of traffic. Page 66 Safe Driving Rules and Regulations 
Postal vehicles when the vehicle re-enters the flow of traffic. Motorized or mobility assistance devices when in a crosswalk or seeking to cross a road. Other vehicles that are already in the intersection. Pedestrians in a crosswalk. New Jersey has experienced many pedestrian injury crashes and fatalities, as compared to the nation as a whole. The most important pedestrian safety message for New Jersey residents is, pedestrian safety is a shared responsibility. There is no single cause of crashes involving pedestrians. Pedestrians and motorists must al l do their part to keep pedestrians safe. A motorist must stop for pedestrians in crosswalks. Failure to stop carries a fine of up to $500, up to 25 days in jail, community service, a driving privilege suspension of up to six months, and two points. NJSA 39, 4-36. Watch for pedestrians when turning on red. Obey speed limits. Be sure not to block or park in crosswalks. Keep the vehicle's windshield clean for maximum visibility. Always be alert for pedestrians. Be aware of areas where pedestrians are most likely to appear near schools, town centers, residential neighborhoods, parks. Never pass another vehicle that has stopped for a pedestrian. Stop for allo pedestrians in a crosswalk even if they began crossing with a proper signal and they are still L in the crosswalk when the signal changes. Remember that pedestrians are the most vulnerable roadway users. Motorists will L be held responsible for maintaining pedestrian safety. Safe driving rules and regulations. Intersections. An intersection is where two or more roads cross or merge at angles. As most crashes occur intersections, a motorist should be aware of the four types of intersections and know how to safely navigate through them. A single solid white line across a road at an intersection means that a motorist must stop behind the line for a traffic signal or sign. Controlled an intersection is control-led if there are traffic signals or signs in any direction or control led by a police officer. A motorist must obey the signals and signs. At a control-led intersection, a motorist must yield for certain conditions. At a multi-way stop or stop intersection, a motorist must yield to the motorist on the right if both motorists get there at the same time. A motorist should also yield to another motorist already stopped at the intersection. At an intersection control led by a yield sign, a motorist must slow down and yield to traffic on the intersecting roadway, even if he, she must stop. When making a left turn at an intersection, a motorist must yield to oncoming traffic and stop for pedestrians within the crosswalk. A motorist is prohibited from entering or crossing an intersecting street marked with a stop sign unless he or she first brings the vehicle to a complete stop at a point within five feet of the nearest crosswall. K or stop line marked upon the pavement at the near side of the intersection street. The motorist may only proceed after yielding the right of way to allow traffic on the intersection street, which is so close as to constitute an immediate hazard. Note. Driving on private property to avoid a traffic signal or sign is a motor vehicle violation. NJSA 39 66.2 Uncontrolled an intersection is uncontrolled led when two or more roads join and there is no traffic signal or regulatory device. A motorist must be careful when approaching these types of intersections. Most of the time there will L be a warning sign prior to reaching the intersection. As a motorist nears a crossroad that is not control-led, he she must reduce speed and be ready to stop if any traffic is coming from the right or left. A motorist coming from a private road or driveway must yield to al l traffic on the main road. As a rule, the vehicle on the left should yield to the vehicle on the right. When a traffic signal is not illuminated because of a power failure or other malfunction, the traffic signal is observed as a four-way stop signal. NJSA 39 4-81 68 Safe Driving Rules and Regulations Blind line of sight buildings, parked vehicles, or bushes may obstruct a motorist's line of sight. On rural roadways, 
Trees or crops may obstruct a motorist's line of sight. A motorist should always slow down or stop completely to make sure there is no cross traffic before proceeding. Traffic circle, there are no set rules for driving into, around and out of a traffic circle in New Jersey. Common sense and caution must always prevail. In most cases, the circle's historically established traffic flow pattern dictates who has the right of way. If a major highway flows into and through the circle, it usually dominates the traffic flow pattern and commands the right of way. Traffic control signs, such as stop or yield signs, at the entrances to the circle also govern which motorist has the right of way. Never enter a traffic circle without checking LL signs and determining the intentions of the motorists already moving within the circle. Whenever a motorist is in doubt concerning who has the right of way in a circle, he, she should exercise extreme caution and remember the basic rule governing any uncontrolled lead intersection. The vehicle to the left yields the right of way to the vehicle approaching from the right. Entering highways, parkways, and turnpikes. Highways, parkways, and turnpikes are high speed, up to 65 miles per hour. Divided roadways in generally have multiple lanes. Traffic on each side of the divide will L travel in only one direction. There are no direct intersections. Motorists enter these roadways by way of acceleration lanes, which are extra lanes at highway entrances used by motorists to speed up to join the flow of traffic. A motorist must yield to traffic already traveling on the main road before moving into the proper lane. Safe driving rules and regulations. Use turn signal. Speed up to the flow of traffic. Keep the full lowing points in mind when entering a highway, parkway, or turnpike. Obey posted advisory speed limits, if any, at the entrance ramp. Speed up to the flow of traffic when leaving the acceleration lane. Avoid coming to a complete stop in the acceleration lane. Yield to traffic and enter the right-hand lane when safe. Leaving highways, parkways, and turnpikes. In most cases, exit ramps or deceleration lanes, which are extra lanes at a highway exit, are located on the right-hand side of the roadway. A motorist should always watch for signs that direct where to exit the roadway. If a motorist misses an exit ramp on a highway, parkway, or turnpike, he or she should go to the next exit. Keep the full lowing points in mind when leaving a highway, parkway, or turnpike. Start slowing down when entering a deceleration lane. Obey the posted advisory speed limit of the deceleration lane. Use turn signal. Avoid stopping in the entry and exit lanes slow to speed limit of exit lane. When the exit is located on the left of a roadway, look for signs that will L, direct traffic to the proper lane for exiting. If you miss an exit, go on to the next one. Never back up on an exit ramp or deceleration lane, special highway, parkway, and turnpike conditions. Weave lane a weave lane is both an entrance and an exit for an expressway. Traffic may come onto and leave the expressway at the same location. This traffic weave causes conflicts, both for motorists using a weave lane and those on the expressway and entrance ramp, in terms of speed and space adjustments. The motorist entering from the entrance ramp must yield the right of way to the motorist leaving the expressway. Safe driving rules and regulations. 71. Highways through cities, the volume of traffic may increase dramatically. Speeds may slow to a crawl. The motorist should drive in the left or center lane to avoid merge conflicts during rush hour. A motorist should search for exits early and adjust position for exit. Disabled vehicles when seeing a disabled vehicle ahead. A motorist should reduce speed and increase the space between his or her vehicle and the disabled vehicle. This may involve changing lanes. Be alert for pedestrians, tow trucks, and or police vehicles. See New Jersey's move over law later in this chapter. If a motorist vehicle becomes disabled, he she must pull L off as far as possible onto the shoulder or median. Turn on emergency flashers. Raise the hood to signal for assistance. Stay in the vehicle. Keep your seatbelt on and lock the doors. If available, 
Use the cell L phone to Cal L for help. Ask anyone who stops to go to a phone and Cal L for assistance. Do not get into a stranger's vehicle. Construction areas a motorist should always stay alert for construction area warning signs. When coming across these areas, a motorist should adjust speed and adjust position to maintain space around his, her vehicle. Toll booths a motorist should stay alert for toll L booth signs and begin reducing speed early, as traffic may be backed up at the booth. Green lights or signals highlight open booths. A motorist should be aware of easy pass booths and lanes, including high-speed easy pass lanes. When exiting toll L booths, a motorist should search traffic to both sides for merging potential, accelerate smoothly and adjust speed. 72 Safe Driving Rules and Regulations Curves It is important for a motorist to adjust steering and speed when approaching a curve in the road. The best way to enter a curve is to slow down before entering and avoid drifting into another lane. A motorist should always watch for vehicles that may drift into his her lane as well L. Check for curve ahead warning signs and recommended speeds. Interchanges Divided roadways are built for express traffic. To ease traffic flow, there are usually no traffic lights or direct intersections. To enter or exit such an expressway, a cloverleaf turn is often necessary. A motorist should watch for entrance and exit signs and drive slowly in the circle, obeying the posted speed limit. Turning regulations. Right turn on red unless a no turn on red sign is posted. New Jersey law authorizes a right turn on a red light after a motorist comes to a full L stop and checks. For traffic. A motorist must yield to L L oncoming traffic and pedestrians before turning right at a red light. Difficult to see vehicles, such as bicycles and mopeds, may have a green light, so it is important for a motorist to be aware of their presence. NJSA 39 4-115 Always use a proper turn signal at least 100 feet before making any turn and cancel the signal after completing the turn. NJSA 39-4-126. Right turns, NJSA 39-4-123. To make a safe right turn, a motorist should approach the intersection as far to the right as possible. Keeping near to the curb or parked vehicles. The motorist should not swing outward or into another lane while making the right turn. He, she should drive up to the turn as far to the right as possible, keeping close to the right curb or parked vehicles at the curb. Proper vehicle positioning prior to a right turn reduces the chance of another vehicle being in the space on the right as the motorist makes the turn. He, she should not swing into the wrong lane while making the turn. Safe driving rules and regulations. Use turn signal slow down. Use turn signal. Do not cross dividing line. Left turns. NJSA 39-4-123. Left turns. Two vehicles. When two vehicles meet at an intersection and both have signaled to turn left, extra caution must be applied. When safe, each motorist should turn to the left of the center of the intersection. Left turn from a one-way road onto a one-way road. Approaching the turn in the left lane, the motorist should turn into the left lane of the road he, she is entering. Left turn from a two-way road onto a two-way road. Approach the turn as close as possible to the line nearest to the center of the road. When turning, the vehicle should not cross lane markings. The motorist should keep to the right of the center line of the road that the vehicle is entering. Left turns, between intersections. Between intersections, solid lines show when not to pass. However, these lines may be crossed with care when entering or leaving driveways in business or residential areas. Left turn from a two-way road onto a four-lane highway. Approach the turn as close to the center line to the right side of the road as possible. Make the turn before reaching the center of the intersection. It is important not to cross lane markings. The motorist should turn into the lane nearest the center line of the right side of the other road. This is the passing lane of the four-lane highway. When traffic permits, the motorist should move to the right, 
out of the passing lane. Use turn signal. Yield to oncoming traffic. Use turn signal. Don't cut corners. Stopping regulations. Signs, signals, and traffic rules indicate when a motorist must stop. A motorist must be careful when traveling through an intersection and exercise caution when proceeding from a red light after the light turns green. There may be other vehicles coming through or still L in the intersection. Most crashes at traffic signals happen in the first few seconds after the light has changed. When a yellow light full lows a green light, a motorist must stop before entering the intersection, unless yellow appears when the vehicle is too close to stop safely. If the light changes while a driver is already in the intersection, he, she should go through with caution. Be alert for a stale green light. This is a light that has been green for some time. Use turn signal, use turn signal, yield to oncoming traffic, don't turn wide, be prepared for it to change to yell low and then to red. Slow down and stop accordingly. A motorist must stop at an intersection with a stop sign. At an intersection with a red light either flashing or illuminated. At an intersection with a yellow light after a green light, unless too close to stop safely. When a traffic officer orders the vehicle to stop. 76 Safe Driving Rules and Regulations When there is a yield sign and traffic does not permit a safe merge. When a school bus is picking up or letting off children and or the red. Lights are flashing. When coming from an alley, private driveway, or building, at a bridge span that is about to open for boat traffic, for a blind pedestrian using a white or metal lick walking cane, or a trained guide dog, or a guide dog instructor engaged in instructing a guide dog, for a pedestrian in a crosswalk or at an intersection, for a motorized wheelchair or mobility assistance device in a crosswalk, or at an intersection. Single white lines show motorists where to stop at stop signs or traffic signals. Stop at railroad crossings to ensure public safety. The New Jersey Department of Transportation, NJDOT, and railroads mark public highway rail grade crossings, also known as railroad crossings with one or more warning devices. Warning devices include advance warning signs, pavement markings in front of a railroad crossing's flashing red lights, usual lie on railroad crossing signs, gates or gates with flashing red lights, ringing bell LS, and flag signals. A motorist must stop at least 15 feet from a railroad crossing when there are flashing red lights, ringing bell LS, descending or lowered gates, or flag signals. Flashing red lights, ringing bell LS, descending gates or gates that have already been lowered indicate that a train is coming, and a motorist must stop. A motorist should never cross until the gates have been raised, the bell LS have stopped ringing, and the red lights have stopped flashing. NJSA 39-4-127.1 Never race a train. A motorist can underestimate the speed and distance of trains. Most trains need more than a mile to stop if traveling at 60 miles per hour or more. Special circumstances. Some vehicles, such as school buses, buses, or vehicles carrying hazardous materials must always stop at railroad crossings. When driving behind one of these vehicles, a motorist must be prepared to stop, even if the signals do not indicate a train is coming. NJSA 39 4-128 a motorist should never stop his her vehicle on railroad tracks. When crossings railroad tracks, a motorist should make sure there is room on the other side to get completely across. If warning devices activate while a motorist is crossing railroad tracks, he she should immediately proceed to the other side. Safe driving rules and regulations. 77. Stop for school buses, NJSA. 39 Formas 128.1. A motorist must stop for a school bus with flashing red lights. State law requires a motorist to stop at least 25 feet away if he, she is traveling on a two-lane road or on a multi-lane highway where lanes are only separated by lines, or on a privately maintained road. When traveling on a dual-lane highway, 
A motorist should slow to 10 miles per hour if on the other side of a safety island or raised median. School buses are equipped with yellow or amber and red flashing lights. The yellow or amber lights go on before the bus stops and the red lights go on when the bus has stopped. However, a motorist should not depend on these lights if driving behind a school bus. They could be malfunctioning. When a school bus stops, LL motorists traveling behind or approaching the bus must stop their vehicles at least 25 feet away. A motorist should only proceed after the bus signals have been turned off and even then, he she must watch for children or persons who have developmental disabilities. If a school bus has stopped directly in front of a school to pick up or let off children or persons with developmental disabilities, a motorist may pass from either direction at a speed of no more than 10 miles per hour. 25 feet. 25 feet cars must stop 25 feet from school buses. 78 safe driving rules and regulations. Stop for frozen dessert trucks. NJSA 39. 4 minus 128 4. When approaching or overtaking an ice cream or frozen dessert truck from either direction, and the truck is flashing red lights and posting a stop signal arm, a motorist must yield the right of way to any person who is crossing the roadway to or from the truck, watch out for children and be prepared to stop, stop, and then drive past the truck at a speed of no more than 15 miles per hour. A motorist needs not stop on a dual highway if he she is on the other side of a safety island or raised median Pull over and stop for emergency vehicles New Jersey law requires Al L motorists to yield to emergency vehicles when emergency vehicles sound sirens and or flashing red and or blue. Emergency lights. A motorist should steer to the extreme right of the roadway, stop, and wait for the emergency vehicle to pass. Afterward, the motorist should keep at least 300 feet behind a signaling emergency vehicle. NJSA 39 for minus 92. Police cars, fire trucks, ambulances or other emergency vehicles have sirens and red lights. Private vehicles operated by volunteer fire and rescue squad members with emergency vehicle identification. Responding to an emergency Cal L use blue lights. A motorist should never park within 200 feet of a fire department vehicle in service or drive over a fire hose unless directed to do so by a fire, emergency rescue, or police official. Move Over Law New Jersey's Move Over Law requires Al L motorists approaching a stationary, authorized emergency vehicle, tow truck, highway maintenance, or other emergency service vehicle that is displaying a flashing, blinking, or alternating red, blue, amber, or yellow light, or a configuration of lights containing one of these colors to change lanes, safety and traffic conditions permitting, into a lane not adjacent to the stationary emergency vehicle. If a lane change is impossible, prohibited by law or unsafe, the motorist must reduce the speed of his her vehicle to a reasonable and proper speed that is lower than the posted speed limit and be prepared to stop, if necessary. Motorists who violate this law face a fine of not less than $100 and not more than $500. NJSA 39 Firmus 92.2 Page 79 Page 80 Safe Driving Rules and Regulations Message from the Attorney General For many people, being pole led over by a police officer while driving a vehicle can be a stressful event. In order to make the traffic stop as safe and pleasant as possible for Al L involved, here are some important tips. Pull L over in a safe place as soon as possible. Be courteous. Mutual respect between the officer and the, the driver is expected and encouraged. Have your license, insurance card, and registration in a place you can easily access. Turn down your music. If you are stopped at night, Turn on your dome and or interior lights. This will L increase the visibility inside your vehicle, so the officer will L be less concerned about what he or she cannot see. Roll L down your window. Keep your hands visible, preferably on the steering wheel. Do not make sudden movements, particularly if the move. Ments involve reaching into areas not visible to the officer. 
If you must reach for something, wait for the officer to come to your vehicle and tell L the officer what you are planning to do before you do it. Stay calm and communicate with the officer. 82 Safe Driving Rules and Regulations Using Headlights Proper use of headlights is critical to safe driving. Headlights must be used between one half hour after sunset and one half hour before sunrise. Headlights must also be used when visibility is 500 feet or less. When using windshield wipers during rain, snow, and ice, or when encountering fog, mist, smoke, or other factors that reduce visibility. NJSA 39 3 minus 46. Being able to see clearly while driving is especially important. A vehicle's lights should always be in good working order and clean. Headlights help other motorists see approaching vehicles. Parking or auxiliary lights cannot legally be used in place of headlights when headlights are required. Bright and dim headlights have two sets of beams, bright high and dim low which are control led by a switch or button on or near the dashboard. The bright beam is for open country driving when there is no traffic in sight. The bright beam helps some motorists see farther ahead and peripheral lie or at a wider angle. At night, a motorist's pupils are dilated, allowing more light to aid in the ability to see. Bright beams can momentarily blind other motorists by constricting the pupils and should not be used if other vehicles are approaching or when driving behind another vehicle. It can take three to five seconds for a motorist to recover from the glare of approaching high beam headlights. At a speed of 50 miles per hour, a motorist will L have traveled the length of a football L field while being unable to see. If a vehicle is approaching with high beams, a motorist should look to the right of the road until the vehicle passes. Never flash high beams at an approaching motorist. The dim beams are used for city driving and driving in traffic on roadways. Dim beams are focused down on the road. Dim beams are used when traveling behind other vehicles or when another vehicle is approaching. Other types of lights. Parking lights Parking lights are to be used for a short period of time such as when a vehicle is left in a permitted zone, to show other motorists where a vehicle is parked. Parking lights are required on vehicles parked in areas other than business or residential zones. Safe driving rules and regulations. 83. Taillights Taillights turn on at the same time as a vehicle's headlights and parking lights. They become brighter when a motorist applies the brakes to show that he she is slowing or stopping. During the day, Without headlights, the tail lights also turn on as a motorist applies the brakes. Brake lights brake lights become brighter when a motorist applies the brakes, showing that the vehicle is slowing or stopping. Interim overhead lights found inside the vehicle. These types of lights should be used only briefly, when necessary, when driving or to comply with the police officer's request to illuminate the motorists. Compartment of the vehicle when stopped. Dashboard lights, if dashboard lights are too bright, they may create a glare for the motorist and impede vision. The lights should be kept dim but still L light enough for a motorist to read the dials. Spotlight spotlights should be used only in emergencies. This also applies to emergency flashers, hazard lights. Spotlights may not be used for driving purposes. Fog lights, these auxiliary driving lights may be used with low beam headlights to provide general lighting ahead of a motor vehicle, specifically during foggy weather conditions. NJAC 13-32-25 Parking Regulations A motorist should always check for traffic when leaving a vehicle after parking. He, she should also check for bicycles or mopeds, which are sometimes difficult to see before opening the driver's side door and exiting the vehicle. A motorist opening a door into traffic may be liable for any crash with a moving vehicle. It is safer for passengers to exit a parked vehicle from the curbside. A motorist should read parking signs before parking on a city street to be aware of restrictions or time limits. It is illegal for a vehicle to be parked more than six inches from the curb. NJSA 39 
Formus 135. Never park where a vehicle will L block traffic. Do not park, NJSC 39 138, unless directed to do so by a police officer or to avoid a crash. A motorist should never stop or park at any of the full lowing places. Page 84 Safe Driving Rules and Regulations. In a crosswalk, between a safety zone for pedestrians and the adjacent curb or within 20 feet of the end of the safety zone, near properly marked street construction, in a space on public or private property marked for vehicle parking for persons with a disability, unless legally authorized, on an interstate highway, in a sidewalk, in a bus stop zone, in front of a public or private driveway, within an intersection, within 10 feet of a fire hydrant, within 25 feet of a crosswalk at an intersection or sideline of a street or intersection highway, except at alleys, within 50 feet of a railroad crossing, within 50 feet of a stop sign, within 20 feet of the driveway entrance to any fire station and within 75 feet on the street opposite a fire station entrance, on any bridge or elevated roadway or in any tunnel, next to another vehicle parked at the curb, double parking, in an area where parking is prohibited by municipal ordinance. In case of mechanical trouble or other emergency, a motorist should stop on the right highway shoulder and turn on emergency flashers, cellular telephones. State law prohibits the use of handheld electronic devices, such as cellular telephone, while driving a motor vehicle on any public road or highway. Using a handheld cellular telephone or texting device is a primary offense. Law enforcement may stop and cite a motorist specific lie for these actions. Motorists are permitted to use a hands-free cellular telephone if it does not interfere with any federally required safety equipment or with the safe operation of the vehicle. Although the use of a hands-free cellular telephone is legal, it is strongly discouraged. Safe driving rules and regulations. 85. A handheld cellular telephone may be used only in certain emergency situations, which include fire, traffic crash, serious road hazard, medical emergency, hazardous material emergency. Motorists in the above-mentioned circumstances must keep one hand on the steering wheel while using a handheld telephone. To prove legal use of a handheld telephone while operating a motor vehicle, a motorist may be asked to produce testimony or written statements from appropriate authorities or telephone records. The fine for breaking this law is $200 to $400 for a first offense, $400 to $600 for a second offense within 10 years of the first offense, $600 to $800 for a third offense within 10 years of the second offense and for al L subsequent offenses. A person convicted of a third or subsequent violation shall L also be assessed three motor vehicle penalty points. NJSA 39 for minus 97 pre. There may be a 90 to day license suspension as well L. Kulesh's, Kubert's and Bolus's law, enacted in 2012, establishes illegal use of a cellular telephone while driving as recklessness under the vehicular homicide, NJSA 2C. E E A minus five, an assault by auto, in G S A, two minus twelve a minus one, statutes. The intent and effect of this law is to make it easier for prosecutors to obtain convictions for vehicular homicide or assault by auto against a person who illegally uses a cell L phone while driving and, as result, kill L S or injure someone. A graduated driver license GDL holder may not use a handheld or hands-free cellular telephone or any other handheld electronic device when behind the wheel. Doing so is a violation of GDL restrictions. NJSA 39-3-13, 39-3-13-2A, 39-3-13.4. A school bus driver may not use a handheld or hands-free cellular telephone while operating a school bus, except in an emergency or when the school bus is parked in a safe area off a highway. NJSA 39 3B-25
86. Safe driving rules and regulations. Littering. Throwing trash, debris, or rubbish from a moving or parked vehicle is illegal. Litter is a safety hazard and an eyesore. Fines of up to $1,000 may be imposed on motorists found throwing dangerous objects from a vehicle onto a roadway. If the vehicle is moving when litter is thrown, the motorist may lose his, her license. Al L. Trash. Debris or rubbish carried in a vehicle must be covered to keep it from littering the roadway. NJSA 39, 4-63, 39, 4-64, page 87, 5 Defensive Driving. Section Contents 90 Prevent a Crash 90 Aggressive Driving Road Rage, 92 Distractions, 92 Tired Driver, Highway Hypnosis 93 Communicating and Driving 94. Keep a safe distance, do not tailgate 95 full lowing distances 96 changing lanes, and passing 97 passed by another vehicle 97 road conditions, 99. Reduced visibility 100 night driving 101 driving situations 104, reacting to driving problems 107 vehicle failure, 108 crashes. Accidents. 110 what to do in case of a crash. 90. Defensive driving. Prevent a crash. Most crashes are caused by motorist error. A motorist can reduce the chances of a crash by knowing and using the standard crash prevention formula. Be alert. Never think the other motorist will L not make a driving mistake. Be prepared. Learn what to do in any situation when you have to act fast. And always expect the unexpected. Act in time. Try not to panic. Know what to do if something happens suddenly. Aggressive driving road rage. Emotions can greatly affect a motorist's ability to drive. If a motorist is angry or excited, he she should take time to cool off. Aggressive driving is a progression of unlawful driving actions including, but not limited to, unexpectedly altering the speed of a vehicle, making improper or erratic traffic lane changes, disregarding traffic control devices, Failing to yield the right of way and full lowing another vehicle too closely. Unexpectedly altering the speed of a vehicle is counterproductive to the goal of safely operating a motor vehicle. The speed limit should always be obeyed, as failure to do so can result in crashes, injuries, and even fatalities. Though some people may assume that it is safer to go slower than the other vehicles, it is actually important to keep up with the flow of traffic, as doing so helps create a safe environment for Al L those on the road. Making improper and or erratic traffic lane changes can result in crashes, and so, when attempting to change lanes, it is imperative that the rear and side view mirrors are utilized, the turn signals are properly and responsibly used and that ample warning time is provided to other drivers in advance of any lane change. Additional lay, the vehicle should be kept in the center of the lane at LL times, as veering to either side can disrupt the safe flow of traffic, cause drivers to swerve, and ultimately result in crashes. Disregarding traffic control devices can result in crashes, and therefore, they should always be obeyed. It is important for a driver to pay attention to traffic control devices and proceed with proper protocol for a given circumstance. For example, remember to stop at red lights. A right turn on red is permissible provided there is no sign stating otherwise. However, one must first come to a full L stop and yield to traffic and pedestrians. An inadequate stop or failure to yield could result in injury or fatality to the driver or pedestrians. Defensive driving. 91. Failing to yield the right of way is a common, but potentially fatal, mistake. Drivers should always yield the right of way, including but not limited to, encountering oncoming traffic. Keep an eye out for yield signs, school buses flashing red lights, and other situations in which a driver must yield to promote roadway safety. Full lowing another vehicle too closely increases the chances of a crash if, for any reason, that vehicle comes to a sudden or otherwise unanticipated stop, or if driving conditions are less than ideal.
be it due to external factors such as rain, snow or fog, or internal determinants like inadequate brakes. It is important to keep a safe distance between vehicles to allow low sufficient reaction time and safe stopping distance. Do not tailgate. It is a good practice to use the three second plus rule. See full lowing pages to help judge enough full lowing distances. Be sure to check that the vehicle's brakes are always in optimal operating condition. Aggressive drivers fail to consider how their actions behind the wheel may affect other motorists on the road. When behind the wheel, a motorist should always remain calm and full, low the rules of the road. Extreme cases of aggressive driving may lead to road rage. Road rage occurs when motorists lose their tempers or become frustrated because of a traffic disturbance. These aggressive motorists may run stop signs and red lights, speed, tailgate, weave through traffic, pass illegal lie on the right, make improper and unsafe lane changes, make hand or facial gestures, scream, honk horns or flash high beams. In extreme cases, aggressive motorists may cause a crash. New Jersey is waging a campaign against road rage. The state has specifically trained enforcement patrols to help stop aggressive motorists. To report an aggressive motorist, Cal L. 888, SAF Road, or, if using a cell L phone, Cal L. Number 77. Note. While there are emergency exceptions to the handheld cell L phone law, it is always safest to pull L over to the side of the road before making a Cal L. Page 92 Defensive Driving Distractions Operating any motor vehicle requires the motorist's full attention. In many cases, crashes are caused by a distracted motorist. Inattentive motorists often tailgate, go too fast, or drift out of their lanes. They ignore traffic signs and signals, road markings, potential traffic hazards, road conditions, and other vehicles. Some causes of inattentive driving are lighting a cigarette, trying to fasten a safety belt while driving, reaching across the seat to close a door or look in the glove, compartment, reaching for coins in pockets while driving up to a toll L booth, trying to adjust a wristwatch, watching children or pets in the vehicle, trying to remove a coat, reading maps and newspapers, eating while driving, adjusting a mirror while driving, using a cell L phone or any other electronic device, adjusting the radio or CD player, applying makeup, shaving, using a laptop computer or fax machine. A motorist should never do any of these things while driving. His, her full L attention must be on the road at L L times. Tired driver highway hypnosis. A tired driver is a dangerous driver. A tired driver cannot drive well L and his her reaction time is reduced. The motorist may also get upset more easily or even foul L asleep behind the wheel. A tired driver can be as dangerous as a drunk driver. Maggie's Law, enacted in June 2003, makes it illegal to knowingly drive a vehicle while impaired by lack of sleep. This law establishes driving while fatigued as recklessness under the Vehicular Homicide Statute. NJSI 2 Celsius's 11-5 Defensive Driving 93 When a motorist has been behind the wheel for a long time, he she may experience highway hypnosis. The trance-like state may be avoided by not looking at any one thing for more than a few seconds. It is also recommended that a motorist rest every two hours and or share the driving with another licensed motorist. Drowsy Driving Who is most at risk? Motorists who are sleep-deprived, driving long distances without rest breaks, driving through the night or at other times when they are normally asleep, taking medicine that increases sleepiness, or drinking alcohol, driving alone, driving on long, rural, boring roads, young people, shift workers, commercial drivers, communicating and driving. Communicate with other motorists by LL available means and signals. A motorist should always stay in the lane that shows where he she intends to turn. Turn signals, including hand signals, 
when appropriate, I'll low a motorist to tell all other motorists what he she is going to do. Another good method is catching other motorists' eyes. It may be necessary to tap the horn to warn other motorists. At night, a quick flip of the headlights from low to high and back to low might be helpful. A motorist should always be patient in town or city traffic and try not to make quick turns or lane changes. Do not let rush hour traffic become irritating. Be alert and drive defensively. Always use good judgment in stopping, starting, and turning. Knowing all L traffic rules, signs, and signals is helpful. If a motorist must pull L off the road, he she should always turn on the vehicle's emergency flashers, hazard lights. 94. Defensive driving. Keep a safe distance, do not tailgate. A motorist should always keep a safe distance from other vehicles on the road so that he she has plenty of time to react to emergencies. Tailgating refers to full lowing too closely behind a vehicle, directly in front. This is a common cause of crashes. Tailgating can cause a series of rear-end crashes when many vehicles are too close together. There should be plenty of space between a motorist's vehicle and others on all L sides. A motorist should stay in the middle of the lane and make sure there is enough room ahead to stop or pass safely. One car length, although there is no perfect rule for full lowing distance, the rule of thumb most often used is to keep one car length back, about 20 feet for each 10 miles per hour of speed. At high speeds or in bad weather, full lowing distances should be increased. Too close. Keep safe distance, do not tailgate. One car length of distance per 10 miles per hour. Example above is 50 miles per hour. Defensive driving. 95. Three seconds plus rule since many people have trouble judging distances. The three seconds plus rule to determine safe distance may be easier to use. It is useful at any speed. Choose some fixed object ahead of the vehicle in front. The object may be a sign or a tree. Make sure the object does not distract attention from driving. As the vehicle in front passes the object, begin counting seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003. If it takes at least three seconds before your vehicle passes the object, a motorist should have enough distance for a sudden stop. Practicing safe space management, full lowing distance increases the ability to stop a vehicle safely and smoothly in the event the vehicle in front stops. Stopping distance perception distance reaction distance braking. Distance. By keeping a foot near the brake, a motorist can reduce reaction distance. Time and distance relationships are designed for the best driving. Conditions. It should be noted that heavier vehicles may take longer to stop. Try the three seconds plus rule while driving. It can help a motorist develop good judgment for proper full lowing distances. During bad weather, the time interval should be increased to four or more seconds. Following distances. While keeping the proper full lowing distance in traffic, a motorist should always know the condition of his or her vehicle's brakes. Test them often. Make sure of the distance it may take to stop. This is very important on wet roads and where there is snow and ice. A motorist should always increase full lowing distance when road conditions are poor. Page 96 Defensive Driving Minimum Safe Following Distance In Car Lengths Road Condition 20 miles per hour. Ideal two car lengths wet pavement four car lengths. Gravel four car lengths packed snow six car lengths. Ice 12 car lengths 30 miles per hour. 366918 40 miles per hour. 48812 50 miles per hour. 51010 Changing lanes and passing using the proper lane is an important part of defensive driving. Do not straddle a lane. Be alert to traffic behind. When a lane change must be made, look in the rearview mirror. Glance behind to check blind spots. Always signal lane changes. Before passing a vehicle or changing lanes, keep the full lowing points in mind. Only pass or change lanes when necessary. Only pass or change lanes if the change can be completed without.
Speeding. Keep a safe full lowing distance. Do not tailgate. Check traffic ahead and behind. Only pass when signs and pavement markings permit. Signal every lane change. Signal your return to the right lane. Return to the right lane when well L ahead of the vehicle that was passed. A good indication that it is safe to return to the right lane is when the vehicle that was passed is visible in the rearview mirror. Cancel the turn signal. Defensive driving. 97. Passed by another vehicle. When a motorist is passed by another vehicle, he she must be careful. Stay in the proper lane and slow down to make the pass easier for the other motorist. Return to normal speed after the passing vehicle is well L ahead. NJS at 39, 4 minus 87. Road conditions. Wet roads drive more slowly on wet roads. Stopping and turning should be completed with great care. The three seconds plus rule should be increased to four or more seconds. Quick turns or changes in speed may cause a vehicle to skid. Hydroplaning wet road surfaces can cause tires to hydroplane or ride up on a film of water, starting at about 35 miles per hour, which could cause a motorist to lose control of his or her vehicle. Chances of hydroplaning increase as speeds increase. After 55 miles per hour, tires may totally leave the road surface. If tires totally leave the road surface, braking is virtually impossible, and turning is not possible. A gust of wind, a change in road level or a slight turn can create a skid if a vehicle is hydroplaning. To avoid hydroplaning, do not drive on bald or badly worn tires and slow down when heavy rain, standing water, or slush is present. In a heavy rainstorm, try to drive on the highest point of the road. For example, use the center lane on a multiple lane highway when available. 35 miles per hour or less 35 m4 more 98 defensive driving snow and ice winter driving has special dangers including longer hours of darkness fog rain snow sleet and ice each of these increases the possibility of a crash a safe motorist is prepared for these types of situations before driving in cold weather Start the engine and let it warm up according to manufacturer directions. All L snow and ice must be removed from the entire vehicle. New Jersey law states that a motorist is responsible for any ice that flies from his or her vehicle and causes death, injury, or property damage. NJSA 39-4-77-1 Always make sure the vehicle has the proper type of windshield washing fluid. In snow and ice conditions, motorists should take precautions and get a feel for the road. Gently applying the brakes while driving slowly will allow low a motorist to find out how slippery the road is. This will L also allow the motorist to judge how fast the vehicle can go and still L stop safely. A vehicle will L skid if a motorist accelerates too quickly, turns too fast, brakes improperly, defensive driving. 99. Motorists who have vehicles with anti-lock brakes eh, should keep a foot on the brake pedal and not pump the brakes. Conventional disc and drum brakes require firm, steady pressure on the brake pedal. Hitting the brakes too hard may cause the wheels to lock. If the brakes do lock, release the brake pedal and immediately reapply with slightly less pressure. This process should be repeated with less and less pressure on the brake pedal until the vehicle is under control. Snow tires help driving during the winter months by providing better traction for more control led starting, steering, and stopping. Snow tires do not provide good traction on ice. Tire chains are the best traction on ice and in hard packed or deep snow. In New Jersey, motorists may use studded snow tires between November 15 and April 1. To start on snow and ice, Keep the engine speed low. If the wheels spin, a lower gear should be used. When stuck, rock the vehicle back and forth by shifting between forward and reverse to escape. Motorists are prohibited from al lowing their motor vehicle to idle for more than three consecutive minutes. Among the exceptions for this prohibition include motor vehicles stopped in traffic, 
Motor vehicles being repaired. Motor vehicles waiting to be inspected. Emergency vehicles in emergency situations. And buses while discharging or picking up passengers. NJAC 727-15.8, 727-14.3. Reduced visibility. Poor roadway or weather conditions require motorists to increase full lowing distance because rough, wet, or snow-covered roads may require more response time. A good rule on snow-covered roads is to maintain a full lowing distance of six seconds or more, frost or ice. Always scrape and wipe a vehicle's windows before starting. Turn on the defroster. If the defroster does not work while driving in freezing rain or snow, safely stop the vehicle. Close the windows and let the heater warm up the windows. Fog. Always slow down when driving in fog. Headlights should be kept on low beam and fog lights should be turned on if the vehicle has them. Pavement markings and other vehicle lights can serve as a motorist's guide. Sun glare. Sun visors should always be adjusted to shield a motorist's eyes without cutting off his, her view of the road. Hold the steering wheel firmly and slow down. Watch for lane markings. In LL cases, if visibility is greatly reduced, a motorist should stop alongside the road or on the shoulder, out of the way of traffic, and turn on emergency flashers. Page 100 Defensive Driving Night Driving Nearly 90% of driving decisions are based upon what a motorist sees while driving. At night, a motorist's vision is reduced. To drive safely at night, slow down and drive within the range of the vehicle's headlights. A motorist should always be sure the vehicle can stop within the distance that he she sees ahead. A motorist should always consider the full lowing factors when driving at night. Speed. Reaction distance. Distance traveled before hitting the brake. Braking distance. Distance needed to completely stop vehicle. Driving and stopping at night. This table shows the distance the average motorist will L need to stop while driving at a designated speed. Using low beams at night. Numbers are based on a motorist's nighttime reaction time of 1.5 seconds. A vehicle travels 88 feet per second at 60 miles per hour. Deceleration is 14 feet per second. Speed 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour, 70 miles per hour. Reaction distance. 44 feet, 66 feet, 88 feet, 110 feet, 132 feet, 154 feet. Braking distance. 31 feet, 69 feet, 123 feet, 192 feet, 277 feet, 376 feet. Stopping distance. 75 feet, 135 feet, 211 feet, 302 feet, 409 feet, 530 feet. Defensive driving. Other safety rules for night driving are. Drive with headlights on at dusk, night, dawn, on dark days and whenever weather conditions reduce visibility to less than 500 feet. State law requires the headlights to be on when windshield wipers are in use. NJS 39-3-46 Drive more slowly than during the daylight. Watch for road signs, slow-moving or unlit vehicles, bicycles, pedestrians, and animals. Owl low for more safety margins than you would during daylight driving situations. A motorist will L come across several different driving situations that have their own unique safety concerns or requirements. A motorist must know how to safely navigate his, her vehicle in each of these situations. City driving when traveling in a city, heavier traffic and more pedestrians require motorists to be very alert. In city traffic, a motorist should try to cooperate with other motorists. Drive more slowly and watch for the movements of others. Motorists must be more careful about pedestrians and less visible vehicles, such as bicycles, mopeds, motorcycles, motorized wheelchairs, and mobility assistance vehicles. Pedestrians and individuals in wheelchairs or mobility assistance vehicles always have the right of way in a crosswalk. Motorists must always stop for pedestrians in a crosswalk.
whether the crosswalk is marked or unmarked. A motorist should look at least 12 seconds ahead. This means that he or she should be able to see an object far enough ahead so that it takes at least 12 seconds to get to it. While driving at 25 miles per hour on a clear road in a city, a motorist should be able to see about a block ahead. When traffic is heavy, extra time to react is necessary, which means driving more slowly. By reducing speed, a motorist gains time. On city streets, a motorist will L pass through intersections very often. Many new motorists fail to see intersections. A motorist should always consider the full lowing safety tips. If at the middle of a block, check intersections ahead for traffic. Controls. When approaching or nearing an intersection, reduce speed. Glance left and then right. Keep your foot on the brake. When at a crosswalk, a vehicle should be at its lowest speed. Ah, uh, motorist must decide whether to stop or go across. Take quick glances around. If clear, proceed to cross. 102 defensive driving. Watch for uncontrolled led intersections where there are no lights or signs. Do not think that a roadway is protected because it is wide, smooth, or busy. If there are no traffic signals, there is no traffic control. Avoiding crashes is up to the motorist. Look, listen, think. Highway driving traffic crashes and deaths can happen on highways when the weather is good and the roads are dry. Exceeding the posted speed limit or driving too fast for road conditions are one of the most prevalent factors contributing to traffic crashes. Major highways are usual lie in good condition. They often have four or more lanes. Wide open spaces often give a motorist the feeling that he she can relax his her attention. It is important to stay alert on highways. Some highways may not have traffic signals or signals at crossroads. This means a motorist must drive defensively and stay within the speed limit. Always be ready to react to the unexpected. Hills, bridges and other road hazards a motorist should always be on the lookout for signs that warn of road hazards. These include hill LS, dips, narrow bridges, bumps, and railroad tracks. Drive slowly in these areas. If a vehicle is moving too fast, the motorist may not be able to slow down in time. Speeding and applying the brakes firmly can cause a skid or a spin. Motorists should be cautious when traveling in farm country or in open land where livestock or deer may cross the road. If a motorist encounters an animal, he she should slow down until the animal has passed. Animals make unexpected moves, so a motorist must be alert. Defensive driving, construction zones, work zones, and JSA 39, minus 235. Most motorists encounter construction on roadways. In New Jersey, traffic fines are doubled for motor vehicle violations committed in roadway construction zones. These work zones are identified by an advance warning sign or flashing lights on a vehicle up to one half mile before the work area. Flaggers may control traffic and protect project personnel in the work area. Sometimes it is necessary to redirect traffic from its normal path around the work zone. Motorists may encounter a detour onto another roadway to bypass the work area or a diversion onto a temporary roadway, such as a median crossover or a lane shift. If traffic is permitted through or adjacent to the work area, it will L be guided with temporary traffic control devices. At the end of the work area, there will L be an end road work sign or the last temporary traffic control device, so motorists can resume normal driving. For eye illustrations of signs and barricades used in construction zones, see the driver safety section at the end of this manual. It is extremely important for motorists to remain alert when traveling through a work zone. Annual Lee, there are nearly 800 fatal and over 37,000 serious injury crashes in work zones nationwide. In addition, congestion and delays may mount, causing the frustration level of motorists to rise. Motorists should keep the full lowing basics in mind. Stay alert, dedicate full L attention to the roadway. Pay close attention. Signs and work zone flaggers save lives. 
Turn on headlights. Workers and other motorists must be able to see the vehicle. Do not tailgate. Unexpected stops or slowing may occur. Do not speed. Note the posted speed limits in and around the work zone. 104 Defensive Driving Minimize distractions. Avoid changing radio stations or talking on. Hands-free devices when traveling through a work zone. Expect the unexpected. Keep an eye out for workers and their equipment. Be patient. Remember that work zone crew members are working to improve the ride for allel motorists. Reacting to driving problems. A motorist should always be prepared for any problems that he or she may encounter while driving. Certain situations require the motorist to react immediately to avoid a crash. Ignition system today's vehicles are equipped with ignition systems that, when used properly, will L prevent the theft of an automobile and vehicle roll L away. An ignition system permits key removal only when the vehicle's transmission is in the park position. Motorists in an emergency on the highway may attempt to turn off the vehicle while it is still L in motion, believing they will L bring the vehicle to a stop. The basic rule the motorist must fall low when operating a vehicle with a steering wheel ignition system is to never turn the ignition to the lock position while the vehicle is in motion. The steering wheel L lock as the vehicle turns and the motorist will L lose control of the vehicle. Skids sudden turns, lane changes or hard braking can throw a vehicle into a skid. This often happens on wet or icy roads. A motorist should handle a skid in both front wheel and rear wheel drive vehicles in the same way. If the rear end of the vehicle starts to slide, a motorist should take his her foot off the gas pedal. A vehicle may spin if the steering wheel is quickly turned away from the direction of the skid. To avoid a spin, the motorist should turn in the direction the rear of the vehicle is skidding, without oversteering. When skidding, a motorist should look in the direction that he she wants to go. A motorist will L be able to feel when the vehicle is back under control and should then straighten the wheels. During a side skid, avoid using the brakes. Defensive driving, 105. Emergency stops if an emergency highway stop is necessary. A motorist should always keep several basic points in mind. On a highway with paved shoulders, signal and turn onto the shoulder at or near traffic speed. Then begin to slow down. Where the shoulder is unpaved, signal a turn and slow down to a safe speed before turning off. Once the vehicle is pole led to the shoulder, turn on the parking lights or emergency warning lights. Never block tail lights at night by standing or working behind the vehicle. Day or night, put a flare or other warning sign just behind the vehicle. Put another warning device at least 300 feet back, about 120 paces. Raise the hood. Tie a white handkerchief to the antenna or left door handle as a signal, if help is needed. Running off the pavement if a vehicle's wheels drift onto the shoulder of the road, do not try to turn back onto the pavement right away. This might throw the vehicle off balance. Too often motorists panic and steer abruptly to return to the road, causing the vehicle to slingshot across the roadway or into traffic. Instead, a motorist should stay on the shoulder and ease up on the gas pedal after the vehicle has slowed down to 25 miles per hour or less. The motorist may turn back onto the road by turning the steering wheel one quarter turn toward the roadway. This will allow low tires to climb the pavement edge and get back onto the pavement. If a vehicle runs off the pavement, slow down, regain control, turn slowly onto the road. 106 Defensive Driving Car fires, most car fires are caused by short circuits in the electrical system. In case of fire, do not waste time. Get passengers out and away from the vehicle at once and call L for help. A motorist should never attempt to put out a fire. Plunging into water water causes more panic than any other emergency. Actual tests have resulted in a few tips. A vehicle with windows and doors closed will L float for about three to 10 minutes. Two major points of escape and self-rescue from a submerged vehicle are to wear a seatbelt, which will L increase the chances of surviving the initial impact with the water, and, while the vehicle is still L floating on the surface, to escape through an open window. 
It is hard to open a door against water pressure, but a window can be roll led down easily. Power windows may short out, so try to open them at once. Glass in the side and rear windows can be broken but only with a heavy, hard object. A front engine vehicle will L sink nose first. Some air may be pushed to the rear, near the roof. When the pressure inside and outside the vehicle is equal, it is easier to open the door. A motorist should try to escape through a door or a window. Remember that three to five minutes gives plenty of time in an emergency. Wearing a seatbelt is the best insurance against being knocked unconscious. Once out of the vehicle, a motorist may become disoriented underwater. Always remember to full low the air bubbles to reach the surface. Stalling on railroad tracks If a vehicle stall LS on railroad tracks, the motorist and any passengers should get out and move far away from the vehicle and tracks, even if a train is not approaching. Once clear of the vehicle and tracks, a motorist should call L the number on the emergency notification sign posted at the railroad crossing or 911. If a train is approaching, Run at a 45-degree angle away from the vehicle and tracks, but in the direction of the train to avoid being injured by flying debris. Defensive driving. Vehicle failure. No matter how well L a vehicle is maintained, there is still L a chance a motorist will L experience vehicle problems. A motorist should always be prepared for any type of situation and never panic. Brake failure if a vehicle's conventional disc and drum brakes suddenly fail. A motorist should shift to a lower gear and pump the brake pedal fast and hard several times. This may build up enough brake pressure to stop the vehicle. If that does not work, the parking brake should be used while holding the brake release. So the motorist can let up if the rear wheels lock and the vehicle begins to skid. With the vehicle in low gear, the motorist should begin looking for a safe place to stop off the roadway and call L for help. Tire blowout if a motorist experiences a flat tire or blowout. He she should hold the steering wheel firmly and keep the vehicle straight while gradually slowing down. The motorist should remove his her foot from the gas pedal but not use the brakes. The vehicle should coast to a stop on its own as the motorist pull LS to a safe area off the roadway. Power steering failure when an engine dies, a vehicle steering will L fail. The motorist should keep a firm grip on the wheel because extra hand power will L be needed to turn or keep control. The vehicle should be brought to a stop in a safe area off the roadway. Headlight failure if headlights suddenly go out, a motorist should safely bring the vehicle to a stop in a safe area off the roadway. The headlight or dimmer switches may help the lights go on again. If this does not work, the motorist should put the parking lights, emergency flashers or turn signals on and cal l for help 108 defensive driving gas pedal problems if a gas pedal sticks the motorist should keep his her eyes on the road while quickly shifting to neutral steer the vehicle to a safe area off the roadway turn the engine off and cal l for help hood latch failure if the vehicle's hood suddenly flies up the motorist should slow down immediately he, she should try to look under the hood to see the road or look out of the side window around the hood. Using the center line or lane markings as a guide, the motorist should pull L the vehicle to a safe area off the roadway as soon as possible. Windshield wiper failure when windshield wipers stop suddenly during rain or snow, the motorist should slow down, pull L to a safe area off the roadway, and turn on emergency flashers. Cal L for help if necessary. Crashes, accidents. Avoiding crashes no matter how careful a motorist is, emergencies do arise. It is important to know how to safely handle any type of situation that may occur. Proper reaction could save the life of the motorist and his, her passengers or others involved. Above Al L, seatbelts should always be worn while driving. If a motorist sees that his, her vehicle may hit something, one of these things can be done. Stop, turn, or speed up. Stop quickly. If the vehicle has conventional disc and drum brakes, the motorist should pump the brakes to gain better control in steering. The wheels will L lock and cause skidding if a motorist brakes too hard and holds them down. If the vehicle has anti-lock brakes, abs, 
they will L adjust automatically if a wheel begins to lock. With this brake system, a motorist can put maximum pressure on the brakes and retain steering control without pumping the brakes. Turn quickly. If a motorist cannot stop in time, he she should turn away and drive off the road if necessary. If the motorist can keep from using the brakes while turning, this will L lessen the chances of a skid. A motorist should not brake hard if turning onto a soft shoulder of a road. This could cause skidding or loss of control. Defensive driving. Speed up. Sometimes it is best or necessary to speed up to avoid a crash. This may happen when another vehicle is about to hit a motorist's vehicle from the side or from behind, and there is room to the front to get out of danger. A motorist should push the gas pedal to the floor. There may be only seconds to act, so a motorist must decide quickly. Once the danger has passed, the motorist should slow the vehicle's speed. Last minute choices a motorist should never panic. A special lie in the few seconds before a possible crash. There are some last minute choices that he, she will L have to make. A motorist should always be aware of what to do in an emergency. Reacting properly and quickly can avoid crashes or, at least, minimize damage. If a crash looks possible, the motorist should turn away from oncoming traffic, even if it means leaving the road. Driving off the road, rather than skidding, gives the motorist more control over the vehicle. The motorist should choose to hit something that will L give way, such as a bush or shrubs, rather than something hard. Choose to hit something moving in the same direction, rather than something that is not moving. Choose to hit something not moving, rather than something coming straight on. If hitting something is unavoidable, try to make it a glancing blow. A sideswipe, for example, will L help slow the vehicle. Try to never hit anything head on. For every inch that a motorist steers away from a crash between the center of the vehicle's front end and the center of the oncoming object, the energy of the crash will L dissipate and reduce injury and damage. Rear crash, if the vehicle is about to be hit from the rear, the motorist must be ready to apply the brakes to avoid being pushed into a vehicle ahead. The motorist should brace his her body between the steering wheel and the seat back, pressing the back of his her head firmly against the headrest if the vehicle has one. 110 defensive driving. Side crash if the vehicle is about to be hit from the side, the motorist should keep a tight grip on the steering wheel. This may keep him her from being thrown against the side of the vehicle. The motorist should be ready to turn fast, so that if the vehicle spins around, he, she can try to control the vehicle. Head-on crash if the vehicle is about to be hit from the front. The motorist should use his, her arms and hands to protect his, her face if wearing a shoulder strap and the vehicle is equipped with airbags. If the vehicle is not equipped with a shoulder strap or airbags, the motorist should throw himself, herself across the seat to keep from hitting the steering wheel or windshield. Airbags will L typically deploy in vehicles that have them. Parked vehicle crash, if a motorist hits a parked vehicle, the police must be notified. The driver should also try to find the owner of the vehicle. What to do in case of a crash. If a motorist witnesses a crash or is involved in one, he she should follow these tips to help protect everyone involved. Stop the vehicle. Remain calm. Assume the worst and get help. Notify the police. Cal L an ambulance. Wait at the scene but try not to block traffic. Ask for assistance from passing motorists, bikers, or joggers, if needed. Depending on the location of the crash, local road, highway, or in a busy city intersection, warn oncoming traffic, defensive driving, 111, reporting crashes, NJSA 39 4 minus 129. 39. 4 minus 130. 39. 4 minus 131. New Jersey law requires motorists to notify the police of crashes where there is injury, death, or vehicle or property damage. If someone has been killed, led, do not move the body or permit anyone to move the body until the police or ambulance arrives. If the motorist is involved in the crash, 
He, she can help the police by answering as many questions as possible and by giving them as many facts about the crash as possible. When damage to the property is more than $500 or there is personal injury, a motorist must send a written report to the MVC within 10 days if no police report is filed. A written report is not required if a report is filed by the police. A motorist can get a copy of the report from the police. Notify his, her insurance company at once, giving complete information about the crash. If the motorist is shaken up, he, she should see a doctor as soon as possible. 6. Drinking, drugs, and health. Drinking, drugs, and health. Section Contents 114 Effects of Alcohol 115 How much is too much 116 Drinking and Driving 116 Good Hosts and the Drinking Driver 117 Designated Drivers 117 Drugs and Driving 118 Healthy Driving Effects of Alcohol Alcohol is a drug that affects overall L driving ability. Alcohol may make a motorist overconfident and unable to think clearly. Motorists who drink may make more mistakes. Even if a motorist thinks he she is below the level of legal intoxication, alcohol will L affect driving. Drinking even a small L amount of alcohol increases a motorist's chances of having a crash. Never drink and drive. Driving under the influence of intoxicating beverages means that a driver's senses and judgment are impaired by alcohol. After two, three or four drinks, alcohol begins to impair reaction time, coordination, and balance. Vision and the ability to judge distance is affected, making it more difficult to react and to drive safely. The only thing that can make a person sober is time. Alcohol is removed slowly by the body. The majority, 90% of the alcohol that is detoxified is oxidized, burned up, by the liver. The other 10% is eliminated in breath, urine, and sweat. This fact is the prime reason why sober up quick methods do not work. In addition, studies have proven conclusively that a combination of alcohol and anger is responsible for much of the reckless, aggressive driving that can cause fatal highway crashes. While most alcohol-related crashes involve only one vehicle, they frequently result in the death or serious injury of numerous people, including passengers, pedestrians, and other motorists. Every drink contains about a one-half ounce of alcohol. It's not what you drink but how many drinks you have. One drink equals 1.5 ounces of 86-proof liquor 12-ounce bottle or can of beer 5-ounce glass of wine. 12%. Drinking, drugs, and health. How much is too much? The only scientific way to check is through blood alcohol concentration, or back. A simple breath test will L show a motorist's back. Back is determined by four factors. Quantity of alcohol consumed. Body weight. How quickly drinks are consumed. Food eaten. The best way to reduce the risk of a crash caused by drinking and driving is not to drive at Al L after drinking. In New Jersey, it is illegal for an individual to drive while under the influence of intoxicating liquor, narcotic, hallucinogenic or habit-producing drugs, or with a back of Euro 8% or higher. NJSA 39 4-50. For individuals younger than 21, it is illegal to drive with a back of 1% or higher. Violators face severe penalties in addition to other penalties assessed for Dwai Dwai. NJSA 39 4 50 1 4. If a motorist has reached a back of slightly above 5% after drinking, the risk for causing a motor vehicle crash doubles. The risk is six times as great when driving with a back of 10%. The risk is 25 times as great when driving with a back of 15%. Note, under state law, refusal to take a breath test is illegal. Penalties include loss of driving privileges, referral to an intoxicated driver resource center, IDRC, fines, and installation of an ignition interlock device. NJSA 39 
4504A. Motorists who refuse to take a breath test in New Jersey are also subject to a violation surcharge. Failure to pay the surcharge will L result in an indefinite suspension of driving privileges until the surcharge is paid. NJSA 17 Ter in Anamnes 35. It is important to remember that it does not matter what alcoholic beverage is consumed. There is just as much alcohol in the average beer as there is in the average drink of whiskey or wine. For example, 112 ounces of 80 proof whiskey, 12 ounces of beer or 5 ounces of wine LL contain the same amount of alcohol, about a 12 ounce of alcohol per drink. Studies show that most people arrested for drinking and driving had been drinking beer. Although food does slow the absorption of alcohol into the bloods. Treme. Eating will L not prevent a high back when steadily drinking large a. Uh, heavy drinking will L always produce a high back. Eating does not make a motorist sober. The best way to avoid drinking and driving is to arrange for a designated driver. Use public transportation or Cal L a cab. Drinking and driving. Drinking affects a motorist's thinking and slows reaction time. Alcohol may also give a motorist a false feeling that he, she can do anything. Law enforcement is trained to notice certain tell-o-tale signs that a motorist has been drinking. Speeding. An intoxicated driver often thinks high-speed driving is safe. Weaving. Even though an intoxicated driver may stay in the correct lane, driving straight may be a problem. Slow driving. An intoxicated Intoxicated driver may be overly cautious and drive slower than the normal traffic flow. Jerking motion. An intoxicated driver often may have short mental lapses and not keep a steady speed on a clear road. Quick stops. An intoxicated driver may make sudden stops at a traffic sign or light, rather than easing up to it. Good hosts and the drinking driver. Always be a good host. If serving alcohol at a party, always provide alcohol-free drinks and serve nutritious foods or snacks. Never insist that a guest should drink an alcoholic beverage or insist on refill LS. Stop serving alcohol well L before the party ends. If someone drinks too much, do not let them drive. If no other transportation is available, suggest a nap or invite the guests to stay the night. As a last resort, notify the police. Hosts may become involved in a lawsuit if a guest is involved in a drinking and driving crash after leaving the party. Drinking, drugs, and health. Designated drivers. 
as the first state in the country to officially launch the HERO campaign for designated drivers. New Jersey encourages LL state residents to participate in designated driver programs wherever they travel, whether as a motorist or a... Being a designated driver is a great responsibility. The designated driver is responsible for the safe transportation of friends or family members who have been drinking alcoholic beverages. Designated drivers not only ensure the safety of the people they are escorting home but also the safety of other motorists. A motorist who chooses to have a designated driver when attending functions where alcohol will L be served shows maturity and consideration for other motorists who share the road. More information about designated drivers and the HERO campaign can be found at www.herocampaign.org. Drugs and Driving NJSC 39 4-49.1 39 4-50 it is illegal to operate a motor vehicle on New Jersey roadways while under the influence of any drugs or while in possession of any drug without a valid prescription. The labels on bottles of prescription drugs will L describe common side effects. Drugs that may cause drowsiness or dizziness should not be taken before driving. Ask a professional about how over-the-counter drugs may affect driving. Drugs that may affect basic driving skill LS include cold pill LS, tranquilizers, and some prescription medications. Never mix drugs without asking a medical professional about possible side effects or how the drug may affect driving. Alcohol should never be mixed with any drugs or medications. If asked, motorists using prescription drugs must show proof of the prescription to law enforcement. If a motorist does not have a prescription for the drug, and a prescription is necessary to obtain the drug, the drug will L be considered illegal. After alcohol, marijuana is the drug most often found with drivers involved in crashes. Marijuana use may affect a motorist in the full lowing ways. Loss of tracking ability. This is the ability to maintain a vehicle in each. Lane. Distance judgment. Full lowing too closely can cause problems. Vigilance. Not remaining attentive to the driving task can cause a motorist to full low too closely, drift into another lane, etc. Divided attention. Driving is a task that requires constant attention to traffic, roadway, and weather conditions, passengers, gauges, etc. Healthy driving. Health. Any health problem can affect an individual's driving. Even little problems like a stiff neck, a cough, or a sore leg can give an individual trouble while driving. If a motorist is not feeling well L, he, she should let someone else drive. VISIO and vision is important to safe driving. Most of what a motorist does behind the wheel is based on what he, she sees. State law permits the MVC to retest the driving population. A motorist should have his, her eyes tested every year or two. If over age 40, a motorist should have his, her eyes checked every year. Good side vision, peripheral vision, is also essential for safe driving. Side vision helps a motorist see out of the corners of his, her eyes while looking straight ahead. Distance judgment is also an important component to driving. A motorist should know his, her distance from any object while driving. Bad distance judgment often causes crashes. Hearing hearing is more important to driving than many people think. The sound of horns, sirens, or screeching tires warns a motorist to be careful. A motorist may be able to hear a car that cannot be seen. Even people with good hearing cannot hear well L if the radio is blaring or he she is wearing earphones. A motorist should always keep the radio turned down and never wear earphones. Page 119. 7. Driver Privilege and Penalties Driver Privilege and Penalties Section Contents 122 The Driving Privilege 122 Driving Under the Influence DUI 127 Breath Test 127 Ignition Interlock Device 128 Intoxicated Driver Resource Center IDRC 129 motor vehicle violations, 133 driver programs, 136 violation surcharge. 
Essen Point Violations 137 Point System 138 Moving Violation Point Chart 140 Interstate Compacts The Driving Privilege Driving is a privilege, not a right. State law allows, or requires, an individual's driving privilege to be suspended for certain motor vehicle violations, which means the driver license will L be taken away and the motorist may not drive for a stated period of time. In addition to license suspension, fines and imprisonment may also be imposed for moving violations. The length of suspension depends on several factors, including which law is broken and how many convictions a motorist receives. Likewise, license restoration depends on the types of offenses and the number of convictions. A habitual offender is a motorist whose driver license has been suspended three times in three years. To avoid any problems, it is important to know and obey New Jersey's traffic laws, which are in place to protect every motorist. Some suspensions are decided on a case-by-case -case basis. If the sentence is not mandatory, the chief administrator of the MVC or the courts may suspend driving privileges. Reasons for loss of driving privileges may include, but are not limited to the full lowing reasons. Failure to answer or pay parking tickets. Driving while suspended. Failure to provide proof of insurance. Physical or mental disqualification. Drug or alcohol use. Traffic law violations. At fault in a fatal crash. Failure to respond to an MVC notice. The MVC chief administrator may also require a re-examination of any person considered to be a problem driver. This re-examination will L help determine whether driving privileges should be suspended. Driving under the influence, DUI. If a driver's blood alcohol concentration is 0.08% or higher, or a person operates a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicating liquor, they may be convicted of driving under the influence. NJSA 39-4-50 Drivers under age 21 the legal age to purchase, consume alcohol, found with a back of 0.1% or more while operating a motor. Vehicle will L be further penalized. NJSA 39 4 -514. In New Jersey, a person must be age 21 or older to purchase, possess, or consume alcohol. Underage drinking is illegal and can have severe consequences for young people who drink and for adults who provide alcohol to those under age 21. Driver Privilege and Penalties If a driver under age 21 buys or drinks alcohol in a place with an alcoholic beverage license, he she may be fined $500 and lose his, her license for a period of time. NJSA 33, 1-81 if a person under age 21 does not have a driver license, the suspension starts when he is first eligible to receive a license. NJSA 39 4-50.4 Also, the person may be required to participate in an alcohol education or treatment program. Mandatory penalties First offense, operating under the influence of alcohol box, 8%, or more but less than 10%, NGSI, 39 for minus 50, $250 to $400 fine, 12 to 48 hour participation in an intoxicated driver resource center, IDRC, IDRC fee of $264 for the 12 hour program or $321 for the 48 hour program, up to 30 days imprisonment, $100 Drunk Driving Enforcement Fund Fee, NJSA 39 formats 50.8, $100 Alcohol Education, Rehabilitation Enforcement Fund, Air Fee, NJSA 39 4 minus 50, be it Tiao's and Manual Surcharge for three years, NJSA 17 20 90 minus 35 B, 2 B, $75 Safe Neighborhood Services Fund Fee, NJSA 2 Celsius 32 $125 DUI surcharge NJSA 39 for minus 50 $33 court costs 
NJSA 22A3 MS4, $1 billion Saudi Armor Replacement Fund, NJSA 39 FREV, 41D, $1 New Jersey Spinal Cord Research Fund, NJSA 39 5-41E, Autism Medical Research and Treatment Fund, NJSA 39 5-41, F for Pre, New Jersey Forensic DN A Laboratory Fund, NJSA 39 5-41T, $1 New Jersey Brain Injury Research Fund, NJSA 39 5-4111, First Offense, Back 10% or More, NJSA 39 4-50, $300 to $500 fine, 12 to 48 hour participation in an intoxicated driver resource center. IDRC. IDRC fee of $264 for the 12 hour program or $321 for the 48 hour program. Up to 30 days imprisonment. $100 drunk driving enforcement fund fee. NJS at 39 formats 50.8. $100 alcohol education, rehabilitation and enforcement fund fee. NJSA 39 4 minus 50. $1,000 annual surcharge for three years. NJSI 17 29 AM 35 B 2 B. $75 safe neighborhood services fund fee. NJSA 2 Celsius, 3 2. $50 violent crimes assessment fee. NJSA 2 Celsius, 43 minus 3.1. $125 DUI surcharge. NJSA 39 4 minus 50 er. $33 court costs. NJSA 22 at 3 minus 4. $1 billion Saudi Armor Replacement Fund. NJSA 39 for F. 41D, $1 New Jersey Spinal Cord Research Fund, NJSA 39 5-41E, Autism Medical Research and Treatment Fund, NJSA 39 5-41F for Pre, New Jersey Forensic DN A Laboratory Fund, NJSA 39 5-41T, $1 New Jersey Brain Injury Research Fund, NJSA 39 5-4111 License Suspension and Interlock For first offenses prior to December 1, 2019 3 months to 1 year license suspension and possible interlock device Requirement during suspension and for 6 months to 1 year full lowing restoration For offenses occurring on or after December 1, 2019 Back of 0.8% to must install L ignition interlock device for three months. License suspension forfeiture until ignition interlock device is installed. LED. Back of 0.10% to 0.15%. Must install ignition interlock device for between seven months and one year. License suspension forfeiture until ignition interlock device is installed back at or above 0.15%, must install L ignition interlock device for period of license suspension, forfeiture, and then between 9 months and 15 months, full lowing license restoration, license suspension, forfeiture, of between 4 months and 6 months, underage offense, underage first offense, back 1% or more but less than 8%, NJSA 39 50.4 30-90 to 90 day suspension of driving privilege on the day motorist becomes eligible to obtain a license or on the day of conviction, whichever is later. 15-30 to 30 days community service. Participation in an intoxicated driver resource center IDRC or alcohol. Education and highway safety program. Driver privilege and penalties. 125. Driving offense conviction. Alcohol or drug related. DUI 3 first offense prior to 12 1. Alcohol DUI first offense on or after December 1, 2019 with a back below. 
15%. Alcohol DUI first offense on or after December 1, 2019, with a back at 15% or higher. Drug-related DUI first offense on or after December 1, 2019. For offenses prior to 12-1, alcohol or drug-related DUI second offense that occurs within 10 years. A first offense. For offenses on or after December 1, 2019, alcohol or drug-related DUI second offense that occurs within 10 years. A first offense. For offenses prior to 12-1, alcohol or drug-related DUI third offense that occurs within 10 years. Of second offense. Loss of license owned, three months to one year, indefinite until an interlock device is installed lead, four to six months, seven to twelve months, two years, one to two years, ten years, fines, fees, surcharges, $250 to $500 fine, $1,000 a wire. For three years, surcharge, daily IDRC fee, $100 Drunk Driving Fund, $75 Safe Neighborhood Services Fund, $100 ARF, $125 DUI. Surcharge. Same as above. Same as above. Same as above. $500 to $1,000 fine. $1,000 a w For three years. Surcharge. Daily IDRC fee. $100 Drunk Driving Fund. $75 Safe Neighborhood Services Fund, $100 ARF, $125 DUI. Surcharge. Same as above. $1,000 fine, $1,500 a wire. For three years. Surcharge. Daily IDRC fee, $100 Drunk Driving Fund, $75 Safe Neighborhood Services Fund, $100 $125 DUI surcharge. Imprisonment. Up to 30 days. Same as above. Same as above. Same as above. 48 HRS to 90 days. Same as above. 180 days. Community service, CS, IDRC or detainment or interlock. 12 minus 48 HRS. IDRC possible interlock 6 months to 1 year. Back of 8% to 10%. Interlock device for 3 months. Back of 0.10% to 0.15%. Interlock device for between 7 months and 1 year. 12 minus 48 HRS. IDRC interlock during suspension and 9 to 15 months after restoration. 12 minus 48 HRS. IDRC no interlock. 12 minus 48 HRS. IDRC, 30 days CS, interlock required during suspension and 6 months to 3 years full lowing restoration. 12 minus 48 HRS, IDRC, 30 days CS, interlock required during suspension and 2 to 4 years after restoration. 12 minus 48 HRS, IDRC. Up to 90 days interlock required during suspension and 6 months to 3 years full lowing restoration. 126 driver privilege and penalties. Driving offense conviction. For offenses on or after December 1, 2019. Alcohol or drug-related DUI third offense that occurs within 10 years. Of second offense. Drinking alcoholic beverages while driving or riding. Drinking alcoholic beverages while driving or riding. Second offense. Driving on DUI suspension. Driving with no insurance. First offense. Driving with no insurance. Second offense. Loss of license soon. Eight years. N.A. N.A. Additional one to two years five. One year six. One to two years. Driving while possessing drugs two years. Fines. Fees, surcharges, same as above, $200 fine, first offense, $250 fine, second offense, $250 fine, $500 fine, $250 per wire. For three years, surcharge 10 to 90 days, $300 to $1,000 fine, $250 per wire.
for three years. Surcharge, up to $5. Fine, $250 per year for three years. Surcharge, imprisonment. Same as above. Nay, 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 days. Minimum $50 fine. A. Community service. C. IDRC2 or detainment or interlock. 12 minus 48 ATARIS. IDRC. Up to 90 days CS interlock required during suspension and 2 to 4 years after restoration. 10 to 10 days CS. Driving on DUI suspension. CS determined by court. 30 days CS. NA. One underage drinking may cause a 90 to day delay to get a license. Two intoxicated driver resource center. Three driving under the influence, DUI. Alcohol and drug related offenses require completion of an alcohol screening and evaluation program. Four for important additional information on second and subsequent offenses. Check NJSA 39 4 minus 50. 5 also suspends registrations for the same period. 6 The period of license suspension may be reduced or eliminated if the driver provides the court with satisfactory proof of vehicle liability. Insurance at the time of the hearing. The courts may require DUI offenders to use ignition interlock devices on their motor vehicle. An interlock device is attached to a motor vehicle to prevent it from being started when the alcohol level of the motorist's breath exceeds a predetermined amount. Installation of the interlock device may be required during the motorist's period of suspension. In addition, once the motorist's driving privilege is restored, the interlock device may be required for anywhere from three months to four years. Driver privilege and penalties. Breath test. NGSA. 39, 4 minus 50 poor I. New Jersey has an implied consent law. This means that motorists on New Jersey roadways have agreed, simply by using New Jersey roadways, to submit to a breath test given by law enforcement or hospital staff full lowing an arrest for an intoxicated driving offense. Motorists who refuse to take a breath test will L be detained and brought to a hospital, where hospital staff may draw blood. Motorists who refuse to take a breath test in New Jersey are subject to a violation surcharge of $1,000 per year for three years. Depending on the number of past offenses, a conviction for refusal could result in the loss of driving privileges to run concurrently or consecutively, based on a judge's order. Convictions for refusals in connection with a first offense will L result in the loss of driving privileges until an ignition interlock device has been installed. led Different penalties apply to violations committed prior to December 1, 2019. Ignition interlock device, NJSA 39 4 50. Once a motorist who is convicted of a DUI offense may be required to install L an ignition interlock device in any motor vehicle they principally operate for offenses prior to December 1, 2019, or in one motor vehicle the person owns, leases, or principally operates. Whichever the person most operates, for offenses on or after December 1st, 2019, during and after the entire period for which their driving privilege is suspended. This device is attached to the vehicle with a built-in breathalyzer and prevents the vehicle from starting if the motorist's back exceeds 5%. The interlock requirement is in addition to any other penalty required under the state's intoxicated driving statute. First DUI offense with back of less than 0.15% prior to 12-1. Installation of ignition interlock device for six months to one year from the date of driving privilege restoration, judge's discretion. First DUI offense with back of less than 0.15% on or after December 1, 2019. Installation of ignition interlock device for three months to one year from the date of driving privilege restoration. First, DUI offense with back of 0.15% or higher or refusal to submit to breath test offense prior to 12-1. Installation of ignition interlock device during suspension and for six months to one year from the date of driving privilege restoration. 128 driver privilege and penalties. 
First DUI offense with back of 0.15% or higher or refusal to submit to. Breath test offense on or after December 1, 2019. Installation of ignition interlock device during suspension and for 9 to 15 months from the date of driving privilege restoration. Second or subsequent DUI or refusal to breath test offense prior to December 1, 2019. Installation of ignition interlock device during suspension and for one to three years from the date of driving privilege restoration. Second or subsequent DUI or refusal to breath test offense on or after December 1, 2019. Installation of ignition interlock device during suspension and for two to four years from the date of driving privilege restoration. If the court sentences a motorist to install L an interlock device, he, she, will, L receive an MVC notice explaining how to obtain the device, as well L as an additional MVC notice confirming the suspension. An approved list of interlock device manufacturers can be found on the MVC's website at www.njmvc.gov.intoxicateddriverresourcecenter, IDRC. State law requires that any motorist charged with an alcohol-related traffic offense must be detained at an IDRC. Each of New Jersey's 21 counties has an IDRC, where first- and third-time offenders are detained. Second-time offenders are detained at one of three regional IDRCs. The NJ Department of Human Services, Division of Addiction Services, and the Intoxicated Driving Program coordinates LLIDRCs. Department of Human Services Intoxicated Driving Program, IDP, state.nj.us. During detention, LL offenders attend an alcohol and highway safety education program. The center evaluates each offender for an alcohol or drug problem and determines the need for treatment. Those deemed in need of treatment are referred to an appropriate provider for at least a 16-week treatment program. Satisfactory participation in a state-assigned program is a condition for relicensing. Failure to comply will L result in further loss of driving privileges and the possibility of imprisonment. Motor vehicle violations. Unsafe driving. A conviction for unsafe driving that endangers a person or property requires payment of a fine of not less than $50 or more than $150 for a first offense not less than $100 or more than $250 for a second offense, and not less than $200 or more than $500 for a third or subsequent offense. Motorists will L be assessed 4-4 motor vehicle penalty points if the third or subsequent offense occurs within five years of the prior offense. There is also a $250 court surcharge for each offense. NJSA 39 Forminus 97.2 Driver Privilege and Penalties Reckless Driving Driving recklessly in a manner that will ill fully endangers the rights, property or safety of others is punishable by imprisonment of up to 60 days, or by a fine of not less than $50 or more than $200, or both for a first offense. NJSA 39 Forminus 96 also, points are assessed, abandoning a vehicle. Motorists who abandon their motor vehicles on or along limited access highways for four hours or more without permission are subject to a fine of not less than $100 or more than $500. And, possible loss of driving privileges for up to two years. For subsequent violations, the fine is not less than $500 nor more than $1,000 and the suspension is up to five years. The same penalties apply when owners abandon their vehicles on any highway or public property or on private property without consent for 48 hours or more and when owners abandon their vehicles for any period without current license plates. NJSA 39 for minus 56.5. Carrying alcoholic beverages. Motorists who carry open or unsealed Alcoholic beverage containers or unsealed cannabis items in passenger areas of motor vehicles are subject to a fine of $200 for a first offense and $250 or 10 days of community service for allow subsequent offenses. 
NJ39 is 51A and 39451 billions. Ice and snow. Motorists of private vehicles face fines of $200 to $1,000 for each time ice flies from their vehicles and causes death, injury, or property damage. Fines for commercial owners and operators range from $500 to $1,500. NJSA 39, 4-77.1. Also, motorists who do not remove snow or ice from a vehicle before driving are subject to a fine of $25 to $75 regardless of whether any snow or ice is dislodged from the vehicle. Highway Construction Zones Speeding or other moving violations in areas undergoing highway construction mean doubled fines. Some offenses include reckless driving, careless driving, speeding, improper passing, tailgating, improper turns, failure to observe traffic lanes, failure to observe a traffic signal or sign, and failure to obey directions of an officer. NJSA 39, 4-203.5 65 miles per hour zone. Speeding 10 miles per hour or more above the posted speed limit or other certain moving violations in a 65 miles per hour speed zone means doubled fines. Some offenses include racing on a public highway, refusal to comply with an officer's request, failure to obey traffic signs or signals, failure to comply with rules for passing another vehicle, failure to obey road markings, failure to observe distance between vehicles, and careless driving. NJSA 39, Formus 98.6. Failure to comply. Motorists face a $50 fine if they fail to comply with a police officer's request to illuminate the driver's compartment of the vehicle when stopped. NJSA 39, for minus 57.1. 130 driver privilege and penalties. Insurance fraud. Motorists convicted of fraud on insurance applications and claims forms may receive fines of up to $5,000, or imprisonment for up to three years, or both. In the event the motorist fraudulently receives or attempts to receive $500 or less, he she may be fined up to $5 and or imprisoned for not more than six months as a disorderly person. In addition, a person convicted of an automobile insurance crime will L lose his, her driver license for one year. NJSA 39 Examinus 15. Hit and run. A hit and run involving bodily injury or death may result in a fine of $2,500 to $5,000 and or 180 days in jail for the motorist. In addition, for a first offense, the motorist loses his, her license for one year. For a subsequent offense, the motorist permanently loses his, her license. NJSA 39 129. Not approaching and passing vulnerable road users. With due caution. Drivers who do not approach and pass vulnerable road users with due caution, which results in bodily injury, as defined in NJS 2C. 11-1 shall L be fined $500 and assessed two motor vehicle penalty points if no bodily injury results. The violator shall L be fined $100 and shall L not be assessed any penalty points. NJSA 39 92.4 Lying on application. Lying when applying for a license or registration will L result in a fine of not less than $200 or more than $500 and, or up to six months imprisonment. A motorist will L also lose his, her driver license or registration privileges for six months to two years. NJSA 39 Thramus 37. Driving while suspended. Driving while a driver license and or registration is suspended can result in the full lowing penalties. First offense, fine of $500 and up to six months additional license and or registration suspension. NJSA 39-3-40. Second offense. Fine of $750. Jail sentence for not more than five days. And up to six months additional license and or registration suspension. NJSA 39-3-40. 
third offense, fine of $1,000, a 10-day jail sentence, and up to six months additional license and or registration suspension. NJSA 39-3-40. Driver privilege and penalties. Additional penalties for driving while suspended. Driving while license and or registration is suspended for failure to prop. Early insurer vehicle will L result in a fine of $500, an additional driver license suspension of one to two years and possible court-ordered imprisonment for up to 90 days. NJSA 39-3-40. Driving while a license and or registration is suspended and having a crash that causes injury to another person will L result in a fine, continued suspension and the potential for a minimum 45 today jail sentence. NJSA 39-3-40. Driving while a license and or registration is suspended for a drug or alcohol offense, refusal to take a breath test, or if the motorist is a habitual offender, will L result in a fine of $500 and an additional license suspension of one to two years and or possible court-ordered imprisonment for 10 to 90 days NJSA 39-3-40. Driving while a driving privilege is suspended due to driving while under the influence, refusal to submit to a chemical test or for a habitual offender offense, and driving on school property or within 1.0000 feet of school property or through a school crossing zone will L result in one to two years additional suspension time. A $500 fine and between 60 to 90 days imprisonment for a first offense. For second, third, and subsequent offenses, the suspension and fines remain the same, but the imprisonment term is increased to 120, 150, and 180 days, respectively. NJSA 39 is 40 Driving after failing to install L and interlock device, as ordered by the court, results in a one-year suspension, in addition to any other suspension or revocation already imposed, and may include penalties as a disorderly person. NJSA 39 4-50-19. It is a fourth-degree crime to drive while under suspension for a first violation of NJSA 39 4-50, driving under the influence, or NJSA 39 450.4a refusal to submit a breath test, and the driver had previously been convicted of driving while suspended while under suspension for the DUI or refusal conviction. It is a fourth-degree crime to drive while under suspension for any second or subsequent violation of NJSA 39 4-50 or NJSA 39 4-50 a NJSA 2 Celsius for Timinus 26. 132 driver privilege and penalties. Other violations. Al lowing a person to operate a vehicle while that person's license is suspended for driving while intoxicated or refusal to submit to a chemical test. A person who owns or leases a motor vehicle and permits another person to operate their motor vehicle. Knowing that the license of the person he permits to operate the motor vehicle is suspended or revoked for a conviction of driving while intoxicated or refusal to submit to a chemical test is subject to license and registration suspension of up to six months and is also subject to the full lowing penalties. For a first or second offense, a fine of $1,000, imprisonment for not more than 15 days, or both and for a third or subsequent offense, a fine of $1,000, imprisonment for not more than 15 days, or both, and forfeiture of the right to operate a motor vehicle over the highways of this state for a period of 90 days. NJSA 39-3-40 A person who makes an intentional misstatement of a material fact in an application for registration of a motor vehicle or a driver license or a person who knowingly sell LS, loans or gives an identification document to another person for the purpose of aiding that person to obtain a driver license or registration for which that person is not qualified, 
Shall L be subject to a fine of not less than $200 or more than $500 and or imprisonment for up to six months? In addition to revocation of the registration of the motor vehicle or suspension of the person's driver license. NJSA 39 3 37. A person who has another person take the license examination for them. Or a person who takes a driver's license examination in the name of or in the place of another person. A person who has another person take the license examination for them. Or a person who takes a driver's license examination in the name of or in the place of another person is subject to a fine of not less than $200 or more than $500 and or imprisonment for not less than 30 days or more than 90 days. NJSI 39, 12 Failure to pay child support or court-ordered health care coverage. If a licensee owes six months or more of child support or court-ordered health care coverage, or if the licensee fails to respond to a subpoena relating to a paternity or child support action, or a child support-related warrant exists, the licensee's driver license and professional license are subject to court-ordered suspension. NJSA 2A 70-56441 2R 17-56.43. A boater convicted of operating under the influence DUI on New Jersey's waterways will L be suspended from both boating and LL driver license privileges and is subject to imprisonment. And will L be fined $250 to $500 for the first offense, $500 to $1,000 for the second offense, and $1. 0000 for the third and subsequent offenses. Violators under 17 years of age will L have their vehicle and moped license privileges delayed for three months, six months and two years for first, second and third offenses, respectively. NJSA 12, 7-46. Driver Privilege and Penalties. Driving under the influence, DUI, with a minor in the vehicle. A parent or guardian who is convicted of DUI and who, at the time of the violation, has a minor, under 18 years old, as a passenger in the motor vehicle, is guilty of a disorderly person's offense. In addition, that person's driving privilege is subject to suspension for up to six months, and they shall L be ordered to perform community service for a period of up to five days. NJSA 39 for minus 50 to and 5. Driver Programs Driver Improvement Program Motorists who accumulate between 12 and 14 points in a 24-month period or more. Will L receive a notice of scheduled suspension by mail from the MVC? Upon receiving the notice, a motorist can do one of the full lowing. Attend a New Jersey Driver Improvement Program may not be eligible if points were accumulated within a 24-month period. Request a hearing. Surrender his her driver license for the suspension period. 134 driver privilege and penalties. The MVC chief administrator or an administrative law judge will L determine if driving privileges should be suspended for a motorist who is granted a hearing. A motorist who successfully completes a driver improvement program will L have three points removed from his her record. NJSA 39 5-30.9 Drivers may schedule training with a licensed statewide safety organization or a New Jersey licensed driving school licensed to conduct a New Jersey approved driver improvement program. Visit the MVC website at www.state.nj.us/mvc/license/driverprograms.htm for a list of licensed providers. A $75 administration fee payable to the MVC is required prior to scheduling a class with a private provider. An additional program fee, payable to the program provider, is also required prior to attending the class. After completion of a driver improvement program or after restoration of a motorist's driving privilege, he, she will L be in a probationary period for one year. Any moving violations that occur during this probationary period will L result in a scheduled suspension of the motorist's driving privileges.
Probationary driver program. A motorist begins a two-year probationary driver period after receiving a special learner or examination permit. During this probationary period, a motorist convicted of two or more moving violations totaling four or more points must enroll L in the probationary driver program, which is administered by a licensed statewide safety organization or New Jersey licensed driving school licensed to conduct the probationary driver program. NJAC 3070. Visit them site www.state.nj.us slash mbc slash license slash driver programs dot htm for a list of licensed providers a 75 dollars administration fee payable to the mvc is required prior to scheduling a class with a private provider plus an additional program fee payable to the program provider is required prior to attending the class Completion of this program will L result in up to a three-point reduction on an individual motorist's driver history record. Failure to complete the program or conviction of one or more subsequent moving point violations during the test period will L result in a suspension of driving privileges. Driver privilege and penalties. Defensive driving courses most road crashes are caused by motorist error. To reduce the likelihood of being involved in a crash, a motorist needs to understand the concept of defensive driving. These voluntary courses provide a motorist with standard crash preventing techniques. Upon completion of the defensive driving course, two points will L be removed from the accumulated points currently on. A driver license. NJSA 39 30.9. The motorist may qualify for an insurance rate reduction. Contact your Insurance agent for more information. The MVC will L only recognize a defensive driving course once every five years for point reduction. NJSA 39.5-30.9. In addition to classroom-based courses, motorists also have the option of taking an online defensive driving course. The MVC provides a list of approved online providers. For a list of state-approved defensive driving courses, Visit the MVC website, www.state.nj.us slash MVC slash license slash driver programs dot htm dot. Mature driver program. A mature driver should constantly reevaluate his or her driving skill LS. Defensive driving courses are available to mature drivers, 55 years and older, at various driving schools or through specific organizations. Various providers offer a driver safety class that is intended to help drivers live more independently as they age and remain safe on today's roads. The six-hour class, open to everyone, helps motorists refine existing skill LS and develop safe defensive driving techniques. The course is also available online. As a bonus, course participants may be eligible to receive a state-mandated multi-year discount on their auto insurance premiums and a reduction of two points off their driving record. If applicable, other restrictions may apply. Consult your insurance company for details. For a list of state-approved defensive driving courses, visit the MVC website at www.state.nj.us slash mvc slash license slash driver programs dot htm. Page 136 Driver Privilege and Penalties Violation Surcharges and Point Violations Motorists who accumulate six or more points within three years are subject to a surcharge of $150 for six points and $25 for each additional point. Surcharges are levied in addition to any court-imposed fines and penalties. Surcharges will L remain operational if a motorist has six or more points on his her motorist record resulting from VI. Olations posted in the preceding the point totals are based on the date the violations are posted to a motorist's record, not when a violation occurred. NJSA 17 29 AM 35. Standard point reductions do not apply to the violation surcharge system. Convicted or administratively suspended motorists must pay a prescribed doll law amount each year for three years. Violations unlicensed driver, NJAC 1390-13.0, motorized bicycle.
NJAC 13 19-13.1 Driving while suspended, Court of MVC reported, NJAC 13 19-13.1 No liability insurance on motor vehicle, NJAC 13 19-13.2 Do I refusal, NJAC 17 29 minus 35, do I refusal? Third, if within three years. NJSA 17.2, Ning Aminus 35. Surcharges. $100, $250. Vicky 1001 Tepiapirin. Ways to pay a violation surcharge bill. Mail payment to NJSVS, PO, Box 1502, Morristown. New Jersey 08057. Pay online at www.njsurcharge.com. Online services. Use charge by phone. Cal L Toll L free 844424-6829. Using MasterCard, Visa, or Discover. Visit any MVC Regional Service Center in person. Driver Privilege and Penalties. 137. Restoration fees may be paid online through our website, www.nj.gov slash mvc slash l. I send suspension. HTM. Failure to pay any violation surcharges may result in a collection action. The MVC may file a judgment action in state superior court for unpaid surcharges. Secure a lien against any real property that a motorist owns. File for wage garnishment or take other legal actions. NJSA 17 for a 9 in is 35. Motor vehicle convictions may increase automobile insurance premiums assessed by a motorist's insurance company. Point system. The MVC keeps track of a motorist's driving record by adding points to the record when the motorist is convicted of a moving violation. The more serious the violation, the more points the motorist is given. See the full lowing point chart for various possible violations. I'll L point violations after March 1, 1974. Will L stay on a motorist's driving record? Two points will L be added to a driving record for traffic violations committed in other states. Up to three points will L be subtracted from a motorist's point total every year that the motorist goes without a violation or suspension, and the motorist's driving privileges remain in good standing. But the point total will L never be reduced below zero. NJSA 39 5 minus 39. Traffic laws are enforceable on highways, roadways, parking areas, driveways, and grounds owned and maintained by government entities. Moving violation point chart. Statute. NJSA 27 23 minus 29. NJ 2723-29, NJSA 2723-29, NJSA 39-3-20, NJSA 39-4-14-3, NJSA 39-4-35, NJSA 39-4-36, NJSA 39-4-41, NJSA 39, 4 minus 55. Violation. NJSA, 39, 4 minus 52, and NJSA, 39, 5 minus, 1 racing on highway. NJSA, 39, 4 minus, 66. NJSA, 39, 4 minus, 66.1. NJSA, 39, 4 minus, 66.2. NJSA 39 for minus 70. NJSA 39 for minus 80. NJSA 39s. NJSA 39 for minus 80. NJSA 39 for minus 82.1. NJSA 39 for minus 83. NJSA NJ 84. NJSA 39 is 85. Moving against traffic. New Jersey Turnpike, Garden State Parkway, and Atlantic City Expressway improper passing. New Jersey Turnpike, Garden State Parkway, and Atlantic City Expressway unlawful use of median strip. New Jersey Turnpike, Garden State Parkway, and Atlantic City Expressway. 
Operating a construction vehicle in excess of 45 miles per hour operating a motorized bicycle on a restricted highway. NJSA 394-14.3 More than one person on a motorized bicycle. NJSA 394-57 Failure to yield to a pedestrian in a crosswalk Failure to stop for pedestrian in crosswalk. Passing a vehicle yielding to a pedestrian in a crosswalk driving through a safety zone. Improper action or omission on grades and curves failure to observe a direction of an officer. Failure to stop a vehicle before crossing a sidewalk failure to yield to pedestrians or vehicles while entering or leaving a highway operating a motor vehicle on public or private property to avoid a traffic. Control signal or sign operating a motor vehicle on a sidewalk failure to obey a direction of an officer failure to observe traffic signals failure to keep right. Improper operating of a vehicle on a divided highway or divider failure to keep right at an intersection. Failure to pass right of vehicle proceeding in opposite direction improper passing on right or off roadway. Point value 2, 4, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. 2222222225 Driver Privilege and Penalties Statute NJSA 39 for -85.1 NJSA 39 for -86 NJSA 39 for -87 NJSA 39 for -88 NJSA 39 for -89 NJSA 39 for -90 NJSA 39 4-90.1 NJSA 39 4 NJS -97 NJSA 39 4-97 at NJS at 39 4-97.1 Violation wrong way on one way street Improper passing in a no passing zone Failure to yield to an overtaking vehicle Failure to observe traffic lanes tailgating Failure to yield at an intersection. Failure to use proper entrances to limited access highways. NJSA 39 4-91 and NJSA 39-92 Failure to yield to emergency vehicle. NJSA 39 4-97.2 NJSA 39 4-97.3 NJSA 39 for Miss 98 NJS 39 99 NJSA 39 for minus 105 NJSA 39 for minus 115 NJSA 39 for minus 119 NJSA 39 for minus 120 U NJS 39 190 M Downs 39 4 minus 124 NJSA 39 4 minus 125 NJSA 39 or minus Reckless driving careless driving Destruction of agricultural or recreational properties slow speed blocking traffic driving in an unsafe manner points assessed for a third or subsequent violations occurring within five years of the most recent previous offense Using a handheld cell L phone or electronic communication device while driving. Points will L be assessed against a third conviction within 10 years of a second conviction and LL fourth and subsequent offenses. Exceeding maximum speed 114 miles per hour over the limit exceeding maximum speed 1529 miles per hour over the limit. Exceeding maximum speed 30 miles per hour or more over the limit failure to stop for a traffic light improper turn at a traffic light. Failure to stop at a flashing red signal failure to stop for a police whistle improper right or left turn. Improper turn from an approved turning course improper U-turn failure to give proper signal. Point value. 2, 4, 2, 2, 5, 2, 2, 2, 5, 2, 2, 2, 4, 3, 2, 5232-23332. Statute NJSA 39 4 minus 100. 20 S 39 27 1. 39 4 minus 127.2. NJSA 39 4 minus 128. NJSA 
39 4 minus 128.1. NJSA. 39 4 minus 128. Violation improper backing or turning in street. Improper crossing of a railroad grade crossing improper crossing of a bridge. Improper crossing of a railroad grade crossing by certain vehicles improper passing of a school bus. Improper passing of a frozen dessert truck. Point value. 22225. 4. Leaving the scene of a crash. NJSA. 39 4 minus 129. NJSA 39 4 minus 144. NJSA. 39 5 minus 30.6 NJSA 39. No personal injury personal injury. Failure to observe stop or yield signs moving violation out of state procedure for motorist approaching certain stationary vehicles. Move over law. 28222. Interstate compacts. New Jersey belongs to two interstate compacts. Member states exchange information to ensure motorists comply with the law and that they receive penalties for violations. The non-resident violator compact assures that non-resident motorists in member states will L receive the same treatment as resident motorists. When motorists receive traffic citations in member states, they must fulfill L the terms of that citation or face the possibility of license suspension in their home state until they meet those terms. Non-resident motorists have due process protection and cannot be detained out of state. Currently, 44 states and the District of Columbia are members of the compact. Alaska, California, Michigan, Montana, Oregon, and Wisconsin are non-members. The compact does not apply to parking or standing violations, highway weight limit violations, and violations of hazmat transportation laws. NJSA 39 5-1 through 39-5-30. The Driver License Compact exchanges violation information with other states and the District of Columbia. Out-of-state violations become part of a motorist's New Jersey driving record. Georgia, Massachusetts, Michigan, Tennessee, and Wisconsin are non-member states. NJS 39-5-1 through 39-5-14. Page 141. 8. Sharing the road with others. Sharing the road with others. Section contents 144 people, 146 vehicles, 155 animals. 144. Sharing the road with others. It is important for a motorist to maintain an awareness of how to operate his her vehicle in a manner that safely shares the roadway with pedestrians, bicyclists, skaters, riders of motorized scooters, and other non-motorized vehicles. Sharing the road means being aware of and knowing how to safely pass a cyclist on the roadway, recognizing bicycle lanes, safely navigating intersections with pedestrians and cyclists, and exiting a vehicle without endangering pedestrians and cyclists. It is a motorist's responsibility to know how to safely share the road with others, people, pedestrians in 2016, 166 pedestrians were killed led in traffic-related crashes on New Jersey roadways. Although reduced from 173 in 2015, pedestrian deaths still L accounted for 27% of New Jersey traffic fatalities in 2016 as compared to the national average of 15%. These fatalities need to be brought down further, with the goal of zero deaths. Many of the measures designed to make roads safer for motorists, such as large medians and wide shoulders, make the roads more treacherous for pedestrians. Vehicle pedestrian crashes have a 5% fatality rate if the car is going 20 miles per hour, but the rate jumps to 85% at 40 miles per hour. Pedestrian activity is at its greatest in densely developed areas, such as cities and town centers, but it also is significant in neighborhoods and along and across suburban roadways. Motorists sh should take special precautions to watch for pedestrians. In most cases, pedestrians have the right of way at Al L intersections. There is a crosswalk at every intersection, even if it is not marked as such. This is known as an unmarked crosswalk. 
Pedestrians must obey pedestrian signals and use crosswalks at signalized intersections. There is a $54 fine for failure to observe the law. NJSA 39, 4-32 and 33. The penalty for pedestrians under 17 who violate the pedestrian laws is a $22 fine. NJSA 39 for 203 pre. Motorists are prohibited from blocking a crosswalk when stopped at a red light or stop sign. A motorist must not stop with any portion of his her vehicle in the crosswalk area. When a motorist blocks a crosswalk, pedestrians are forced to go around the vehicle, putting them in danger. The driver of a vehicle shall L stop and remain stopped to L low a pedestrian to cross the roadway within a marked crosswalk, and shall L yield the right of way to a pedestrian crossing the roadway within any unmarked crosswalk at an intersection. Except at crosswalks when the movement of traffic is being regulated by police officers or traffic control signals, or where otherwise prohibited by municipal, county, or state regulation, and except where a pedestrian tunnel or overhead pedestrian crossing has been provided. Sharing the road with others. 145. No pedestrian shall L suddenly leave a curb or other place of safety and walk or run into the path of a vehicle which is so close that it is impossible for the driver to yield. A motorist in violation of the law may face a fine of up to $200 and may be assessed two points on his her driver record. The court may also impose a term of community service not to exceed 15 days. NJSA 39 4-36. If a pedestrian suffers serious bodily injury because of a motorist's violation of NJSA 39 4-36, the motorist is subject to a $100 to $500 fine up to 25 days in jail and a driving privilege suspension of up to six months. Never pass a vehicle stopped at a crosswalk. NJSA 39 4-36. This frequently causes severe injury or death to pedestrians, especially if the passing vehicle is traveling at a high rate of speed. When stopping for a crosswalk on a multi-lane road, a motorist should stop approximately 30 feet before a crosswalk to avoid blocking visibility of a motorist in the second lane. Motorists should watch for signs that mark special hazard areas, such as school zones, bus stops, playgrounds, parks, and schools, where children are most likely to play or cross the streets. Children chasing a bal L, for instance, give no thought to traffic. Small L children are hard to see. Always watch for movement around parked vehicles. Motorists should drive cautiously along roadways with on-street parking, as pedestrians may appear from between parked vehicles. Motorists traveling at lower speeds will L have a greater ability to stop their vehicle and avoid potential conflicts with pedestrians. Motorists should also follow the safe passing law, which states that drivers must approach and pass vulnerable road users with due caution. Due caution means both slowing down and giving the other user plenty of space when passing. One drivers must full low LL current no passing and no speeding laws and move over a lane if there is one. To move into. Two, on a single lane road, drivers must out low at least a four foot safety zone when they pass. And three, if four feet is not possible on a section of road. Drivers must slow to 25 miles per hour and be prepared to stop until they can pass safely without endangering those sharing the road. Drivers who do not full low the safe passing law and cause bodily injury as defined in NJSA 2C 11-1 shall L be fined $500 and assessed two motor vehicle penalty points if no bodily injury results. The violator shall L be fined $100 and shall L not be assessed any penalty points. And JSA 39 92.4. Pedestrians and joggers should always face oncoming traffic and use sidewalks when available. They should cross at crosswalks only on the proper signal. Look L L ways before crossing. Avoid crossing between parked vehicles and at night. Wear light-colored or reflective clothes and carry a white handkerchief or a light. It is not good practice to wear headphones while walking or jogging near the roadway. 
At night, motorists should watch for anyone walking along a highway and exercise due caution. None of the above precautions absolve motorists from their duty to be extra vigilant in watching for pedestrians on the roadway. 146. Sharing the road with others. Always watch for pedestrians. Be extra careful at intersections, particularly when making a permitted right turn on red. Motorists are required to stop for pedestrians who have the right of way within a crosswalk and to yield to those who are crossing at an unmarked crosswalk at an intersection. Be alert for pedestrians when making turns and entering and exiting driveways, parking lots, and alleys. Visually challenged persons, the law is extremely specific that motorists must give the right of way when any of the full lowing crosses any highway or intersection. Blind persons who use a predominantly white or metal lit cane, blind persons accompanied by a guide dog, or a guide dog instructor engaged in instructing a guide dog. A motorist must stop when he she sees a person with a white or metal lick colored cane, or a blind person or instructor with a guide dog. Al L motorists must comply with this law. NJSA 39-4-37.1 Vehicles Motorcycles be alert. The laws governing four-wheeled vehicles such as cars and trucks also govern motorcycles. However, a motorcycle rider may react differently to situations when compared to other motorists. Always keep in mind several key items when sharing the road with motorcycles. Be aware of slippery, sloped, or uneven surfaces, or grooves and gratings in the roadway. These present potential hazards for motorcycle riders. Check blind spots twice before changing lanes or making turns. Watch for motorcycles at intersections and when making a left turn. Always signal your intentions. Anticipate a motorcycle rider's maneuver to avoid obstructions that may be minimal to a car or truck, but dangerous to a motorcycle. Always leave plenty of room between an automobile and a motorcycle. Never fall low a motorcycle too closely because motorcycles could break within shorter distances than other types of vehicles. Sharing the road with others. When passed by a motorcycle, a motorist should maintain his her speed and position. Al low plenty of room for the motorcycle to complete the pass and resume proper lane position. A motorist's failure to detect and recognize motorcycles in traffic is the most common cause of motorcycle crashes. For more information on motorcycle safety, visit www.injuritasafe.org. Trucks, tractor trailers, and buses A motorist should always use caution when driving alongside trucks, tractor trailers, and buses. Sharing the road with larger vehicles can be safe if the motorist knows the limitations of these vehicles regarding visibility, required stopping distance, and maneuverability. When passing a large truck, tractor trailer, or bus, it is important to remember that there are several no zones, blind spots, in which the truck, tractor trailer, or bus driver cannot see other vehicles. In addition, during bad weather, a truck, or tractor trailer, or bus can take as much as 25% longer to stop. The no-zone principle avoid the areas around trucks, tractor trailers, and buses where vehicles disappear into blind spots. Do not move so close to a truck or bus that the driver's ability to stop or maneuver effectively is restricted. The potential for a crash is increased when a motorist is riding in the no-zone. If the driver of a large truck or tractor trailer or bus cannot see another motorist's vehicle in the rear view or side view mirrors, the vehicle is in a no zone, or blind spot. No zone, no zone 10 minus 20 feet, no zone, no zone 200 feet. The red areas are no zones. If you are in one of these areas, the driver of the truck can't see you. Rear no zone stay far behind a truck or tractor trailer that is preparing to back up or is backing up. Never pass close behind a truck or tractor trailer that is preparing to back up or is in the process of backing up. Because of their width, trucks and tractor trailers completely hide objects that suddenly come between them and a loading area. The area behind the truck or tractor trailer is a no-zone blind spot. 
Not only for the truck or tractor trailer driver, but for other motorists as well. L. Sharing the road with others. Use caution when passing trucks. They make wide turns. A motorist should increase full lowing distance behind a truck, tractor trailer, or bus so its driver can spot a motorist's vehicle in the rearview mirrors. Never tailgate or remain sandwiched between trucks, tractor trailers, or buses. A motorist should maintain a sizable space cushion between his, her vehicle and larger vehicles. Leave space when stopping at a light or sign behind a truck, tractor trailer, or bus. A special lie when facing uphill L. Larger vehicles may roll L backwards slightly when starting. Give more road space to a truck driver who is making a wide turn. Because trucks are larger than other vehicles, their drivers may have to slow, back up or swing wide to negotiate a turn. They cannot see smaller vehicles directly behind or beside them. For example, a truck may have to swing wide to the left to make a right turn. Front no zone maintain a consistent speed when passing. Do not pull L in front of a truck when passing until the whole front of the truck can be seen in the rearview mirror. Always signal before changing lanes. Never pass a truck on the right. 150 sharing the road with others. Side no zone drive away from the long blind spots on the sides of trucks. If the truck driver must quickly change lanes or make an emergency maneuver, a vehicle in this area will L be in the way. Do not linger alongside a truck when passing. Head on no zone a motorist should bear right when a large vehicle is traveling toward his her vehicle from opposite direction. This reduces wind turbulence between the motorist and the larger vehicle and possibly prevents a sideswipe. Yielding to school and commercial buses state law requires LL non-emergency vehicles to yield the right of way to buses re-entering traffic after dropping off or picking up bus passengers. However, once the bus is back in the normal flow of traffic, Motorists are not required to yield the right of way to buses changing lanes. Bus operators are required to drive in a safe and responsible manner. The yield law was enacted to improve safety on the state's roadways. Violations of this law carry a fine of not less than $50 or more than $200, up to 15 days in jail or both a fine and jail term. NJSI 39-4-87.1 Mopeds motorized bicycles, or mopeds, are low-speed, two-wheeled vehicles with pedals, intended for limited use on public roadways. Moped drivers may not exceed 25 miles per hour, must full low LL traffic signs and signals, and drive on the right side of the road with the flow of traffic. A motorist should always be alert for mopeds, which are smaller than motorcycles and may be harder to see. Moped drivers have the same rights and responsibilities as those driving other motor vehicles. A copy of the New Jersey Moped Manual may be viewed online at www.njmvc.gov. Bicycles, skateboards, and inline skates under New Jersey law. Bicyclists, skateboarders, and inline skaters have the same rights and responsibilities as motor vehicles. They are, however, classified as vulnerable road users, and in New Jersey, there are high rates of bicyclist injuries and fatalities, according to state police data. A motorist should full low the safe passing law when passing or approaching a bicyclist, skateboarder, or inline skater traveling in the same direction. This law states that drivers must approach and pass vulnerable road users with due caution. Due caution means both slowing down and giving the other user plenty of space when passing. 1. Drivers must full low LL current no passing and no speeding laws and move over a lane if there is one to move into. 2. On a single lane road. Drivers must LL low at least a 4 foot safety zone when they pass. And 3. If 4 feet is not possible on a section of road. Drivers must slow to 25 miles per hour and be prepared to stop until they can pass safely. Sharing the road with others. Without endangering those sharing the road, drivers who do not full low the safe passing law and cause bodily injury as defined in NJSA. 2C. 11-1 shall L be fined $500 and assessed two motor vehicle penalty points if no bodily injury results.
the violator shall L be fined $100 and shall L not be assessed any penalty points. And JSA 39 4-90 2.4. While bicycles ridden after dark must have front and rear lights and a rear reflector, these eye illumination devices may be hard for a motorist to see. A motorist should always remain alert to the presence of smaller vehicles. When turning right, motorists should be aware of bicyclists, skateboarders, and inline skaters. Before turning, the motorist should wait until the intersection clears. Motorists signaling a right turn must yield to bicyclists, skateboarders, or inline skaters moving through an intersection. To turn left, a bicyclist, skateboarder, or inline skater may choose to use traffic lanes to turn as a vehicle would. A motorist should be aware that a bicyclist, skateboarder, or inline skater may ride on the right edge of the turn lane. Remember that motorists share the road with bicyclists, skateboarders, and inline skaters. Please be sure that you are helping to keep the road safe by observing these safety precautions. Check your blind spots before turning, parallel parking, opening a door, or pulling away from a curb. Check around your vehicle by turning your head instead of relying only on your mirrors. When turning right, be sure to check for other traffic, including bicyclists, skateboarders, and inline skaters and avoid turning in front of them. They may not be able to stop quickly. When turning left, yield to al l oncoming traffic including bicyclists, skateboarders, and inline skaters. If a bicyclist, skateboarder, or inline skater is in front of you in a left turn lane, wait for them to complete their turn before you proceed. Motorized scooters, NJSA 39 Formis 14.2 through 39, 4 to 14.5, NJSA 39.1-1. A motorized scooter is a miniature motor vehicle. Although it is illegal for these vehicles to be driven on any public road or sidewalk, except on designated municipal or county property, motorists must be especially alert if these types of vehicles are present. Motorized scooters may be extremely hard to see. 152 sharing the road with others. Motorized scooters must be registered in the municipality or county where the owner resides and must be insured. No one under the age of 12 or the age determined by the municipality or county where the motorized scooter will L be operated is permitted to operate a motorized scooter. Examples of motorized scooters include but are not limited to pocket bikes, sports scooters, super pocket bikes, mini choppers, scooters, mini motorcycles, mini scooters, motorized skateboards, other vehicles with motors not manufactured in compliance with federal motor vehicle safety standards and which have no permanent federal safety certification stickers affixed to the vehicle by the original manufacturer. The following are not motorized scooters. Electric personal mobility assistive devices, motorized bicycles and low-speed vehicles, Motorized wheelchairs. Mobility scooters or similar mobility assistive devices used by persons with physical disabilities or person whose ambulatory mobility has been impaired by age or ill illness. Individuals with a mobility related disability state law allows individuals with a mobility related disability to operate certain motorized scooters on any public street with a posted speed limit not exceeding 25 miles per hour. In addition, they may operate on public streets, with a posted speed limit more than 25 miles per hour but not more than 35 miles per hour if local government determines that the motorized scooter does not pose a danger to safety and the flow of traffic. The motorized scooter may only have a maximum speed capability of no more than 15 miles per hour. NJSA 39 tur, for run 2 through 39, 4 minus 14.5. Sharing the road with others. Low speed vehicles, NJSA 39, 4 minus 31.1 through 39, 4 minus 31.5. A low speed vehicle LSV is a four wheeled vehicle with an attainable speed of more than 20 mph. 
but no more than 25 miles per hour on a paved surface. It cannot be powered by gas or diesel fuel and must comply with federal safety standards. Motorists should be alert when LSVs are present, as they may be difficult to see. Trains trains can travel on any track, in either direction, or at any time. Motorists who ignore passive and active warning devices at railroad crossings risk serious and even deadly consequences. It is important to always remain alert to railroad crossings and never drive through flashing red lights or around descending or lowered gates. Remember these important tips. When you see the yellow, circular r, &R crossing advance warning sign and white r, &R crossing pavement markings, there is a railroad crossing ahead. Never race a train to a crossing. Do not be fooled. Trains can appear as visual or optical eye illusions. The train you see is closer and moving faster than you think. Understand that trains cannot stop quickly. A freight train traveling at 55 miles per hour can take a mile or more to stop. Trains always have the right of way. Motorists must yield to approaching trains. Do not get your vehicle boxed in on railroad tracks. Only proceed through a railroad crossing when there is room on the other side to get completely across the tracks without stopping. Trains can be three or more feet wider than the tracks on both sides. If your vehicle ever stall LS on railroad tracks, get out immediately and move quickly away from the vehicle and tracks at a 45 degree angle in the direction from which the train is coming. Cal L the number on the emergency notification sign located at the crossing or 9111. Do not pass other vehicles within 100 feet of a railroad crossing. If you are driving a standard transmission vehicle, do not shift gears while crossing railroad tracks. Cross tracks only at designated railroad crossings, where you see warning devices. Railroad property is private property and it is dangerous and illegal to cross railroad tracks at any location other than a marked crossing. When preparing to cross railroad tracks at a designated crossing, a uh, motorist should obey warning devices, eliminate distractions, look both ways, listen for an approaching train and proceed quickly across the tracks. Never stop on railroad tracks. 154 sharing the road with others, snowmobiles, all-terrain vehicles, ATVs, and dirt bikes, NJSA 39 3-1-39, 39, 31 Motorists must be aware of the presence of legally registered snowmobiles, ATVs, and dirt bikes that may attempt to cross certain roadways. While it is illegal for these types of vehicles to ride on public roadways with other vehicles, they are permitted to cross certain roadways when safety permits. Operators of snowmobiles, ATVs, and dirt bikes must maintain a proof of insurance and always display the vehicle's registration. Sharing the road with others. Animals. Animals often dart onto roads or streets. Trying to avoid them often causes crashes. By swerving, the vehicle may hit something else or be hit by another vehicle from behind. The best defense against such crashes is to watch for animals on both sides of the road ahead and be prepared for unexpected movement. Horseback riders and horse-drawn vehicles, horse-drawn vehicles and horseback riders have the same rights and responsibilities as do drivers of motor vehicles when using public roadways. NJSA 39 one when approaching or passing a person riding or driving a horse-drawn vehicle, motorists are required to reduce their speed to 25 miles per hour or less and proceed with caution. Additional lie, at the request of, or upon a signal by putting up the hand or otherwise, of a person riding or driving a horse-drawn vehicle in the opposite direction. The motorist must stop his, her motor vehicle and remain stationary for as long as it takes the horse to pass. NJSA 39 72 Horse-drawn vehicles and horseback riders may not use certain limited access highways and must ride with traffic, keeping as far to the right as possible. Other rules apply. Speeding and illumination rules apply. A light must be displayed on the front of the horse-drawn, 
30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. If visibility is 500 feet or less, when encountering fog, mist, smoke, or other factors that reduce visibility, NJSE 39 4-25, 9 Vehicle Information. Vehicle Information. Section Contents 158 Vehicle Title and Registration 159 License Plates 160 Vehicle Inspection 161 Insurance 158 Vehicle Information In addition to safely navigating the roadways, a motorist must also understand the requirements for vehicles that he, she drives. Vehicle Title and Registration New Jersey residents who buy a new or used vehicle must title register, and insure it before driving it on public roads. NJSA 39 3-4, 39-10-11, 39-6-1, 39-6-2. New Jersey law states a vehicle classified under the Lemon Law must have the classification on the title. NJSA 39 10-93. For information about the Lemon Law, Contact the Lemon Law Unit of the Division of Consumer Affairs at 973. 504-6200. If a motorist moves into this state, the law requires his her vehicle to be titled and registered within 60 days. Sooner, if the out-of-state registration expires before then. NJSA 39 3-17.1. The titled owner, person whose name appears on the title as the owner, or a person with authority to act on the vehicle owner's behalf own is required to visit an NVC vehicle center to process the transaction. An initial registration for a brand new vehicle is valid for four years. All L other registrations are typically valid for one year, two, and JSA 39 3-4. How to complete an initial registration Complete a New Jersey vehicle registration application, B, a 49, at any MVC vehicle center. Provide the name of the vehicle's current insurance company and the policy number on the application. Show proof of vehicle ownership. For a new vehicle, a manufacturer's certificate of origin and dealer's certificate of sale are proof. For a previously owned vehicle, a title signed by the previous owner is proof. For a leased vehicle, get a power of attorney from the leasing company. For out-of-state vehicles that are leased or financed, secure the original title from the lien holder or leasing company. Visit www.njmvc.gov or Cal L6092926500 for more information. Show proof that the required sales tax has been paid or pay the tax at any MVC vehicle center. 1. Visit www.njmvc.gov for specific information on who is authorized to act on the owner's behalf. 2. Visit www.njmvc.gov for exceptions.vehicle information. 159. License Plates, NJSA 39 3-33. Motorist will L receive two matching license plates upon registering a vehicle. One plate is provided when registering a trailer, moped, or motorcycle. For passenger vehicles, one plate should be attached to the front of the vehicle and the other to the rear, at least 12 inches but less than 48 inches above the ground. Both plates must be clean and visible. The rear plate must be lighted, so it is visible from 50 feet at night even with reflectorized plates. NJSA 3948 billions. Using license plates covers or holders that obscure or conceal any lettering on the license plate is a violation, with a fine of up to $1. License plate facts report lost or stolen plates to local police. Retain a copy of the complaint. Inform the MVC. Replace lost or damaged plates within 24 hours at any MVC vehicle. Center and turn in the old plates at any MVC agency or mail them to the MVC. P.O. Box 403, Trenton, New Jersey 08666-403. Transfer plates to your new vehicle. Most plates are transferable. 
Visit www.njmbc.gov or Cal L. 609. 290 Tuominus 6500 for details. If a motorist sell LS his her vehicle and does not transfer the plates to another vehicle, he she must surrender the old plates at any MVC agency or mail them to the MVC PO. Box 129, Trenton, New Jersey 08666 minus 129. A receipt will L be provided. It should be kept in a safe place. Obtain other information about personalized or specialty plates from any MVC Vehicle Center or at www.njmvc.gov or Cal L6092926500. A motorist may place only valid plates on his, her vehicle. Forged or counterfeit license plates on any motor vehicle may result in a fine of up to $500, up to 60 days imprisonment, or a license suspension of up to six months. NJSA 39 33-33, 39-38. If a motorist terminates vehicle insurance, the plates must be returned to the MVC. NJAC 1320, 5.0. If your vehicle is sold, junked or destroyed, and you do not intend to purchase another, you must turn in the license plates to the NJMVC for cancellation. You must full low the procedure for surrendering license plates at a motor vehicle agency or by mail. 160 Vehicle Information Vehicle Inspection LL Gasoline Fueled Passenger Registered Vehicles Model Year 1996 and Newer more than five model years old, registered in New Jersey, must pass state inspections every two years at a state inspection station or a state licensed private inspection facility. P. At 29 state minus 2, NJAC. In addition, Al L. Diesel fueled, passenger registered vehicles, model year 1997 and newer, more than five model years old, with a GVWR of 8,000. 500 pounds or less. Registered in New Jersey must pass state emissions inspections every two years at a state inspection station or a PF. NJSI 39 8-2 and NJAC 1320-7.2. LL new passenger vehicles less than five model years old are issued a new car dealer sticker expiring five years after they are initially registered. NJSA 39, 8-2, and NJAC 1320-28.6. Al L gasoline fueled, commercial registered vehicles and diesel powered, commercial registered vehicles with a gross vehicle weight rating of 8,500 or less, are required to be inspected annually. When purchased at a dealership, these commercial registered vehicles that are less than one year old will L receive a new car dealer sticker expiring one year after they are initially registered. NJSA 39 8-2 and NJAC 1320-37.1 High rise and reconstructed. Vehicles must be taken to specially equipped inspection stations in Winslow, Asbury Park or Westfield. Cal L8886566867 for more information. Al L motorists must bring a valid driver license and valid New Jersey registration and insurance documents for the vehicle to be inspected at either a state inspection facility or a PEEF. When moving to New Jersey from another state, a motorist must have his or her passenger vehicle five model years or older inspected within 14 days after registering it. NJAC 1320-7.4. If the passenger vehicle is less than five model years old, the vehicle will L be exempted from inspection and will L receive a new car dealer sticker expiring five years from the model year. If the vehicle is registered commercial lay, it is required to be inspected annually. If the commercial vehicle is less than a year old, it will L be issued a new car dealer sticker expiring when the vehicle becomes a year old. For motor vehicle inspection information, please call L1-888 engine motor. 
1-888-656-6867 or visit www.nginspections.com. Vehicle Information 161. Insurance Motor Vehicle Liability Insurance is mandatory in the state of New Jersey. Every vehicle registered in New Jersey must have liability insurance. NJSA 39.6 billions minus 1, 39.6 billions minus 2. The type and cost of insurance coverage can vary. Visit the Department of Banking and Insurance, DOBI website at www.state.nj.us slash doby slash index.html2. Review the many insurance coverage choices or contact an insurance company. A New Jersey identification, ID card will L be provided for each vehicle insured under a policy. This card must remain in the vehicle with the driver. It must be shown prior to inspection, when involved in a crash and when stopped by law enforcement for a traffic violation or roadside spot check. An electronic version of the insurance ID card is acceptable. Failure to maintain liability insurance or driving with an uninsured vehicle can result in fines, community service, license and registration suspension, and violation surcharges. Insurance Fraud The Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor, OIFP, in the Division of Criminal Justice aggressively investigates and prosecutes individuals who engage in insurance fraud. If a person commits insurance fraud by providing false information to an insurance company while making a claim or submitting an insurance application, the OIFP can file criminal charges that can result in incarceration. It may also impose civil fines of up to $1 for each violation. NJSA 1730-3MES5. In addition, a person convicted of insurance fraud could lose his her driver license. Because fraud increases the cost of insurance for Allel New Jerseyans, motorists can help the OIFP by reporting fraud. Visit www.nj.gov slash doby slash index.html and click on Report Fraud. Or Cal L. 877-55 Fraud 877-55372-83. Al L. Tips are kept strictly anonymous and confidential. 10 Motorcycle Manual. Section Contents 164 New Jersey's Definition of a Motorcycle 164 Getting. A Motorcycle Endorsement or License 167. How to get a motorcycle license without a driver license 169. How to get a motorcycle permit 170. How to register a motorcycle 170. Practice riding and road test 172. Prepare to ride 176. Motorcycle check 177. Get familiar with the motorcycle 177. Control for safety 180. C. Be seen and be heard 184 use the SIPDE system 186 check blind spots 188 keep the proper distance 191 handling dangerous surfaces 195 ride cautiously at night 195 no hazards 199 carrying passengers and cargo 201 learning group riding 203 rides sober and awake 205 checking the motorcycle 207 accessories and modifications new jersey's definition of a motorcycle according to new jersey law the classification of motorcycles includes motorcycles autocycles motorbikes bicycles with a motor attached and AL L other motor operated vehicles of the bicycle or tricycle, trike type, but not motorized bicycles. The motor power can be part of the vehicle or attached. The vehicle must have a saddle or seat for the driver to sit astride or upon, or a platform on which to stand. Getting a motorcycle endorsement or license. Every New Jersey resident who operates a motorcycle or trike must have a New Jersey motorcycle driver license or a motorcycle endorsement on an existing New Jersey basic or commercial license. Two exceptions exist. One, the operator of a three-wheeled motor vehicle equipped with the single cab that has a glazing around the occupant, seats like those of a passenger vehicle or truck, seat belts or automotive steering, 
is not required to have a motorcycle endorsement added to their basic automobile driver license and is not required to wear a helmet. The operator of a low-speed motorcycle. Applicants who already have a valid New Jersey basic or commercial driver license may qualify for test of knowledge and motorcycle road test waivers by taking an approved NJ Motorcycle Safety Education Program, MSEP Basic Rider Course, BRC. For details, please visit www.andredesafe.org. Some applicants may not qualify for waivers, including those in the graduated driver license. GDL program. Contact the MVC for details at 609-292-6500. Note. Anyone under the age of 18 is required to take the Motorcycle Safety Education Program Basic Rider course before receiving a motorcycle endorsement. Note. A valid basic driver license is required to operate an autocycle. A motorcycle license or endorsement is not required. Motorcycle Manual Low-speed motorcycles basic auto license holders can operate a low-speed motorcycle without any endorsement or separate motorcycle license. Low-speed motorcycles are less than 50 cc-s or have a motor rated at no more than 1.5 brake horsepower with a maximum speed of no more than 35 miles per hour on a flat. Surface Low-speed motorcycles may not be operated on any state toll L road, limited access highway, or any public road with a posted speed limit greater than 35 miles per hour. NJSA 39, 76 11 Note, anyone who takes a road test at MVC on a motorcycle that is 231 cc-s or less is restricted to riding only. A 500 cc-s or less motorcycle. M. Endorsement or Class E motorcycle only license with restriction. If the road test is taken on a motorcycle that is over 231 cc-s, there will L be no restriction with the M endorsement or motorcycle only license. Anyone who successfully completes a motorcycle safety education program, MSEP, course is exempt from this motorcycle size requirement and will L not be restricted. Riders who are restricted to a motorcycle that is 500 cc-s or less will L have a restriction 5 noted on their license and will L be required to carry an MVC-issued restriction card while operating the motorcycle. How to add a motorcycle endorsement to your driver license and roll L in a basic rider course or a three-wheel basic rider course for trikes or begin by purchasing a permit at a local MVC licensing center. Enroll in a basic rider course. Step 1. Take basic rider course register with an approved motorcycle training provider. Take motorcycle training course. Step 2. Get course completion documents 100% participation required. Must successfully complete course. Will L receive a stamped waiver form and a completion card. Note. You must add a motorcycle endorsement to your license before you begin riding after completing the course. No motorcycle permit required to take a rider course. 1 in 66 Motorcycle Manual Step 3. Get motorcycle endorsement must bring course completion documents to a driver testing center and prove your identity by passing 6-point ID verification. Must apply for a motorcycle permit must be at least 17 years old, parent, guardian consent required under age 18, must pass vision test, must pay required fee, apply without a basic rider course motorcycle permit required first, must be at least age 18 to take the MVC road test. Step 1. Get a motorcycle examination permit apply for a motorcycle permit at a local MVC licensing center must be at least 17 years old, parent guardian consent required under, age 18, must pass MVC's knowledge and vision tests, make road test appointment date, must pay required fee. Step 2. Practice ride must practice ride for at least 20 days, must observe motorcycle permit riding restrictions. Step 3. Take motorcycle road test at MVC test site must bring your own motorcycle registered and insured, helmet,
Eye protection. Must pass road test. Must be at least age 18. Step 4. Get motorcycle endorsement must pay required fee. Motorcycle manual. How to get a motorcycle license without a driver license. Always begin by purchasing a permit at a local MVC licensing center. Enroll in a basic rider course. Motorcycle permit required first. Anyone under the age of 18 is required to take the Motorcycle Safety Education Basic Rider course. Step 1. Get a motorcycle examination permit. Apply for a motorcycle permit at a local MVC licensing center. Must be at least 17 years old. Parent guardian consent required under age 18. Must pass MVC's knowledge and vision tests. Must pay required fee. Step 2. Practice ride must practice ride for at least six months if under the age of 21 or three months. If over 21 without any suspensions or postponements. Must observe motorcycle permit riding restrictions. Step 3. Take basic rider course with an approved motorcycle training provider register with a motorcycle training provider. Take a motorcycle training course. Steps two and three can be interchanged. You must have your practice riding time in before getting your motorcycle license. Step 4. Get course completion documents 100% participation required. Must successfully complete course. Will L receive a course completion card only, not a road test waiver. 168 Motorcycle Manual. Step 5. Take motorcycle road test at MVC test site. Must bring your own motorcycle, registered and insured, helmet, and eye protection. Step 6. Get probationary motorcycle license, Class E, must pass MVC's road test. Must pay required fee. Step 7. Probationary riding privileges must ride for at least one year. Must full low probationary driver license restrictions. Step 8. Get unrestricted motorcycle license must be at least 18 years old. Must have completed one year of riding. Must pay required fee. Apply without a basic rider course motorcycle permit required first. Must be at least 18 years old to take the MVC road test. Step 1. Get a motorcycle examination permit. Apply for a motorcycle permit at a local MVC licensing center. Must be at least 17 years old. Parent guardian consent required under age 18. Must pass MVC's knowledge and vision tests. Must pay required fee. Step 2. Practice ride must practice ride for at least 6 months if under the age of 21 or 3 months. If over age 21 without any suspensions or postponements. Must observe motorcycle permit riding restrictions. Step 3. Take motorcycle road test at MVC test site must bring your own motorcycle. Registered and insured. Helmet. Eye protection. Step 4. Get probationary motorcycle license, Class E, must pass road test. Must be at least age 18. Must pay required fee. Step 5. Probationary riding privileges must ride for at least one year. Must full low probationary driver license restrictions. Step 6. Get unrestricted motorcycle license must be at least 18 years old. Must have completed one year of riding. Must pay required fee. How to get a motorcycle permit. You must be at least 17 years old. Parent guardian consent required under age 18. Complete a motorcycle permit application from an MVC licensing center. Pass the six point ID verification. Pay $5 permit fee. Pass the knowledge and vision tests to validate your permit. Study by reading the driver manual and motorcycle manual. Motorcycle permit riding restrictions the holder of a motorcycle examination permit is prohibited from operating a motorcycle from one half hour after sunset to one half hour before sunrise, carrying passengers, riding on any state toll L road or limited access highway, 
170 Motorcycle Manual Practicing with your permit you must practice with a permit for at least 20 days before being eligible to take the road test. A motorcycle examination permit holder is no longer required to have an accompanying rider. How to register a motorcycle. New Jersey's annual motorcycle registration fee is $65. To register a motorcycle, bring a valid insurance card and title to any MVC vehicle center. One license plate must always be displayed on the rear of the motorcycle. Qualified motorcyclists can obtain a person with a disability license plate that allows them to park in specially marked parking spaces. To obtain an application online visit www.ngmvc.gov or request one by Cal Ling 609292650. Mail completed application to MVC Special Plate Unit PO, Box 015 Trenton, New Jersey 08666-15. Riders should keep in mind that it is their responsibility to make sure their motorcycles are free from mechanical defects and are operating properly. Although motorcycles are no longer required to be inspected in New Jersey, Law enforcement may still L perform a roadside inspection and issue citations to cyclists for equipment out of compliance or failure to make repairs. Practice riding and road test. Note, the full lowing section does not refer to those testing on a trike. The trike test is like the basic auto road test. The MVC recommends that LL applicants practice LL riding skill LS. However, Emphasis is placed on the full lowing skill LS. Motorcycle Manual 171 1. Turning and Stopping Tests an applicant's ability to control the motorcycle while turning and stopping. The examiner will L evaluate an applicant's ability to stay within the path of the turn without putting a foot down, and to stop safely in a painted stop box without putting a foot down or skidding the vehicle. Stop with front tires in box. Sharp left turn. Start sharp left turn. 2. Cone weave, U turn. Tests an applicant's ability to control the motor C. Clay at low speed while weaving through cones and making a U turn in a designated area. The examiner will L evaluate an applicant's ability to stay within the path of travel without touching lines or cones, and without putting a foot down. Cones are 12 feet apart with a 2-foot offset. Start. Over 500 ccs engine, 500 ccs engine and under. Right U-turn. 3. Braking. Tests an applicant's ability to safely brake quickly. An applicant. Will L be evaluated on stopping distance in relation to speed of travel. 4. Obstacle swerve. Tests an applicant's ability to swerve the motorcycle. Quickly to avoid an obstacle. An applicant will L be evaluated on the ability to stay within the path of travel and turn quickly without touching a boundary line. Start obstacle turn. Note, an applicant who stall LS the motorcycle during the skill LS test will L fail. Prepare to ride. Properly preparing for a trip is critical to safety. Before riding a motorcycle, check LL gear and the motorcycle itself. If the motorcycle is borrowed, determine if any operational differences exist. Try the horn and clean. Adjust controls before mirrors. You start check tires. Condition. Tread depth. Inflation. Check gas and oil levels. Adjust and lubricate drive chain belt. Motorcycle manual. Gear check a good rider wears the full lowing. An approved U.S. Department of Transportation helmet. Approved eye and face protection. Protective clothing. The helmet is the single most important piece of equipment riders must wear. One of every five reported motorcycle crashes involve head or neck injuries. A helmet improves survival in crashes. Make sure the approved helmet is fastened securely. A properly fitting, approved helmet can increase rider comfort and reduce fatigue. Helmet use helmets are required by law for motorcycle operators and riders in New Jersey. Operators who carry passengers who do not wear helmets can be fined. Consider these additional facts. An approved helmet ensures adequate peripheral vision for riders. A. 
study of more than 900 motorcycle crashes, in which 40% of the riders wore helmets, found no cases where a helmet impaired a rider's vision or mass danger. Most crashes happen on short trips, less than five miles long, shortly. After starting, even low-speed crashes can be fatal. In fact, most occur at speeds slower than 30 miles per hour. At these speeds, helmets can cut the number and severity of head injuries by half. Regardless of speed, riders without helmets are three times more likely to die from head injuries than riders wearing helmets at the time of the crash. 174 Motorcycle Manual Helmet Selection Approved helmets come in three types, full face, three-quarter, and one-half. Full face, three-quarter, one-half. Each must meet U.S. Department of Transportation, U.S. DOT Federal Motor Vehicle, standard FMVSS 218. Look for the DOT symbol on the outside back of the helmet. Then, look for a label inside the helmet with the manufacturer's name, month, and year of manufacture, construction materials, model, size, and other important information. Be equipped with a chin strap and have at least four square inches of red, amber, or white reflectorized tape on each side. Lack obvious defects, such as cracks, loose padding, or frayed straps. Note, not all L helmet damage is obvious. To ensure safety, do not buy a used helmet. When riding, keep the helmet securely fastened at all L times. A loosened helmet is likely to foul L off during a crash. Eye and face protection motorcycle operators are required to wear approved goggles or a face shield when operating a motorcycle, unless the motorcycle is equipped with a windscreen. NJSA 39-3-76.9 A full-face helmet offers riders the most protection. A plastic face shield does protect a rider's face from wind, dust, dirt, rain, insects, and debris. Regardless, attention should be on the road, not on these potential problems. Choose equipment that is not distracting so that your complete attention is on the road. Goggles can also protect a rider's eyes from wind, dust, dirt, rain, insects, and debris, but do not protect the rest of a rider's face, but a face shield does. Most windshields will not protect eyes from wind. Neither will eyeglasses or sunglasses. Glasses will not keep eyes from watering and might blow off while riding. Face shields and goggles must meet U.S. Department of Transportation and New Jersey standards and should have the ANSI label. Because they are plastic, face shields and goggles will develop scratches and become brittle with age. For maximum protection and comfort, replace equipment regularly. Motorcycle manual. Effective eye or face protection must be scratch free, be made of shatterproof material, give a clear view to either side, fasten securely, al low air to pass through, so it will l not fog, al low enough room for eyeglasses or sunglasses, if needed. Tinted eye protection should not be worn at night or any other time when little light is available. Clothing clothing helps protect riders in crashes and in other situations. Jackets and pants should cover arms and legs completely, while still L providing comfort. Both should fit snugly enough that there is no flapping in the wind and loosely enough to let the rider move freely. Bright, reflective helmets and clothing help others see a motorcyclist. Leather offers the most protection, but sturdy, synthetic material also provides protection. Wear a jacket even in warm weather. Many motorcycle jackets are designed to protect without overheating, even on warm days. Boots and shoes should be high enough to cover ankles and sturdy enough to provide support. Soles should be made of a hard, durable material. Heels should be short enough not to catch on rough surfaces. Bootstraps and shoelaces should be tucked in. Full ill-finger leather or other motorcycle gloves are also important as they provide a good grip on controls, while helping to protect hands during a crash. In cold or wet weather, clothes should keep riders warm and dry.
as well L as protect riders from injury. Safely controlling a motorcycle with numb arms is nearly impossible. Riding for long periods in the cold weather can cause severe chill L, fatigue, and hypothermia. A winter jacket should be wind-resistant and fit snugly at the neck, wrists, and waist. Rain suits should be sized so they are easily removed and put on, as well L as designed for riding. Otherwise, these suits can tear apart or balloon up at high speeds. Some gloves are made to keep wind or rain from traveling up sleeves. Motorcycle check. If something is wrong with the motorcycle, it is important to find out before entering traffic. Check these things before every ride. Tires. Keep tires in good condition. Check the tire pressure using a gauge. A tire may be underinflated without a noticeable change in appearance. Motorcycles do not handle properly if the air pressure is too low or too high. Check the owner's manual for the right amount of air pressure. Tire tread worn or uneven tread can make the motorcycle hard to handle, particularly on wet pavement. Rims, spokes. Check for bent, loose or damaged rims or spokes. Damage. Check for cuts or objects stuck to the tread. Also, check the sidewall LS for cracks. A blowout on a motorcycle can be extremely dangerous. Controls. Make sure the controls work smoothly. The throttle should snap back when released. Cables. Check for kinks or broken strands. If a cable breaks while riding, the motorcycle could become difficult to control and a crash could result. Lights. Make sure allel lights work. Keep them clean. Turn signal. Check allel 4 turn signal lights. Make sure they flash when on and are bright, easily seen. Headlight. Check the headlight. In daytime, pass a hand in front of the beam to make sure it works. At night, try the dimmer to make sure both high and low beams work. Tail and brake light try each of the brake controls and make sure that each one flashes the brake light. Horn. Ensure the horn works. Chain. Make sure the drive chain is properly adjusted and lubricated. Check the owner's manual for information regarding chain adjustment. Motorcycle manual. Mirrors. Clean and adjust mirrors before riding. It is difficult and dangerous to adjust a mirror while riding. Swing both mirrors far enough outward to show about half the lane behind and as much as possible of the lane to the side. Gas and oil. Check gas and oil levels before riding. Running out of gas is inconvenient. It can also be dangerous as it makes leaving the road difficult. Lack of oil can seize an engine, causing the rear wheel to lock and loss of control. Get familiar with the motorcycle. Be completely familiar with the motorcycle before riding it. If the motorcycle is borrowed, check everything. Learn where LL controls are, turn signals, horn, headlight switch, fuel, control valve, and motor cutoff switch. Be able to find and operate them without having to look. Check controls. Learn the gear pattern. Work the throttle, clutch, and brakes a few times before riding. Ride very cautiously until learning how the motorcycle handles. For instance, take turns slowly and owl low for extra stopping distance. Control for safety. To learn how to control direction, speed, and balance, LL riders should practice. This manual suggests ways to keep control of the motorcycle and avoid crashes. Body position to control a motorcycle well L. Riders must be in the proper position. Posture. Keep back straight and head and eyes up. Arms should be relaxed and slightly bent. Hands. Hold handle grips firmly. This helps riders keep a solid grip if the motorcycle bounces. A rider's wrist should be down. This helps keep a rider from using too much throttle. Knees. Keep knees against the gas tank to keep balance as the motorcycle turns. Feet. Keep feet firmly on the foot pegs. Firm footing helps keep balance. Do not drag feet along the ground. Feet catching something on the ground can cause loss of control. Keep feet near the controls to get to them quickly, if necessary. Also, 
Keep toes pointed up to keep them from getting caught in between the road and the foot peg. Speedometer and odometer tachometer, if equipped. Light switch, high-low. Horn button, clutch lever. Turn signal switch, engine cutoff switch. Front brake lever, throttle, electric start. Button, if equipped. Rear brake pedal, gear change pedal. Motorcycle manual. Turning new riders often try to take curves or turns too fast, causing panic and loss of control. Braking too hard, which may cause a skid or loss of control, can also occur. Riders must learn to judge how fast a curve may safely be taken. Approach all turns with caution. When turning, use the full lowing steps for better control. Slow down. Reduce speed before a turn. Keep speed down until completing the turn. Look. Use head turns for directional control and to look through the turn. Lean to turn. The motorcycle must lean. To lean the motorcycle, push on the hand grip in the direction of the turn. Maintain steady speed or accelerate gradually. Avoid decelerating in the turn. Higher speeds and or tighter turns require the rider to lean more in their turns. In normal turns, the rider and motorcycle should lean together. In slow, tight turns, lean the motorcycle only and keep your body straight. Braking, stopping motorcycles have two brakes. Both are needed to stop effectively and safely. The front brake provides about three quarters of the stopping power. Front wheel locks release the lever until the tire regains traction. If the rear wheel locks, do not release it. Keep it locked until the motorcycle comes to a stop. When braking, remember, practice using the front brake correctly. Braking is an activity that requires continuous practice for maximum proficiency. When slowing down or stopping, always use both brakes. This ensures riders have enough skill L to use the front brake properly when needed. Apply both brakes at the same time. Do not apply the rear brake first. Shifting there is more to shifting than getting the motorcycle to accelerate smoothly. Instability can occur if the gears are used incorrectly when downshifting, turning, or starting from a standstill L on a hill L. Change gears to match the engine speed with the road speed. 180 Motorcycle Manual Downshifting it is important to shift down through gears for the appropriate slowdown or stop. This ensures riders always have enough power to accelerate quickly if needed. Travel at the proper speed to shift into a lower gear. Motorcycles may lurch, and the gear wheel may lock up. If downshifting is performed at too fast a speed or the clutch is released abruptly. Remember, riding downhill L, motorcycles tend to pick up speed on a downgrade. Shifting into first gear, on many motorcycles, the speed range for first. Gear is exceptional lay low. Under these conditions, Use the brakes to slow down enough to shift safely. Going uphill, it is more difficult to get the motorcycle moving on an upgrade than it is on flat ground. There is always a danger of rolling backward and into another vehicle. Remember, use the front brake to hold the motorcycle while starting the engine and shifting into first gear. Change to the foot brake to hold the motorcycle while operating the throttle with the right hand. For more power, open the throttle a little bit. Release the clutch gradually. The front wheel may come off the ground, or the engine may stop, or both, if it is released too quickly. Release the foot brake when the engine begins to slow down, and the motorcycle begins to move forward. See, be seen, and be heard. In crashes with motorcyclists, other motorists often say that they never saw the motorcycle. From ahead or from behind, a motorcycle's outline is small L, and it is easier for other motorists to misjudge distance and speed. However, there are ways to make riders and motorcycles more noticeable. Motorcycle Manual Clothing Bright Reflective helmets and clothing help others see the motorcycle. Upper body clothing should be brightly colored orange, yellow, red, or green. Fluorescent colors are enough in bright daylight. At night, 
Reflective or retro-reflective clothing is best. Reflective materials are passive and do not change their brightness. Retroflective materials change brightness with surrounding light sources. They greatly increase the visibility of objects at night or during inclement weather. Headlight the best way to help others see you is to always keep headlights on. During the day, a motorcycle with lights off is twice as likely to go unnoticed. The headlight in many later model motorcycles comes on automatical lie. Signal signals communicate intentions to other road users. Turn signals use turn signals to clearly indicate lane changes and other riding maneuvers. Become easier to see. Other motorists can easily see turn signals. The required signal may be given by means of the hand and arm or by an approved mechanical or electrical signal device. A signal of intention to turn right or left when required shall L be given continuously during not less than the last 100 feet traveled by the vehicle before turning. NJSA 39-4-126 Note. Turn off turn signals after the turn or lane change is made. If not, other motorists might be confused about a rider's intentions. Brake light help others see the motorcycle by tapping the foot brake lightly before slowing down. This action will L flash the brake light. It is especially important to signal others by flashing the brake light when slowing down more quickly than might be expected. For example, before making a turn from a high-speed highway, slowing down where others may not expect it. For example, before slowing down to the turn in the middle of a block, when being full load closely, flash the brake light before slowing down. This cannot be done, however, in an emergency situation. 182 Motorcycle Manual Horn use the horn to get the attention of other motorists, but do not rely solely on it. Use the horn when someone is in the driver's seat of a vehicle parked on the street, riding a bicycle, or walking in the street, and may pull L into traffic. In an emergency, use the horn and be ready to slow down or turn away from danger. The two biggest dangers are oncoming vehicles turning left, vehicles on side streets pulling into traffic. Never count on eye contact as a sign that a motorist is aware and will L yield the right of way. LL too often, a motorist looks right at a motorcycle and still L does not see it. Road position motorists have little choice about positioning and travel lanes. However, each marked lane provides three possible travel paths to motorcyclists. To be seen most clearly, ride in the portion of the lane where it is most likely a motorist can see a motorcycle. When behind a vehicle, ride where the motorist can see the motorcycle in the rear view mirror. Be sure you can see the rear view mirror of the vehicle in front of you. If you can see the rear view mirror in front of you, it is more likely the driver can see you. Blind spots when alongside a vehicle. Speed up and get by quickly or drop back. Visible area. Motorcycle manual. Center position. It is not true that riding in the center of a lane is dangerous because of the grease strip residue left by other vehicles. Still L, it is best to ride slightly to the left or the right of center. Unless the road is wet with rain. Traction on most grease strips is the same as the rest of the pavement. However, big grease buildups found at busy intersections or toll booths should be avoided. Intersections enter the intersection with a space cushion on either side that allows evasive action if necessary. Approach an intersection with the best view of oncoming traffic. Blind area. Blind area. When approaching a blind intersection, Move to the portion of the lane in the other motorist's field of sight. Remember, the key is to see as much as possible. Use the SIPDE system. Nothing can guarantee that other motorists will LC a motorcycle. A good rider is always looking to stay out of trouble. Experienced riders use a system known as SIPDE, an acronym for a process used to make judgments and act in traffic. SIPDE scan. Identify. Predict. Decide. Execute. Here's a closer look at each of these steps. SCAN search aggressively for potential hazards. Scanning provides information to allow riders to make decisions in enough time to act. 
Identify locate hazards and potential conflicts. Hazards can be divided into three groups based on how critical their effect may be. Motorcycle manual. Cars, trucks, and other vehicles. They share the road with motorcycles. They move quickly. Reactions to them must be quick and accurate. Pedestrians and animals. They are characterized by unpredictability and quick movement. Stationary objects, potholes, guardrails, bridges, roadway signs, hedges, or rows of trees will only create or complicate riding strategy. The greatest potential for conflict between riders and other traffic is at intersections. An intersection can be in the middle of an urban area or at a driveway on a residential street. Most motorcycle automobile crashes occur at intersections. Oncoming vehicles turning left into the path of the motorcycle causes many crashes. Therefore, using SIPTI at intersections is critical. Before entering an intersection, search for oncoming traffic that may turn left, traffic from the left, traffic from the right, traffic approaching from behind. Be alert at intersections with limited visibility. Be visually aware of busy surroundings that might camouflage a motorcycle. Predict anticipate the effect of hazards. The direction a potential hazard moves is important. Clearly, a vehicle moving away is not as critical as a vehicle moving into a rider's path. Determine the effect of the hazard and where a crash might occur. How critical is the hazard? How probable is a crash? This is the what if phase of SIPTA that depends on knowledge and experience. Now, estimate the consequences of the hazard. How might the hazard, or effort to avoid it, affect others? Decide determine how to reduce the hazard by communicating presence and intentions, adjusting speed, adjusting position. Communication is the most passive action because it depends on the response of someone else. Use lights and honk the horn, but do not rely on the actions of others. Speed adjustment can be acceleration, slowing or stopping. Position adjustment can be changing lane position or completely changing direction. 186 Motorcycle Manual In both cases, the degree of adjustment depends on how critical the hazard is and how much time and space is available. The more time and space, the less amount of risk. In high potential risk areas, such as intersections, decrease the reaction time that is needed by increasing space and readying possible escape routes. Execute this is when riding skill LS come into play, which must become second nature. The best decision will L be meaningless without the skill LS to carry it out. Riders must ride within their own ability. Check blind spots. Using head checks, motorcycles have blind spots just like other vehicles do. When changing lanes, turn and look at the traffic behind. That is the only way to see a vehicle behind and in the next lane. It is particularly important before a rapid lane change. Many riders make rapid lane changes out of necessity and habit. There is very little chance a motorist in the next lane can react quickly enough to avoid a rapid lane change. Check first and then change. On a roadway with several lanes, check the far lanes too. Another motorist could be headed for the same space. Using mirrors traffic situations change quickly. Check mirrors every few seconds to see what traffic is approaching from behind. That way, passing cars and other vehicles will L not be a surprise. There are particular times when it is very important to use mirrors. Motorcycle manual. Area seen in mirrors rider's blind spot. When slowing down or stopping suddenly. If there is a vehicle close. Behind. It may be better to keep moving. When stopped at an intersection. Watch vehicles approaching from. Behind. Evasive action may be necessary if an approaching motorist is not paying attention. When changing lanes. Make sure no one is about to pass. When turning. Watch vehicles behind especially when making what could be an unexpected turn, such as into alleys, driveways, and side streets. Many motorcycles have round, convex mirrors, 
which provide a bigger view of the road behind than flat mirrors. However, these mirrors make vehicles seem farther away than they real lie are. To get used to convex mirrors, while stopped, pick out a parked vehicle in the mirror and form a mental image of how far away that vehicle is. Then, turn around and look to see how close it real lie is. Practice helps riders judge distance well L. Even then, I'll low extra distance before changing lanes. Regardless, always make a final head check before changing lanes. Positioning motorcycle riders can see things other motorists cannot see by riding the portion of the lane where they are most likely to be seen. Riding through curves. Move to one side of the lane or the other to get a better view of the curve. Watching at intersections. Riders can peek easily around buildings, parked vehicles, or bushes to see if anything is coming. Other motorists cannot. 188 Motorcycle Manual. Stopping at blind intersections. Blind intersections can make it hard to see danger coming from the side. At a stop sign, stop there first. Then, edge forward and stop again, just short of where the cross traffic lane meets the lane you are in. From that position, lean forward and look around buildings, parked vehicles, or bushes. Keep the front wheel out of the cross lane of travel while doing this. Seeing at the roadside. Angle the motorcycle across the road to see both directions without straining, which is particularly important before making a U-turn. Keep the proper distance. Correct for inside curves. Correct for outside. Curves. The best protection is distance between a motorcycle and other motorists. If another motorist makes a mistake, distance provides time to react and time to move away. Front under ordinary conditions. Stay at least two seconds behind the vehicle ahead. This provides plenty of time to react if the motorist ahead stops suddenly. It also provides a better view of things in the road, such as potholes, slippery spots, tire treads, and other debris. Stay well L behind the vehicle ahead, even when stopped. This will L make it easier to get out of the way if someone bears down from behind. Motorcycle Manual Side for oncoming or passing vehicles, move to the center of the lane. A rider can move from one side of the lane to another to increase their distance from other vehicles. An experienced rider changes position from one side of the lane to another as traffic conditions change. These road conditions require lane position changes. Passing vehicles. When another vehicle passes from behind, move toward the center of the lane. A slight mistake by either motorist could cause a sideswipe. Moving toward the center of the lane also helps avoid extended mirrors or things thrown from vehicle windows. Do the same for oncoming vehicles. Give way to large trucks. They can create gusts that affect control. There is more room for error in the middle of the lane. Riding and intersections. Most crashes between vehicles and motorcycles happen at intersections. Motorists often have a hard time seeing a motorcycle coming directly at them. A vehicle may make a left turn and across the motorcycle's path or a vehicle may enter from a side street into the motorcycle's path. These are two leading causes of motorcycle crashes at intersections. In the event a vehicle enters a rider's path, move as far away from the vehicle as possible. If the vehicle is on the right, move to the left. For a vehicle on the left or an oncoming vehicle with a left turn signal on, move to the right. Change lanes. Otherwise, move to the far side of the current lane. Approach slowly. If a motorist does pull L out suddenly, chances of making. A quick stop or a quick turn are better. At intersections, move as far away from oncoming vehicles as safely as possible. Passing parked vehicles. When passing parked vehicles, the motorcycle rider has an advantage over other motorists. Stay in the left portion of the lane to avoid problems caused by doors opening, motorists getting out of their vehicles or people stepping into traffic from between vehicles. Vehicles pulling out of parking spaces are another source of danger. Motorists can fail to see a motorcycle during a quick look behind for traffic. Motorists making U-turns are also a danger. 
The motorcycle rider sees the other motorist pull L out and slows down or changes lanes to let them enter. Then suddenly, the other vehicle turns across the road and blocks the lane. This leaves the motorcyclist with no place to go. Approach vehicles pulling out or making a U-turn very cautiously. Stay to the left of the lane to pass parked vehicles. 190 Motorcycle Manual Sharing Lanes Vehicles and motorcycles each need a full L lane to operate safely. To prevent lane sharing, do not ride between rows of stopped vehicles. Do not try to squeeze past a stopped vehicle in the same lane. Anything could happen. A hand could come out of the window. A door could open or a vehicle could turn suddenly. Discourage lane sharing by others. The best way to do this is to keep a center lane position in situations where other motorists might be tempted to squeeze by. Moving to the far side of a lane in these situations invites lane sharing. Lane placement depends on different circumstances. Ride in the portion of the lane where it is easiest to be seen. Merging vehicles. Vehicles entering a highway from an entrance ramp may have trouble seeing a motorcycle. One reason is that motorcycle headlights are difficult to see at an angle. Change lanes or make space to let the motorist in. Do not assume that motorists always see motorcycles. Vehicles alongside. Whenever possible, do not ride alongside other vehicles. A vehicle in the next lane could change lanes without warning. A vehicle in the next lane can also block a possible escape route. Speed up or drop back until it is clear on both sides. Back many riders complain about tailgaters, which are motorists that fall low too closely. When another vehicle is fall lowing too closely, open up additional fall lowing distance. This provides the tailgater more time to react in an emergency. Slow down so the tailgater can pass when clear. Handling dangerous surfaces. A motorcycle is delicately balanced on two wheels. To stay upright, the two wheels must have good traction. Any surface that affects the motorcycle's traction will L affect its balance. Any slippery surface increases the chance of a rider fouling. Dangerous surfaces include slippery surfaces, uneven surfaces, grooves and gratings, sloping surfaces. Some SL apery surfaces are caused by liquids, sand gravel, leaves, wet pavement, particularly just after rain and before surface oil washes to the side of the road, gravel roads or places where sand and gravel have collected on paved roads, mud, snow, and ice, wet lane markings and steel surfaces, manhole covers, 192 motorcycle manual, metal construction plates, there are a number of precautions that riders can take to operate more safely on slippery surfaces. Reduce speed. It takes longer to stop on slippery surfaces. Make up for this by traveling at a slower speed. It is particularly important to reduce speed on curves. Remember, speed limits posted on curves apply to good, dry surface conditions. Use both brakes. The front brake is still L more effective than the back brake even on extremely slippery surfaces. On ice, riders should not brake at LL. Avoid sudden moves. Any sudden change in speed or direction can cause a skid on slippery surfaces. Therefore, turn, brake, accelerate, and change gears as little and as gradual lie as possible. On a very slippery surface, such as on a patch of ice, do not make changes until after passing it. Avoid slippery areas. It is important to find the best pavement. Riders should be aware that oil from vehicles tends to build up in the center of the lane, particularly near the intersections where vehicles slow down or stop. On wet pavement, therefore, it is better to operate in the grooves created by the wheels of moving vehicles. Some people suggest using the left wheel track LL the time. However, this may not always be a good idea. Instead, ride in the portion of the lane where it is easiest to be seen. Oil spots when stopping or parking can cause riders to foul L. 
Dirt and gravel tend to collect along the sides of the road. It is very important to stay away from the edge of the road when making sharp turns at intersections or entering and leaving freeways at high speed. Certain sections of the road dry faster after rain or melt faster after snow. Always try to stay in the best part of the lane. Motorcycle manual. It is almost impossible to maintain balance on ice, hard packed snow, or wet, slippery surfaces. Avoid them if possible. If it is impossible to avoid them, proceed across them in a straight line, but do not adjust speed. Keep a center lane position and avoid the slippery area by riding slightly to the left or right of the center. Pull L in the clutch and coast across. In some slippery areas, such as Tola booths, ride slightly to the left or right of the center to avoid problem areas. Uneven surfaces watch for uneven surfaces, such as bumps, broken pavement, potholes, or railroad tracks, while riding. If the condition is bad enough, it could affect control of the motorcycle. Full low these guidelines to handle uneven surfaces. Slow down to reduce impact. Straighten out so that the motorcycle is upright. Rise slightly on the foot pegs to absorb the shock. Crossing railroad tracks cross railroad tracks at an angle. When turning to cross the tracks head on, it may be more dangerous than crossing a slight angle. Turn slightly to cross something running parallel, such as troll lay tracks, ruts in the middle of the road, or a pavement seam. To cross something running next to the motorcycle, move away far enough to be able to cross it at an angle. Then, just make a quick, sharp turn. Do not try to edge across it. It could catch the tires and upset balance. This, not this, 194 Motorcycle Manual. Grooves and gratings when riding over rain grooves or metal bridge grating. The motorcycle will L tend to wander back and forth. While this may be uneasy, it is not generally dangerous. Therefore, the best thing to do is ride relaxed and avoid abrupt maneuvers. Sloping surfaces, a road surface that slopes from one side to another, is not difficult to handle when riding straight ahead. However, in a curve, a slope can make the turn harder if it is going the wrong way. This image shows a rider turning left on a high-crowned curve, a road that is higher in the middle than at the sides. A turn to the left on a high-crowned road is like a turn on a curve that is banked the wrong way. The crown makes the turn harder by cutting down on the clearance between the left foot peg and the surface, adding the force of the down slope to the outward force of the turn, Increasing the chance of a skid, making it necessary to turn uphill L, high crowned curve. The only way to handle the wrong way banking is to slow down. This will L straighten the motorcycle and reduce the outward force. Motorcycle manual. Ride cautiously at night. At night, the ability to see and be seen is limited. With one headlight, it is hard to see the condition of the road or something on the road. At night, other motorists may also have a hard time distinguishing a motorcycle headlight and taillight from the stronger lights of other vehicles. Here are some things that will L help for riding at night. Use the high beam. Use the high beam whenever you are not full lowing or meeting a vehicle. Be able to stop within the lit distance. Reduce speed. If there is something lying in the road ahead, it will L be difficult to see unless it is within proximity. When traveling too fast, it will L be difficult to avoid hazards in the road. It is important to reduce speed at night, particularly on unfamiliar roads. Use the vehicle ahead. If there is a vehicle ahead, take advantage of it. Its lights can provide a better view of the road ahead than the motorcycle light. For example, vehicle tail lights bouncing up and down may mean a bump or rough pavement is ahead. Increase distance. Distance is difficult to judge well L at night. Make up for this by L lowing extra distance from vehicles ahead. Leave more room on either side when riding alongside vehicles. Ensure there is enough distance to pass another vehicle. No hazards. No matter how carefully a motorcyclist rides, there will L always be tight spots. The chance of escaping safely depends on how quickly a rider reacts. 
Here is how to handle a few scenarios. Quick stop since the front brake supplies about three quarters of the braking power. Use it to stop quickly. Squeeze the brake lever steadily and firmly. Do not grab at it. Apply it without locking the front wheel. The rear brake should be applied at the same time. Try not to lock the rear wheel. 196 Motorcycle Manual Tire failure if the cycle starts handling differently. Safely pull L off the road and check the tires. Riders will L more often feel a flat tire than hear it happen. If the front tire goes flat, the steering will L feel heavy. If the rear tire goes flat, the back of the motorcycle will L tend to jerk from side to side. If a tire suddenly loses air, react quickly to keep balance by. Concentrating on steering a straight course. Gradually closing the throttle and coasting. Edging toward the side of the road and stopping. Stuck throttle sometimes. When trying to close the throttle, it will L not turn. If this happens when slowing down for traffic ahead or making a turn, react quickly to prevent a crash by. Immediately flip the engine cutoff switch and pull L in the clutch at the th same time. This disconnects the engine from the rear wheel and keeps riders from speeding up. After pulling the clutch, keep it in until stopped or the throttle is freed. When unable to close the throttle, use the motor cutoff switch or the key to turn off the engine. For motorcycles without a cutoff switch, or if the key is on the side of the cycle, stop, and then turn off the engine. After stopping, check the throttle cable carefully to find the source of the trouble. Make certain the throttle is working freely before continuing. Wobble at various speeds. The front wheel can sometimes begin to wobble. Shake from side to side. To ride out a wobble. Firmly grip the handlebars. Do not fight the wobble. Gradually close the throttle. Do not apply the brakes. It could worsen the wobble. Let the motorcycle slow down. Motorcycle manual. Pull L off the road as soon as possible. If carrying a heavy load, distribute the load more evenly. When at a gas station or using a tire gauge, check tire inflation. Other things that can cause a wobble are bent or out of alignment wheel, poorly adjusted steering, improperly mounted or designed windshield, loose wheel bearings or loose spokes. Off the road do these two important things when leaving the roadway. Check the roadside. Make sure the surface of the roadside is firm enough to ride on. If it is soft grass, loose sand, or unclear, slow nearly al l the way before leaving the roadway. Since motorists behind might not expect this, make sure to check mirrors and signal clearly and early. Pull l well l off the road. Get as far off the road as possible. A motorcycle by the side of the road is difficult to spot. Another vehicle may also leave the roadway, so it is important to be seen. Road hazards even a quick stop may not be enough to avoid hitting something. A piece of debris or a pothole might appear suddenly after the vehicle ahead passes over it, or the vehicle ahead might stop suddenly. The only way to avoid a crash is to make a quick turn or swerve. To make a quick turn, lean the motorcycle quickly in the necessary direction. The sharper the turn, the more severe the lean. To get the motorcycle to lean quickly, press on the inside of the hand grip in the necessary direction. To turn to the right, press on the inside of the right hand grip. This causes the front wheel to move slightly to the left and the motorcycle to continue straight ahead. The result is a lean to the right. Self-demonstration. While riding in a straight line, press the inside of the right handlebar. Notice the motorcycle turns to the right. Practice making quick turns, so that it is second nature in an emergency. Using this technique makes the motorcycle lean in a normal turn, too. Most riders do not notice it except on very sharp turns. In an emergency, do not switch lanes and risk being hit by a vehicle. It is possible to squeeze by most obstacles without switching lanes. This is one scenario when the size of the motorcycle is favorable. Even if the obstacle is a vehicle, there is generally time to make sure there are no vehicles in the other lane. 198 Motorcycle Manual Riding over objects sometimes there is no option but to ride over an object. 
Handling objects is a lot like riding over uneven surfaces. Here is what to do. Hold on to the handle grips tightly. Keep a straight course. This keeps the motorcycle upright and reduces the chance of fouling on impact. Rise slightly on the foot pegs. This allows legs and arms to absorb the shock and helps the rider from being bounced off when the rear wheel hits. There are other ways of handling these obstacles. However, they require a lot of skill L. The three steps above are a safe way to avoid obstacles found on highways. After riding over an object, always check tires for damage, flying objects, insects, cigarette butts thrown from vehicle windows, and rocks kicked up by the tires of other vehicles. Any of these objects might strike riders. Without face protection, riders can be struck in the eye, the face, or the mouth. Face protection still L might become smeared or cracked, making it difficult to see. Whatever happens, do not let it affect motorcycle control. Watch the road and keep hands on the handlebars. As soon as it is safe, pull L off the road and repair any damage. Animals, you should do everything you can to avoid hitting small L animals. However, in traffic, do not swerve from the lane to avoid hitting an animal. There is a better chance of surviving impact with an animal than impact with another vehicle. Motorcycles tend to attract dogs. Do not kick a chasing animal. It is too easy to lose control of the motorcycle. Instead, downshift and approach the animal slowly. After reaching the animal, speed up suddenly, leaving it behind quickly and helping the dog lose interest. Motorcycle manual. Carrying passengers and cargo. Before carrying a passenger or large loads, know how both could affect motorcycle operation. Extra weight changes the way the motorcycle handles, the way it balances, the way it turns, the way it speeds up and the way it slows down. Passengers that weigh less than the operator impact operation, less than those who are heavier. Passengers guidelines to full low in carrying a passenger or cargo. Check the motorcycle for adequate passenger carrying equipment. Instruct passengers before starting. Adjust tires and shocks to account for the passenger's weight. To carry a passenger, the motorcycle must have. A proper seat, the seat must be large enough to hold the operator and passenger without crowding. Operators should not have to move any closer to the front of the motorcycle than normal. A passenger should not hang over the end of the seat. Foot pegs, the passenger must have a set of foot pegs. Without firm footing, an operator and passenger can both foul L off. Protective equipment, a passenger must have the same type of protective equipment as the operator. Page 200 Motorcycle Manual Instructing passengers never assume any passenger knows proper motorcycle etiquette or rules of conduct. Provide complete instructions before starting. A passenger should be told to get on the motorcycle only after the engine has been started. Sit as far forward as possible without crowding the operator. Hold the operator's waist, hips, or belt tightly. Always keep both feet on the pegs, even when the motorcycle is stopped. Look over the rider's shoulder in the direction of turns and curves. Stay directly behind the operator, leaning when the operator leans in the same direction. Avoid any unnecessary motion. Riding with a passenger when carrying a passenger, the motorcycle will L respond more slowly. It takes longer to speed up, slow down, and turn. Heavier passengers and lighter motorcycles take longer to maneuver at these times. To adjust for added passenger weight, operate at a somewhat slower speed, particularly on corners, curves, or bumps. Begin to slow down earlier than usual when approaching a stop. Al low a greater full lowing distance and keep more distance from vehicles on either side. Look for larger gaps whenever crossing, entering, or merging in traffic. If possible, warn passengers when starting, stopping quickly, turning sharply or riding over a bump. Otherwise, talk as little as possible when in motion. Motorcycle Manual Load and cargo a motorcycle is not primarily designed to carry cargo. However, 
Small L loads can be carried safely when properly positioned and fastened. Check the motorcycle owner's manual for information about carrying cargo. Keep the load low. Place the load next to the seat or place it in the saddlebags. Do not pile loads against a sissy bar or other backseat frames. This will L change the center of gravity, disturbing the balance of the motorcycle. Keep the load forward. Place the load over or in front of the rear axle. Anything mounted behind the rear wheel can affect how the motorcycle turns and brakes. It can also cause wobbling. Distribute the load evenly. When using saddlebags, make sure they are loaded equally. An uneven load can cause the motorcycle to pull L to one side. Secure the load. Fasten the load securely with elastic cords or ropes. A loose load can catch in the wheel or chain. If this happens, the rear wheel may lock up and cause the motorcycle to skid. Check the load. Check the load every so often when stopped. Make sure it has not loosened or moved. Learning group riding. The highway is not a place to socialize. Motorcyclists riding in groups do not have any special rights. When riding with others, do not interfere with the flow of traffic. Size a large group interferes with traffic and can force vehicles to attempt to pass a long line of motorcycles one at a time. Also, a large group tends to be separated easily by traffic or red lights. Those left behind may ride unsafely to catch up. Groups with more than four or five riders should divide into two or more smaller groups. Planning ahead when leading, look ahead for changes. Give hand signals early, so the word spreads among the riders in plenty of time. Start lane changes early enough to al low al l rider to complete the changes. Putting beginners up front place inexperienced riders behind the leader and in a position where they can be watched from behind by more experienced riders. 202 Motorcycle Manual Following those behind let the last in line or tail ender set the pace. Use mirrors to keep an eye on the person behind. Slow down to let others catch up. If everyone does this, the group will L stay with the rider on the tail end. Knowing the route makes sure everybody knows the route. Obey any special rules on a particular route. Distance it is important to keep close ranks and safe distance. A close group takes up less space on the highway, making the group easier to see. A close group is also less likely to be separated by traffic lights. However, it must be done properly. Do not pair up never operate directly alongside another motorcycle. There will L be no place to escape or avoid another vehicle. Talk to another rider only when stopped. Staggered formation keep close ranks yet maintain adequate distance through a staggered formation. The leader rides to the left side of the lane, while the second rider stays a little behind and rides to the right side of the lane. A third rider would take a left position, a normal two-second distance behind the second rider. This formation al lows the group to ride in close ranks without reducing full lowing distance and without having riders. Drive alongside one another. Staggered formation can be safely used on an open highway. However, a single file should be resumed on curves, during turns, while entering or leaving a highway. When returning to the narrow roadway or when topping the crest of a hill L, when riders in a staggered formation want to pass, they should do it one at a time. When it is safe to do so, the lead rider should pull L out and pass. When the leader returns to the lane, he or she should take the left lane position and open a gap for the next rider. As soon as the first rider is safely by, the second rider should move to the left position and watch for a safe chance to pass. After passing, the rider should return to the right lane position and open a gap for the next rider. Two seconds. Motorcycle manual. Rider one. Rider two. Ride sober and awake riding a motorcycle is more demanding than driving other motor vehicles. Riders must be in good physical and mental shape to ride safely. Three things that often keep riders from being in shape to ride safely are alcohol, drugs, and fatigue. Alcohol drinking and riding is extremely dangerous. Nearly half of Alal motorcycle highway deaths involve alcohol use. 
Riding a motorcycle requires a high degree of skill L and judgment. It also requires a good sense of balance. Alcohol limits these skill Ls. It is dangerous to ride after drinking. Alcohol affects vision. Seeing clearly and judging distance becomes difficult. It is hard enough to ride a motorcycle safely with normal vision. Drinking and driving is just as extensive among motorcyclists as it is among automobile drivers. However, motorcyclists are far more likely to be kill-led or severely injured in a crash. About 2,500 motorcycles are involved in crashes each year on New Jersey roadways. These crashes result in 60 or more fatalities and nearly 2,000 injuries in the Garden State. No one is immune to the effects of alcohol. Alcohol makes everyone less able to think clearly and to perform physical tasks skill o fully. Alcohol has extremely harmful effects on motorcycle operating skill LS. The effects of alcohol begin long before a rider is legally intoxicated. 204 Motorcycle Manual Ride safe. Ride sober. Drugs almost any drug can affect the skill LS needed to ride a motorcycle safely. This includes prescription drugs, as well L as illegal drugs. It even includes such everyday drugs as cold tablets and allergy medication. Such drugs can cause weakness, dizziness, or drowsiness. Understand the effects of any drugs you are taking before riding. Do not take illegal drugs. Stop and wait if dizziness or weakness from prescription or over-the-counter drugs occurs. Do not ride until regaining a normal feeling. When you resume riding, slow down and maintain a greater than normal distance between your motorcycle and other vehicles. Fatigue riding a motorcycle is more tiring than operating other vehicles. For road trips, tiredness sets in more quickly on a motorcycle. The effects of fatigue on vehicle control can also be much worse. To minimize risk, protect yourself from the elements. Wind, cold, and rain can make riders tire quickly. Dress warmly. A windshield is worth its cost. A special lie for riders that travel frequently. Limit distance traveled. Do not cover more than about 300 miles a day. Take frequent rests. Stop and get off the cycle. It is also a good idea to drink water during rest stops. Motorcycle manual. Checking the motorcycle. Plenty of things on the highway can cause trouble for riders. A motorcycle should not be one of them. Three ways to be sure a motorcycle will L not let its rider down are 1. Have the right equipment. 2. Keep the bike in safe riding condition. 3. Avoid add-on accessories or modifications that make it harder to handle. M-O-D-E-L, selecting the right motorcycle is important. Beginners might want to consider a smaller motorcycle that is no more than 250 cc-s until they become more experienced or until after driving several hundred miles. Make sure the motorcycle fits. A rider's feet should be able to reach the ground while sitting. There are a few items of equipment that are necessary for safe operation. New Jersey requires that Al L these items be in good working order. Headlight and tail light. Front and rear brakes. Turn signals. Horn. At least one rear view mirror. These are just minimum requirements. To survive in traffic, have a mirror on each side of the handlebars. It is also a good idea to have reflectors on the sides of the motorcycle. Service motorcycles may need more frequent mechanical attention than other vehicles. When something goes wrong with the motorcycle, it could result in a crash. There is only one way to spot problems before trouble starts. Inspect the motorcycle careful lie and fix things right away. The first section of this manual describes checks that should be made before every ride. In addition, Check these things at least once a week. 206 Motorcycle Manual Tires check the tread for wear. If the wear is uneven, have the wheels balanced and the alignment checked. Many blowouts are due to low air pressure. Also, check for cuts and scrapes that could cause a blowout. Wheels check both wheels for missing or loose spokes. Check the rims for cracks or dents. Lift the wheel off the ground and spin it. Watch its motion and listen for noise. 
Also, move it from side to side to check for looseness. Controls check the controls for smooth operation. Check the cables for kinks or broken strands. Lubricate the control mechanisms at each end of the cable. Chains and sprockets oil the chain. Check the sprockets for worn teeth. Shock absorber does the motorcycle bounce several times after crossing a bump. Hear a clunk. Check shock absorbers, which may need to be adjusted or replaced. Check the shocks for oil leaks. Fasteners check for loose or missing nuts, bolts, or cotter pins. Keeping the motorcycle clean makes it easier to spot missing parts. Brakes adjust the brakes so that they lock the wheel when fully applied. If the wheel does not lock, or if there is a scraping sound when stopping, have the linings checked. Motorcycle Manual Accessories and Modifications A safe motorcycle can quickly become a menace if the wrong accessories are added to it, or if changes are made to the motorcycle that can make it much harder to handle. Here are a few things to avoid. Highway pegs mounted on the front of the motorcycle to al low the rider to lean back. These pegs delay the operator's ability to reach the foot brake in an emergency. A passenger backrest sometimes cal led a sissy bar. A high bar or a frame mounted on the back of the seat can change the motorcycle's center of gravity and affect its balance when loaded, and prevent the operator and passenger from getting off the motorcycle in a hurry. Extended handlebars which extend above the operator's shoulders are illegal in New Jersey. Page 208. Page 209. 11 Appendix. Driver Safety. Appendix. Driver Safety. Traffic signs, signals, and road markings are set up to control the flow of traffic, making streets and highways safer for motorists, bicyclists, and pedestrians. A safe driver always watches for and obeys all traffic, signals, signs, and road markings. During heavy traffic or in an emergency, a police officer may direct traffic. A police officer can overrule traffic signals. Law enforcement orders or directions must always be obeyed. Court penalties will be imposed for stealing or damaging airport, traffic, or railroad crossing signs or equipment. 212 Appendix Driver Safety Traffic signals when traffic signals are hung vertical lie, the red light is always on top. The yellow low is in the center. The green light is third in line. If there is a green arrow, it is always on the bottom. When the lights are horizontal, red is always on the left. Red light a motorist must stop before the intersection or crosswalk and remain stopped until the light changes to green. Yellow light a motorist should stop before entering the intersection or crosswalk, unless his her vehicle is so close to the intersection that it cannot be stopped safely. A yellow arrow means the signal is changing from green to red and gives the motorist a chance to stop safely. Green light a motorist should proceed through the intersection, yield to pedestrians and vehicles still L in the intersection, and when turning left or right. Before making a left turn, yield to approaching vehicles. Green arrow when shown alone or in combination with the red signal, proceed only as shown by the arrow, be cautious and yield to pedestrians. Flashing yellow light slow down and proceed with care. Flashing red light stop. Yield to traffic and pedestrians. Go only when safe. Flashing red lights at railroad crossings indicate an approaching train. Motorists must yield to the train. Go only when red lights stop flashing and when LL other active warning devices deactivate. Appendix. Driver safety. Unlit signal stop if a signal does not have any of its bulbs working and no one is directing traffic. It is considered a four-way stop sign. Look left and right. Yield to traffic coming from the right or left. Be careful and go only when safe. Orange, steady raised palm symbol pedestrians must not leave the sidewalk or enter the roadway when facing the light. Those already in the roadway should quickly go to a safe spot. Pedestrians already within the crosswalk will L have time to cross the intersection before the signal changes. Those who have not yet left the sidewalk or curb should not enter the roadway. White, steady pedestrian silhouette, 
Countdown pedestrians facing the signal may Cross the roadway in the direction of the signal. New Jersey law requires turning motorists to yield to pedestrians crossing on this signal and to pedestrians in the crosswalk. Pedestrian push buttons are located at certain traffic signals. A short time after the button is pushed, the flow of traffic at the intersection changes to a longer green for the side street. Traffic engineers use color, such as an optional yellow green or standard yellow, for the pedestrian crossing and bicycle warning signs, which are of utmost importance. These signs alert New Jersey motorists that they must share the road with pedestrians and bicyclists and yield to them. Signs are divided into three basic categories. Warning. Warn motorists of hazards ahead that are difficult to see. Guidance. Guide motorists to a destination by clearly identifying the route. Regulatory. Regulate traffic speed and movement. The signs are manufactured in different shapes and colors to convey a particular message. Examples of the various sign types, shapes and colors are found in the diagram on the next page. Color white, blue, brown, green, orange, red, red, yellow, yellow, white, yellow, yellow. Shape vertical, rectangle, rectangle, square, rectangle, rectangle, diamond, octagon, triangle, pennant, pentagon. X round, diamond, number of, sides message. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 8, 3, 3, 5, none, none. 4. Regulation, such as speed signs 1. Motorist services and information. Public recreation and scenic guidance direction guidance construction and maintenance warning stop signs only yield signs no passing warning signs school signs railroad crossing signs railroad crossing advance. Warning signs roadway hazard and railroad crossing warning signs. 1. When the maximum safe speed around a curve or turn is lower than the posted speed limit, an advisory speed sign is used with the proper warning sign. Warning signs. Warning signs are for road conditions that need caution and for specific hazards that may be encountered during certain road operations. Some of the warning signs alert motorists to road conditions, deer crossings, railroad crossings, school crossings, or curved roadways. The signs are yellow and diamond-shaped with a black symbol or word message. Driver Safety Appendix Driver Safety Roadwork signs Roadwork signs alert motorists to a variety of temporary roadway conditions. It is important to look for Orange Diamond-shaped signs that warn the motorist of lane closing, lane shifts, flaggers, uneven pavement, and detours. Roadwork may temporarily close lanes or divert them, changing traffic patterns. Reduced speed limit signs that are posted alongside orange work zone signs. In New Jersey, LL traffic fines are doubled in work zones. A motorist should react to roadwork signs by controlling the distance between his her vehicle and the one in front, as well L as his her reaction time. Always read the signs, full low directions, and prepare to slow down or stop. Staying alert to the moving construction machinery in the work zone. With patience, a motorist will L contribute to the overall L safety of motorists and workers in the work zone. Watching for workers on the road who risk injury or possibly death. Flaggers may stop and release traffic through the work zone. Note, flaggers have the same authority as a regulatory sign so a motorist may be cited if he, she disobeys their directions. Guidance signs Guidance signs identify destinations and routes for motorists. Motorist service signs Motorist service signs have white letters or symbols on a blue background and provide information about motorist services. Regulatory signs Regulatory signs are general lie rectangular, with a longer vertical dimension, and have black wording and border on a white background. Some important regulatory signs to know are Stop Octagonal sign with white wording and border on red background Yield white inverted triangle with red wording and border with a white border band 216 Appendix Driver Safety Crossbuck X-shaped railroad crossing sign with black wording on a white background means the same as a yield sign Motorists must always yield the right-of-way to trains 
Trains cannot swerve to avoid motorists. Do not enter white square with red circle that has a white band horizontal lie across the center of the circle, and the words do not enter in white. Letters on the upper and lower parts of the circle. Two national signs that indicate where certain interstate trucks can and cannot travel are now being used in New Jersey. Green. Marks the routes and ramps where trucks are permitted, also marks the travel route to services and terminals. Red. Marks the routes and ramps where trucks are prohibited. Also marks the end of designated routes. Road markings, road markings have the same force of law as signs or traffic signals. Yellow center lines separate traffic flow going in opposite directions. White lines separate traffic going the same way when there is more than one lane. Show edges of roads. Dashed lines. On a motorist's side of the center line of the road mean that passing is permitted when safe. Solid line. On a motorist side of the center line means do not pass. Road arrows when used with other signs. Show the correct direction a motorist must take in that lane. White dashed lines separate traffic lanes on multi-lane highways. Double yellow and white solid lines. Prohibit passing. Do not cross the solid yellow line to pass. Stay in the lane. Keep to the right when driving slowly. Driver safety. Appendix. Driver safety. Yellow solid and dashed lines. Control passing. If the solid yellow line is on the motorist's side of the road, do not pass. Pass only if the dashed line is on the motorist's side of the road. A pass must be completed before the yellow dashed lines become solid. Edge lines separate the shoulder from the travel lane and show the edges of highways. Yellow edge lines separate the shoulder from the travel lane and show the edge of the highway. White crosswalks indicate pedestrian crossing areas. Pedestrians should use these areas when crossing the road. At intersections where stop lines are missing stop before the crosswalk, when required to stop by traffic signs or signals or for pedestrians. White stop lines show where to stop at stop signs or traffic signals. White special markings show special conditions, such as stop ahead, school, and RXR, as a motorist alert. At railroad crossings, there will L be a cross buck, and some crossings will L include flashing red lights, ringing bell LS, and or gates lowered across the road as a train approaches. Pavement markings, signs, and cross bucks are passive warning devices. Flashing red lights, ringing bell LS, and lowered gates are active warning signs. White diamonds indicate high occupancy vehicle. Havi lanes reserved for a particular vehicle type or vehicles carrying multiple riders, as identified by posted regulatory signs. Such signs will L also indicate hours that Hav lanes are in operation. Hav lanes may also be marked with white diamonds painted on the pavement of the lane. Special warning signs these signs alert motorists to slow-moving vehicles. A fluorescent and reflective orange triangular sign indicates slow-moving vehicles, such as farm and construction equipment, operating on public highways. The operators must obey LL traffic rules and place a slow-moving vehicle sign on the back of their vehicles to warn approaching motorists. 218 Appendix Driver Safety Rumble strips transverse and longitudinal rumble strips are small L indentions or narrow. Raised strips on the highway or shoulder that are put there to alert the motorist that there is a decision point ahead, such as a four-way intersection after miles of uninterrupted travel. As the strips vibrate the steering wheel and make a noise, they will L wake the motorist who may have dozed off or caution the motorist about the danger ahead. Rumble strips will L not damage a vehicle. They are meant to get a motorist to drive more slowly. They are almost always used with a cautionary sign. Speed bumps, speed humps, other types of speed control devices include speed bumps and speed humps. A speed bump is a low ridge that runs across a street and that is designated to slow down cars. A speed hump is a longer, flatter version of a speed bump, which is more raised. Roundabouts a roundout is a one-way, Circular intersection in which traffic flows around a center island. Roundabouts are designed to meet the needs of LL road users, drivers, pedestrians, pedestrians with disabilities, 
and bicyclists. A roundabout eliminates some of the conflicting traffic, such as left turns, which cause crashes at traditional intersections. Because roundabout traffic enters or exists only through right turns, the occurrence of severe crashes is substantially reduced. Driver Safety Appendix Driver Safety Page 219 Page 220 Appendix Driver Safety Two-lane traffic sharp turn ahead divided highway road narrows. Winding road merge hill a lane reduction ahead. Cross-road cattle crossing school slippery when wet. Hospital person with addisability yield ahead signal ahead. Workers flagman ahead detour road closed. Driver safety. Appendix. Driver safety. Page 221. Stop left turn only no trucks multiple turning lanes. Do not enter no U-turns no parking any time do not pass. Advisory ramp speed side road no passing zone stop sign ahead. Bicycles present bike lane. Bike may use. Full L lane no standing any time. U.S. Route marker state route marker reserved parking stop here on red. Page 222 appendix. Driver safety. County route. Marker exit marker mile marker road closed. No pedestrians no turns left turn only interstate. Left or straight only bus carpool lane one way keep right. Wrong way yield no right turn stop for pedestrians in. Crosswalk. Railroad parallel track sign crossbuck. Yield to train rest area. Page 223. 12 appendix. NVC locations. With at least one location in each of New Jersey's 21 counties, the MVC provides numerous customer services. Please refer to the full lowing pages and or www.njmvc.gov for specific site information and appointment availability. In the full lowing pages, you will L find the locations of MVC licensing centers and vehicle centers, as well L as MVC road test and inspection facilities. Also included in this chapter are details on hours of operation, appointments, and services offered, as well L as contact information for general customer, surcharge, suspension, and other inquiries. Appendix MVC locations. Vehicle centers hours of operation, 8 a.m. 4.30 p.m. on Friday and 8 a.m. 3 p.m. Saturdays, closed Sundays. Services include new registrations titles, including transfers for individuals, dealer and salvage registrations titles in bulk, license plate transactions, renewals for register, Asians expired more than six months or ineligible for online. Appointment only, with exception of customers requesting five to your abstracts and handicapped placards. L I C E N S I N G C E N T E R S hours of operation 8 a.m. 4 30 p.m. on Friday and 8 a.m. 3 p.m. Saturdays, closed Sundays. Services include first time licenses, non driver IDs, and permits, including real ID option, out of state transfers, CDLs, TVRs, temporary visa restricted licenses, knowledge T, esting, and license renewals not eligible for online. Walk-in services without appointment are only available for permit validation, purchase of red reflectorized decals, five to year abstracts, name and gender marker changes, and handicapped placards. Road test centers hours of operation, 8 a.m. 5 p.m. on free, closed Saturdays and Sundays. Applicants for a New Jersey driver license must take a behind-the-wheel test at an MVC facility. Road tests are only available by appointment through our website, www.njmvc.gov. Some road test locations serve as first-time licensing centers, where drivers who pass their road test can have their driver license issued on site. We do not accept cash at these locations. Only credit cards are accepted. See page 233 for locations. R-E-G-I-O-N-A-L-S-E-R-V-I-C-E-E-E-N-T
TERS hours of operation, 8 a.m. 5 p.m., Mon Free, closed Saturdays and Sundays. Among services offered are driver conferences for suspensions and restorations. C-E-N-T-R-A-L-I-N-S-P-E-C-T-O-N-F-A-C-I-L-I-T-I-E-S hours of operation. 8 a.m. 4.30 p.m. on free and 7 a.m. noon Saturdays. Closed Sundays. Inspections for LL types of standard vehicles are available at these facilities. Some facilities require an appointment. See www.engineinspections.com for more information. Private inspection facilities hours of operation vary. More than 1,100 locations statewide, including at gas stations and body repair shops. These facilities will L perform standard vehicle inspections for a fee. For a complete list of MVC approved private inspection facilities, visit www.nginspections.com. 226 Appendix NVC Locations Licensing Centers Hours of Operation 8 a.m. 4.30 p.m. Mon Free and 8 a.m. 3 p.m. Saturdays Closed Sundays Services include first-time licenses, non-driver IDs, and permits, including real ID option, out-of-state transfers, CDLs, knowledge testing, and license renewals not eligible for online renewal. Walk-in services without appointment are only available for permit validation, purchase of red reflectorized decals, five-to-year abstracts, and name and gender marker changes, and handicapped placards. Please visit www.njmbc.gov for appointment availability. Sussex P A S S A I C W A R R E N H U N T E R D O N M O R R I S E S S E X Union B E R G E N H U D S O N S O M Mercer Monmouth Ocean, Burlington, Gloucester Camden, 25 Salem, Atlantic 27, Cumberland, Cape May, 28, Appendix, MVC Locations, Licensing Centers, Hours of Operation, 8 a.m. 4.30 p.m. on Fry and 8 a.m. 3 p.m. Saturdays, Closed Sundays, Services include